For a time, the humans of Serra knew the illusion of peace. Until... Emergence Day. In time, their valiant defense was crushed with billions dead. Humans denied their enemy control by destroying their own civilization. Now, the long struggle against overwhelming odds approaches a final, desperate stand. squad might have killed a lot of locusts today, Lieutenant. But this war is only just begun. Our survival depends on one thing. Gears follow orders. But I look at you and I don't see a gear. I see something more dangerous. I see a hero. Well, congratulations, hero. Millions of citizens you've sworn to protect might die because of what you did today. I hereby charge Kilo Squad with desertion, cowardice, trespassing, the theft of experimental military technology, and treason. Does that sound about right to you, Lieutenant Baird? and make sure the bastard's dead. Move, Lieutenant Baird. are denied any right to an attorney and may not question the authority of this tribunal. So we can't ask why you're doing this now. At the conclusion of this tribunal, I will issue a fair and swift verdict. Right. Of course you will. Colonel, are we being charged with doing our job? The charges will be defined as I hear your testimony. Now, Lieutenant Baird, begin with the last time we saw each other. Our mission was to rendezvous with a supply convoy, but then things started to go wrong. How exactly did things go wrong, Lieutenant? 
Gradually, sir. And then... suddenly. Whatever it was, it looked like it was headed right for our car. Only Dad knew what he was looking at. But he didn't say anything. Not yet. war began, our cities have been falling one by one, and Command has no idea who or what's responsible. Well, Colonel, I think I might know. As fast as we could, sir. There was no saving that convoy. I heard other units talk about the glowing wretches, but I thought that was just soldiers telling stories. Turns out it's not. Our old convoy had been wiped out in minutes. Never seen anything like it. Those wretches died. They exploded like they'd been drinking out of a fuel tank. I hoped we wouldn't be seeing them again anytime soon. Colonel Loomis, this is Lieutenant Baird. Big problem, sir. Our convoy just got destroyed. Then move on to the Museum of Military Glory. It's under attack. Sir, whatever destroyed our convoy is still out there. Noted, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Come on, Kilo. You heard the man. I heard him. Doesn't mean I like him. The museum was on the other side of the river, the side the cod no longer controlled. I thought maybe we could slip through unnoticed. Yeah, nice. Kind of reminds me of my old one, so. Wait a minute. You have a wine cellar? Hey, look. A man gotta spend his money on something. <gasps> so this is the UIR sniper rifle. This isn't a gun! It's a comrade. We're not done yet!
almost like they don't want us to get to the museum. It was faster to go through the empty buildings than around them. They were all so... abandoned. If no one here had been evac'd, where was everyone? I class stuff. We got a healing canvas. These grubs seem awfully interested in your museum. Is that all of them? Yeah, I doubt it. Rubble! I've never seen so many grubs in one place before. I know. Let's just get inside. Everyone in the balcony got wiped out, sir. Everyone. Luma sent us. Where should we go? You're not Onyx. I'm Onyx. No, you're not, cadet. <laughs> Stay here and defend this area. The East Wing is getting hammered. <laughs> Great. We're the first line of defense for the Onyx Guard. Let's show them what regular soldiers can do, Kilo. If we don't hurry, they're not going to make it! Black Force said they were losing the East Wing. He didn't mention they lost everything on the way there. heard anything else from Black 4, so we're going to find either bodies or a battle. Or an ambush. You! Hold this room! There's something big out there! Looks like 
that door's gonna give. When it does, start shooting. Feeling. What the hell is that? That's the end of Halvo Bay. There's only one way out of here. Two, actually. One involves dying. Following the Onyx felt like the right idea. It definitely wasn't. Paddock, if you have any intel on that grub upstairs... I do have intel. Stay away from it. Any sign of those Onyx guards? They probably double-timed it through here. Wait! Did you hear that? Oh no! Hell no! I don't do that! Get behind it! They look vulnerable back there! But the grubs walk around on two legs like normal people. Can we go now? Please? and they walked around on two feet for a while. What have they done to my Marksa? A sniper rifle with no scope? Ha! Those grubs are real geniuses! Radio check. I got nothing. I could hear voices again on our comms. Nothing too distinct. If we could make it back topside, we'd be online again. Ooh, glad to be out of there. <sighs> What's next? Well, we call in and make sure Control knows what's going on. Kilo to Control! I need Loomis! What is it, Lieutenant? Uh, Colonel, some grub riding a, a, a monster just wiped out every rifle at the museum. Request guidance. Kill the grub, hold the museum. Colonel, Paddock here. 
This grub in Goroznia, they called him Khan. This isn't Goroznia. My army threw all we have at him. Colonel, what about the light mass missile? Cadet, leave strategy to men with bars. I don't want to hear a word from any of you until Paddock's boogeyman is dead and I can... Classified, but there's one here in Helvo. The inventor teaches at the academy. Yeah, Professor Elliot. I worked in his lab at LaCroix before he went military. The missile draws power from refined emulsion. The more emulsion, the bigger the bone. <sighs> Courtesy of your big boom. God. How close were you to the impact point? Close enough. That thing would burn up this entire city. This one's low yield. After the Hammer of Dawn, Elliot stopped working on it. How low yield? Baird, or Lieutenant. To fire that thing, you have to get the targeting beacon, the launch codes, personally activate the missile on site, and get this all approved by command. Control, Kilo here. So, we're gonna get the light mass missile online and use it to kill General Khan. Any objections? <sighs> Works for me. All right, come on, cadet. Going back to the academy. That's an order. <sighs> cadet Hendrick, I'm curious to hear what it takes to convince an Onyx Guard cadet to steal one of the COG's most powerful weapons. I was against it, sir. That's right. Run to daddy. Maybe you could show me and the army you volunteered for a little respect. I tried that, and look what he got me. Cadet? Colonel, I'm an academy cadet. I had to see if my friends were all right. We took the sewers from the museum to the academy. The whole way there, I couldn't stop thinking about my fellow cadets. I hope they held out. Academy was overrun, but that beacon inside Professor Elliot's lab would allow us to land the light mass missile right on Karn's head. Whatever happened here, I know my fellow cadets fought hard. There's no shame in losing a battle. Trust me, I know. to go inside, right? Yeah, find the light mass missile beacon and then get the hell out of here. My fellow cadets were the smartest, the toughest, the best the COG had to offer. The next generation of officers. Karn mowed them down like daisies. What if the lab is busted up too? It can't be. We need that beacon. And that's that. Now where, Cadet? The Institute for Science and Technology. It's just through that door. 
Just in time. Before entering the lab, we needed to clear security. I was still in the system. looks different from the last time I was here. You worked here? I helped test some prototype weapons. Professor Elliot had a crush on me. Oh. Okay. It's not moving. Its restraints are still in place. There should be a button around here. That's our beacon. These units are tough, durable, and they can cloak. You'll grow the level. I thought he could cloak. Not on Academy grounds. Anti-cloaking fields. We'll have to protect it on the way out. Bot, can you take us out of here? From there, we had to follow the bot off campus, and make sure no one damaged him. I've never fought so hard for something that beeps so much. Major, I've got a bird's eye on the academy. Two pockets of locusts, but I have a negative contact on gears. We're taking Troika fire, sir! Evading! Our rotor's pegged! Gotta be kidding! Damn it! No, come on! Yeah. So we're done then, right? Mayday! Mayday! For now, I think. Following a strange bot across what was left of the Academy campus was not how I imagined my day was going to unfold. We hear you, little guy. Hunker down and shields up. Kilo, protect the bot! We 
pass through this courtyard on the way in. We're almost out of here. That's the raven we saw earlier, isn't it? Yeah. Let's scavenge whatever equipment we can. That's all we can do now. Look what I found. I think that means we're in trouble. Yep, that's what it means. There's some gear near the wreckage, at least. you, little, uh, flying guy. Someone's gotta name this thing. I followed Baird to the Academy to find out what happened to my fellow cadets. I found out. They were all gone. The monster that killed them had to pay. So, Paddock. Are you here as Major Paddock of the UIR? or Private Paddock of the COG. Whichever one you like less. The Open Arms program may have given you our uniform, but you and I remain enemies. Fine, let's settle this like enemies then. <laughs> hey, 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 that's enough! Stand down. You Garaznis weren't known for treating prisoners very well. I'm sure you know nothing about it. Oh, I wouldn't say that. You don't seem like a man who takes orders. Why even follow Baird? You might say I had an ulterior motive. Growing up in the UIR, of course I'd heard of the fabled mansions of Alvo Bay. But I never imagined I'd see them like this. The Grubs tore this neighborhood apart. Your professor lives up here? Are we sure he's still alive? No, we are not. No prisoners today! We need to keep moving. We have a long way to go to Elliot's house. I got a statue like that in my atrium. You have an atrium. We had the bot, but we still needed the launch codes for the light mass missile. Baird and Sophia's friend, Professor Elliot, was the only one who had them. Lieutenant, I think we can get to Elliot through that house. Me. 
What's your status? Uh, they've got some big rub on your lead detector. Young man, you're fighting animals. Push them into the sea. Do you understand me? Sir, I don't think... Do you understand me? Sir, that thing's got way more seaters with him. I mean, I think that's what disrupted our communication, sir. You either hang up and fight, or I come out there and shoot you myself! Sir, but I... No! 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 We were getting close to Elliot's mansion. I was beginning to have my doubts that he survived. We found a truck. It made a nice bridge. We'd almost reached the professor's mansion. This professor's mansion, it's fighting back? His home security system. There's no way we'll get past it. So we came all this way for nothing. There's another entrance not too far from here. A uh, friends and family entrance, you might say. So, you must know this professor pretty well. Well enough. It's this way. Mortars! The drugs are gonna flatten that house if we don't stop them! We couldn't get into the professor's house until we eliminated those mortar squads. Every mortar squad. Maybe it's a good one. Flag. Cadet, can you take us into Elliot's house now? Of course, sir. It's through that gate. The truth is, none of us cared how well Sophia knew this professor. But I think we all knew by then that we weren't going to like what we found inside his mansion. I don't think Elliot's alive. He might be, Cadet. Come on. You don't believe that. <sighs> no, I don't. You all right? Hey, his won't be the first body I've seen today.
It was quiet in the professor's mansion. The quietest it had been all day. Then we saw Elliot. This isn't good. But we still need the launch codes. Try to hack into Elliot's computer. Hello, Dr. Elliot. You have one new message from Elliot Nora. So that's that. I'm sorry, cadet. He was my teacher, Lieutenant. Whatever else happened, happened. So, what did happen? He was married, with kids. I moved on. Power outage. Outside defense is rebooting. Please wait. The power's out. The bot probably fried the circuits to break into the system. Power outage. Outside defense is rebooting. Please wait. Uh, sir? I think we're about to have visitors. Many visitors. Kilo, they're coming in and we need to hold them off. Bot, keep hacking into that mainframe. We can't leave until we have those launch codes. That didn't take long. Power outage. like my job better. Good, because I need you to do it. Keep them off the bot. He's gonna be completely exposed. Hey, that bot needs a hand! You want some? The bot's done here, and so are we. Let's roll. We had the launch codes, and we left. I was surprised. I kind of liked a few of the mansions I saw today. Maybe when this is all over, I'll take one for myself. Who's left to say no? Private Augustus Cole. You've been atypically quiet until now. Oh, listen up. All we gotta do is... <laughs> Assume you actually listen to your crash ball coach from time to time. Crash ball. You're not a fan. Pretend war? No. How are you finding the real thing? I've been more comfortable. Then unburden your mind. Next, we hear the Onyx point. That facility's location is classified, Private. I told Harbor a few years back. One of your generals was a big fan. Took me on a tour. I think that's all of them. Let's hope the missile's close by. We went on inside. I hope you don't plan on shooting us for trespassing, Colonel. 
I already have plenty of reasons to shoot you, Private. Well, they don't see any signs marked light mass missile. You know, they really should do that. <laughs> Couldn't tell which way led to the light mass missile. Kept opening up the heaviest looking doors. Eventually, we picked the right one. I suppose we'll know this missile when we see it. Oh, I think I'll take that. The place was huge. I knew finding that missile wasn't gonna be easy. Guess that's the point of hiding it there. taken the port. I had friends stationed there. We all did. Hmm, okay. I've definitely been here before. Let's head towards the elevator. You might want to send a battalion out to Onyx Point. When we're done here, the Grubs seem to like that place. Lieutenant Baird here. Lieutenant, what is your position? Onyx Point. We've just activated the light mass and we're about to... Uh... Not another goddamn word, Lieutenant. That missile is sitting in that silo for a reason. Colonel, you have no idea what you're up against. I know exactly what I'm up against. The grub who killed a bunch of worthless indies. I'd shake the bastard's hand if I could. Then you and your men will die. Lieutenant... Arrest Private Paddock and remain on that rock. Actually, no. Cadet Hendrick, arrest Paddock and Lieutenant Baird if he resists you. 
This is Omega-2. We're pinned down two blocks from the museum. We need an evac. We're mobilizing, Sergeant. We can have a Raven to you in an hour. We don't have an hour. We could be there a whole lot sooner. I'm gonna rescue Omega. That's a coincidence. So am I. to Damon. Back to the mainland. Gears need our help. Missile's useless if the grubs can get to it. We can use the bot to seal the door from the other side. The door was the only way back to the missile lab, and now it was shut tight. It was time to get back to the beach. How did you get off that island, Private? Oh, that was the fun part. I'm getting real tired of that sound. Hey, Bach, knock it off! The beach is clear! Stay alert, Kilo. this kilo Getting back out there and fighting, Captain! Sure, they're right outside! Then it'll be a short walk. This is crazy. I'm waiting on you. Finish up. The light mass missile was ready to launch. We needed to find Karn, get the beacon close to him, and fire. And where was Karn? Well, Omega knocked out his cedars at the museum. I figured he'd want to deal with that personally. How do we know the Big Bad Grub is gonna be at the museum? Loomis just announced he's sending every gear in the city to that museum. Gotta be a trap.
Was this girl just waiting for us, or is it just me? We were told the grubs were mindless monsters, but what I saw today, they're not mindless, they're methodical. They know what they're doing, and Karn's probably smarter than half our top brass. We're heading back outside, Kilo. Paddock, I, I hope this victory stuff doesn't, uh, you know. Don't worry. Once this war's over, we can go back to trying to kill each other. Like normal people. Patrol's coming in. Let's set up a little surprise. Okay, split up. Two left side, two right side. That was fun, but we need to get away from these patrols. I bet we can reach the rooftops if we head up there. Earlier in the day, Old Town seemed deserted, even though it hadn't been properly evac Where did everyone there go? Now we knew. The rooftops. They thought they'd be safe. They thought wrong. Bodies on the floor, Kila. Let's hope they died quickly. Little off the top there, sorry about that. I have a strange feeling we're being haunted. Karn's probably put some locust bounty on our heads. We're finally getting close to the museum. Karn was sending in his best grunts. I was starting to wonder if maybe he was afraid of us. Almost there!
the run! That's it! Come on, Kilo, the museum's close. I'm buying. The museum was just ahead. I knew killing Karn meant sacrificing the bot, sir. I'd gotten pretty attached to the little guy. I guess there's other bots out there. We can't hold them up forever, Control. We need that evac. We're working on it, Sergeant. We've got wounded, Control. We're almost there, Kilo! I can't wait to drop my missile on that big-ass girl's head. if we killed Karn, the Grubs would just stop fighting. I guess this war is gonna make a pessimist out of me yet. Look, Karn needed to die. If that was the wrong call, Colonel, you can go ahead and shoot me. This is my kind of fight! You...
I told you to stay on that island, Lieutenant. This court has reached a final verdict. Any last words? Men like you are why I fought the Cog. We saved a lot of people today. Yeah, including your ass. No final words from you, Lieutenant? Maybe you have a point, sir. We saved what? A thousand people? The light mass missile was designed to save millions. I know that. But if Karn had taken Halvo, we might have lost a chance to save anyone. Cares. We need to find our way out of here. We should have been out there fighting tonight. Maybe it's 
Things are done. Loomis just abandoned us. Permission to call him an asshole, sir. Permission to call him whatever you want, cadet. Come on, Kilo, through the door. That raven's not sitting out there because it likes us. dead and they're still relentless assholes. <gasps> Dang, those doors ain't gonna hold. I can almost smell that raven, baby! Come on! that's left of Loomis's grand strategy. Over to the left!
Colonel, where did you come from? I was killing all the grubs you missed. difference between war and cruelty. War is cruelty. And this one's not over. A word, Lieutenant? That's the last time anyone's going to address you as Lieutenant. I'm dropping the charges, but you'll never be an officer again. Yeah. Why should all these brains be wasted on an officer, sir? Private. <laughs> Never. No wonder I was supposed to keep an eye on you. On me? For what? I guess they thought you might try to steal our military technology. Which you did. Illegally access military technology. There's a difference. Oh, pardon me, Lieutenant Baird. It's Private Baird now. Loomis just demoted me. My congratulations. Couldn't have done it without you. I think that means I might be in charge. <laughs> Perfect. Cole, do we have this much tension between us? <laughs> yeah, I think we might. Good. Just check. <laughs> Uh, 
After years of endless war, humanity had finally found peace. Until Emergence Day. When a monstrous new enemy, black-hearted and savage, emerged from below and laid siege to our world. Our losses have been great. Our resolve is far greater. My fellow tyrants, today, the coalition of ordered governments strikes back. These unclean beasts, these locusts, will advance no further. I, Chairman Prescott, have authorized a full planetary strike from our Hammer of Dawn weapons arsenal. On my order, the Cog has placed infantry detachments in key cities to mop up any surviving locust. For those citizens unable to evacuate to safety in time, the Coalition appreciates your sacrifice. Forgive us. This is the only way. Chin up, Private. If you can survive Prescott's bullshit, you can survive anything. He's torching the whole world to kill the grubs, Sarge. Am I ever gonna see him again? I don't know. Shelter? Come on, join the party. You're gonna want to get that. Diaz. Special order, Sergeant. Proceed immediately to General Beckett's office at CIC to retrieve a classified document. Acknowledge. No, you've got the wrong gear. I just run the motor pool. You have your orders. Control out. And let me guess, you're coming too. Well, if you insist. CIC's up ahead. Focus troops inbound. Drones, I see them. Get into cover, Diaz. You forget how to fight in the motor pool? Something like that. I've got a clear line on this drone. Engaging now. Target down. Got one more in range. Damn. Grub's dug in. We need to flank him. Roger that. Moving into position. He's easy pickings now. Should have stayed underground, Grub. Coming through, assholes. Uh. 
All right, let's move. You got a name, soldier? Redburn. Sid Redburn. Tell me something, Sid Redburn. You clearly know where you're going. So why am I here? I guess someone up there likes you, Sergeant. Multiple wretches inbound! Take them out before they swarm us! More contacts! This better be one hell of an important document we're after. Above our pay grade, Sergeant. Let's just get to the CIC before we're flash fried. Going now. Don't go down. Locust eliminated. Got Reavers doing a flyby. Inside, go! Now what are we looking for? The most classified looking file they got. <clears throat> the hell? Plenty of time to read that later. We're in for a fun ride, you and me. No. I told Prescott, I don't do that shit anymore. Time to go. Couldn't hide out in the motor pool forever, Diaz. Closing in fast! Get back to the APC! <laughs> Reaver dropped off reinforcements! Here they come! Wretches! We don't have time for this! Clear him out with a frag grenade! Gladly. Throwing a grenade! One thing for Prescott. The man's thorough. Come on. Let's find a way back. To a goddamn crisp. 
Better hope our APC isn't torched too, or it's gonna be a long walk to the bunker. Weapons up! That sounds like an emergence hole. Get up there! Grubs will be tunneling out soon. They're already back at it, huh? So much for Prescott's hammer strikes. Great for assholes! We got locusts coming up from underground! Put a frag grenade in that emergence hole. If we don't close it, they'll just keep pouring out. You think this is the first e-hole I've seen, Sergeant? On my way. Diaz, war's not over. We need to talk about Prescott's mission. This grub named Zukon. Save it. I fix things now. And that's it. The bunker! No blast marks. This wasn't the hammer. No, it wasn't. This was Ukon. So this is the grease pit you traded your command for. Comms work in this dump at least? Let's hope not. Lieutenant Colonel Diaz, it's been too long. It's Sergeant now, Chairman. Hope this was worth dodging your hammer strikes for. Yes, well, I'm glad to see your time in the motor pool has indulged your talents. Open it. You're looking at the only known photos of a locust called Ukon, the enemy's resident geneticist, a monster who makes monsters. Gorpsers, Brumox, his work. We need him eliminated. I don't run ops anymore. Not after Gekka Ridge. Sulking won't undo the past, Diaz. You want to save lives today? Stop squandering your tactical gifts and take Ukon down before he creates something even worse. I can't offer you much. No personnel, no resupply. Hold up. If this grub's as dangerous as you say, I need equipment. Soldiers. An army. Oh, you always were resourceful. Recruit whatever gears you find and figure out the rest. As for your incident in Gatka, try to do better this time. A heartwarming reunion. If we do this, 
you work for me, not Prescott. Got it? You're the boss, motor pool. Come on. Let's find some more gears. Alder's a ghost town now, so our recruiting options are thin. Our best bet for gears is Echo 5, a mop-up unit stationed nearby. Let's pay him a visit. for our little grub hunt. I won't go down easy. Don't you worry. Been working on my recruiting pitch. Yeah. That's what I'm afraid of. Up ahead. Cupcakes, listen up. Everybody in one piece? We're looking for Echo 5. That's us, sir. Grubs just ambushed our unit half a click up the road. Came out of nowhere. All right, you're with us now. Let's go find your people. Sure as hell hope there's a squad left to recruit. Check out the ambush site. See if there's any sign of those gears. Uh-huh. Grubs caught these gears by surprise. We'll bring their tags home at least. Watch it! Here they come! That's all of them. Now, what happened here? First the bunker, now this. Ukon's wiping out the mop-up crews. What the... Emulsion? He didn't kill all of them. Drag marks. You sure they're alive? Dead bodies don't kick. If those gears are lucky, TACCOM should pick them up. Mm -hmm. And there they are. Let's go. We've got a fix on the prisoners the Grubs took. My bet? The sick bastards are processing those gears in torture pods. We've got to work fast, then. Once we pull up, those Grubs are going to start the kill timer. Clock's ticking on our people, so it's just us two. Full squad would only slow us down. Free those prisoners. Heads up! Grenadier inbound! Keep them at a distance. That Nasher means business. Here they come! They're in my sight! Don't forget that kill timer. Save everyone quickly. <laughs> Welcome back, soldier. Now grab a weapon. Still got a fight ahead of us.
Let's pick up the pace now. Time's running out on our gears. Well, good news is you're safe. The bad news... You're the last of Echo 5. Now come on. We got a big mission ahead. And a lot of manpower left to find. We might have stumbled onto a fix for our personnel shortage. TACCOM just picked up a distress call in the industrial district. Whoever it is, we've got to help them. And who knows? Maybe they can help us too. Running's all they're good for. She shoots better than you. Okay! Protect that truck! Don't know how long the armor on their rig's gonna hold, so hustle up there. We gotta give them a fighting chance. The way they turn tail? Think a hiding chance is all they're up for. Noted, Sid. Now move. That's one big-ass truck these civvies have. It's a mining rig. Has living quarters, a reinforced hull, an armory. So we're taking it, is what you're saying. If that's what I was saying, I would have said it. <laughs> Solid work. Location secure. Now, let's make sure everybody's in one piece. So much for gratitude. We're not done here. With them? No! And you know why. Perfect. Hey there. Looks like we came just in time. Listen, fascist. Your hammer strike took everything from us. Don't you come here looking for things. So here's what I see. Guts. But no discipline. If we hadn't picked up your distress call, you would have been overrun. We can help each other. Join us. All right. Here's what I see. A bunch of lost fascists so desperate for warm bodies, they want to conscript civilians. Hmm. You're hunting that crazy locust. Ukon. What do you know about him? Enough. Places he goes. Show me. Maybe for the right price. But a start is busted. So unless one of your goons is a mechanic, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> I think I know a guy. Okay. Mammoth's fixed, so... The deal's a deal. Let's take a little trip to the packing district. Place is always swarmed with Ukon's goons. You want to see what he's up to? <laughs> That's the first place to look. The warehouse up ahead. 
I saw Ukon lurking there about a week ago. To some kind of bullshit. Let's knock on his door then. And me without a housewarming gift. <laughs> Well, good thing they let the e-brake off. Come on, their house is just ahead. Got a sniper in play. Take him out fast or he'll pin us down. Good. I don't see Ukon, but I do see his emulsion stockpile. If we can't kill him, might as well annoy him. Plan a charge on those fuel tanks. Fire in the hole! I think we're clear. You fascists can fight. I'll give you that. Thanks. It's the first thing we learn in fascist school. Oh, so you think it's funny the shit the cog does? Burning the world down. No. Just don't judge us too quickly by the uniform we wear. Right? Oh, Ukon's not gonna like that. Come on, no point in sticking around. Let's head back. That was pure refined emulsion. You could send a rocket into space with those tanks. Or you could power up one hell of a monster. Believe me, we've only scratched the surface with Ukon. Well, we didn't find Ukon, but we did put him on notice. It must have taken weeks to stop all that emotion. Gotta admit, it felt good to mess with that asshole instead of running. Now, I got one more place where we might find him. Michaela's next lead looks solid. We're seeing heavy locust activity in the city of Claiborne, just like she said. Ukon's there. Be ready for anything. There's a lot of grubs down there. Well, good. Means he's close. One of Ukon's pets. All right, listen up. That bridge is our way in. No e-holes, and they can't flank us. What about that? Well, at least we'll hear it coming. Killing time! The grubs have this bridge good and infested. We'll have to fight our way across. What else is new? Hard part will be finding Ukon once we're there. With the ruckus we're gonna make, he may just find us first. Still no sign of him. I think our little friend is getting closer. Ukon.
Don't wait. The emulsion tank's on his back. We destroy them, he goes down. He's gonna try to shield them, so we need shooters on both sides. These Brumox get feisty. Buckle up, people! He's trying to hide his tanks. Hit him from the other side. The Brumac turning. Rockets inbound. Does a monster this nasty really need rockets, too? Who does that? The asshole you just went loose cannon on. That's who. Hey, that was a clean kill. How was I supposed to know who caught some kind of super grub? saw Ukon get his head blown off. And stand right back up. What else aren't you telling me? Your orders are to kill him, not write his biography. The cop put me here before. We're... We're keeping secrets got good people killed. And some secrets also keep people alive. Now do your job. So, you're all wondering why we pulled away from the fight, hmm? Frankly, we're not ready for it. That Brumach was just the start. Our enemies got a whole grub zoo shit. no one's even seen yet. And right now, all we have is grit. Which is why your on-the-job training starts today. Look, I don't like it any more than you do. But if there's one thing that the COG is good at, it's making soldiers, you know that. So, we learn what we need, and then we kick Ukon's ass back underground. I'll be overseeing a group today. Major Redburn will take you through your paces later. Lucky me. Now, let's go squash some grubs. Civilians and COG, rookies and vets. 
Our little army has plenty of friction. If we're gonna take out Ukon, we gotta learn to work together. That starts here. Mission's all about teamwork. Dig in near both crates and load the supplies we need to upgrade our army. Remember, we don't work together, we die. Buckle up! Enemy reinforcements inbound! Boomer spotted! Coordinate fire and watch his boom shot. If that thing knocks you out of cover, you're as good as target practice. Boomer neutralized. And you left us a present. Grab that boom shot. <laughs> Solid kill. Supply target reached. Solid teamwork, people. To provide us some much needed upgrades. Prepare for evac. Listen up. Diaz preaches teamwork. But I've got a different gospel. Sink or swim. If you can't pull weight, don't expect pity. Because the grubs won't give you any. Now, it's proving time. <laughs> Trial by fire it is. If we're gonna tangle with Ukon, we need better armor and weapons. Grab the gear, and watch out for those nemesis bombs. Decent work, but you got a long damn way to go. Load up that gear, let's roll. Eyes open, feet apart. Elbow in. Gotta say, they're starting to look like gears. Yeah, I think we put a little spine in them. What the hell did you do? Three of my people just deserted. Yeah, maybe a little too much spine. Yes. We'll form search parties, go after them. Michaela, they're not just your people anymore. Look, I don't like doing things the cog way either, but not even Sid's as harsh as a grub torture pod. The Locust took our runaways captive nearby. Let's bring them home. Two pods. Grubs took our third deserter somewhere else. Kill timer's on, so hustle. If we're slow, our people die. Great, just what this mess needed. A pack of walking landmines. Don't let those tickers get close. Time to do our thing! Go ahead. You or me, asshole! Roger that. We 
got you. And listen, give the cock one more chance, okay? Gabe's a good man. I'll handle Sid. Come on, let's get back. And hey, we'll make this convoy a home for you. Trust me. Now let's hope Gabe can still save your friend. While we've been hunting runaways, Ukon's been staking us out. Grub's hiding emulsion tanks to hit us with another Brumach, I'd bet. We're gonna wreck his stash and buy Gabe time to save the last deserter. Time to put a crimp in Ukon's Brumach plan. Find his emulsion tanks and make them go boom. Move out. Taking position. Heads up. They're guarding the tanks. Perfect. Our target's across the way, but the grubs are blocking the bridge controls. Clear them out. Frag out. Nobody pat themselves on the back just yet. We got work to do. Double time it to that emulsion. Break out the earplugs. We got a Cantus. Kill him before he heals his head friends. His screaming days are over. Cantus down. Understood. That'll set Ukon back. Should buy Gabe some breathing room, too. Now let's get scarce. That emulsion we blasted. Anyone else think those didn't look like Brumach tanks? What the hell's Ukon up to? <laughs> Grubs aren't getting any friendlier, people! Time to evac! We've got a fix on our last runaway, and it might pay off bigger than we thought. Intel says they're part of a locust cargo shipment. Break them out and look for anything we can use against Ukon. Grubs have two prisoners on site. One of ours, and one who's about to get lucky. Crack those torture pods fast and watch for clues. Move out! Okay, soldier. You're with us. Jackpot. Same kind of canister Ukon huffed from right before he turned super grub. Better grab one. Didn't think we'd give up on you, did you? Now shake off the dust. We're fighting our way out. We've got our people, and one hell of a lead with that canister. Everybody, head for the APC! Guess I should thank you for running.
If we can find out what's in this canister, we might just learn the key to beating Ukon. Ukon was huffing this shit. What is it? Take a snort, Diaz, and I'll shoot you. For research. My Viscari's rusty. Property of Nadroma Health Institute. Nadroma's a hall. Then let's start hauling. Ukon needs these canisters, so we need to know why. Our best bet for answers is to check out the source. But stay sharp. If this place is on Ukon's radar, it'll be crawling with grubs. I guess that doesn't say free kittens. Warning. Rustlung quarantine zone. Rustlung? Why would Ukon care about Rustlung? I think we're about to find out. Sign says the medical archives are up in the atrium. Let's check it out. Odds are that's where we'll find our intel. A whole damn grub convention by the cell. Looks like Ukon kicked his drones up a notch. Five. Take him down. Another nice surprise from Ukon. Careful of that gas cloud, people. Headed out. Yeah. Had enough of you. Pay dirt. Research files and a fresh canister. We can examine it all back at the convoy. Move out. We got our intel. But Ukon's raising the stakes with those amped up drones. It's time we figured out how to put this SOP on ice. So, what is it? It's an immune system booster. Experimental. Crippling side effects. And it only works on rust lung. Huh. Rust lung? So Ukon's dying of rust lung? How is that even possible? Okay, this is all academic. We need to catch him. Yeah. And now, we have our bait. With Ukon's healing trick, we can't kill him head on. We've got to trap him instead. Our target's an old UIR medical truck. Once we secure it, we'll make Ukon think he's hit the canister jackpot. Intel says our vehicle's up ahead. Just gotta lock it down for the recovery crew. Hang out. Solid job. This truck's just what we need to pull the car. Now let's move out and let the recovery crew get to work. Okay, trap set. Now we've just gotta wait. And hope that Ukon's as desperate for those canisters as I think he is. Huh? 
Okay. Let's do this. <clears throat> Control. This is Alpha 2. Go ahead, Alpha 2. Found a UIR truck full of medical canisters just north of Vintech. It says Necroma Health Institute. No use to us, Alpha 2. Leave it and move on. Control out. You're sure Ukon listens in on comms? Oh, I'm positive. Getting in this truck and driving away. Oh no, you're not. Stop! Stop! I'm taking care of this my way. And what way is that? The backstabbing lunatic way? You wanna be stupid? Go ahead. Shoot. like we planned it. And that's a corpse, sir! Buckle up! These things are nasty! But who's the bigger threat, it or Sid? Can't think about that now. Just target the corpse, sir! his own death warrant! Target that crane! Good! That's it! Keep targeting that crane! Alright! Target eliminated! Would you please explain to me what the f*** that was? You owe me an answer. I don't owe you sh Okay. 
I trust you have better news this time, Diaz. We had Ukon. And then your man tried to escape with him. And where is Major Redburn now? Detained. Unfortunate. But you've cornered Ukon once. You can do it again. As for Major Redburn, the penalty for treason is death. I leave the method to you. Get any answers from your tyrant, buddy? Just more questions. That's goddamn usual. What did you want with Ukon? You want to eat more shovel? Talk. Fine. Right in there, then. Should have shot you when I had the chance. Had enough alone time? Because Ukon's still out there, and we've only got one lead left. You're backstabbing ass. Know what? You're no better than Prescott. I'm protecting you, goddammit! Really? Because I thought you were protecting your old pal Ukon. <sighs> if I tell you the truth, there's no going back. Long time ago, I got posted to a genetics lab. They were supposed to be curing rust lung. It went sideways. Instead of going after a cure, the doctors made monsters. Convinced Chairman Monroe the things had military potential. But they were feral, mindless. Except one. Ukon. One chairman caused this mess, another covers it up. I wanted to parade Ukon through the capital as proof that we need real military leadership to win this war, not manicured politicians. But for now, Anyone who knows the truth is at risk, including you two. So you're saying the cog created the locust? <laughs> Sounds about right. No, that's... that's insane. Tell you what, I stashed some files at the outpost in Winlock. Go see for yourself. If this is another lie... Well, believe me, Motorpool. I wish it were. Sid wants us to believe the COG cooked up its own worst enemy. If I'm gonna buy that, I need hard proof. Let's see if these files of his are real, or if they're one more tall tale. Well, Winlock has Sid written all over. Old, busted, and sketchy as hell. Okay. Missions are grab and go. If Sid wasn't bullshitting, his files would be in the storehouse. That's one hell of an if. <laughs> that did it. Let's hustle up to that storehouse. Oh, sucker! There's the storehouse. Let's have a look around. That file better be there. If Sid sent us out here for nothing, he's losing his other eye. New Hope Initiative. Chairman's eyes only. This is the file, all right. Let's head back so we can get a closer look. Gabe, you need to read this. Patient zero. It's all real. Sid was 
telling the truth. What are you gonna do? Rattle the skeletons in the closet. Something to report, Diaz? New Hope. Excuse me. New Hope. Sid's rambling on about it. That name mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. What are your current coordinates? I asked you to deal with Major Redburn, you haven't. I'm sending a raven to arrest him and bring you reinforcements. <laughs> well, it's about goddamn time. Coordinates sent. Dispatching the Raven now. And yes. <laughs> this has been a difficult mission. For all of us. Why the hell did you tell him where we are? He's going to send some kill squad. Prescott can send whoever he wants. By the time they land on that mountaintop, We'll be gone. Oh, you're sneakier than you look. No more cock bullshit. Get everyone ready to head. Don't say I didn't warn you. Well, Prescott thinks we're dead. Good. One less distraction while we get back to the mission. Killing Ukon. Oh, really? And how are we going to do that? His healing. I can turn it off. You're telling us this now? Well, yeah. Wasn't trying to kill him before. Spill it. Ukon's turbocharging is healing, right? Well, at New Hope, the docs had a dirty trick called cytostatic gas. Completely jams up the healing process. I know how to make it. And you can weaponize it. You trust this mustache with legs after what he pulled? You got a better plan? Ukon dies. Full stop. You want to throw a truth parade in Afira? Do it on your own time. You know we're never going back to Afira. Pull any sh No more warning shots. Okay, let's get to work. If we're gonna brew up this gas, we need ingredients. Intel says we'll find them at an old UIR chemical weapons depot. Gabe's busy cleaning up the Prescott mess, so it's on us to make sure Sid behaves. It takes two chemicals to make cytostatic gas. Fluorosil, something called RZ-50. We'll need plenty of both, so get cozy by those crates. No slack, Assen. Oh, we'll do the job. You're the one who's gotta prove his worth. Good work. <laughs> Let's grab a couple more loads. 
Make sure we get enough to knock Ukon on his scaly ass. Let's mess him up. Psychic! Asshole broke my cover! <laughs> It's like touching the goddamn sun. Ukon isn't gonna sit politely while we dose him with this cytostatic stuff. So we need a delivery mechanism. Gas grenades will do the trick. Secure the parts we need to build them. Intel says we'll find grenade casings up at the old missile silo. Let's step to it. Gabe, leaving Sid alone, mixing a bunch of chemicals. You really trust him? No. But if he steps out of line, we've got plenty of pissed off soldiers there who would love to set him straight. <laughs> Good. We're in. Get to that silo, people. Yeah, that's why we're gonna close his kitchen. Nice. Got our grenade cases. Time to head home. So what do you want to bet Sid's blown himself up by now, making his chemical stew? Huh. <laughs> you almost sound concerned. Is he growing on you again? Yeah, like a damn fungus. What was the UIR gonna do with a missile that big? Blow up the moon? More like blow up the cog. Yeah, but you blew them up first. With your space laser. Different war, same bullshit. So, these gas grenades. You think we can make them do what we need? Are you? I have two engineering doctorates. You think I'm gonna have trouble making a little gas pop out? No, I... Great. Excellent. Let's get back. Can I build a damn gas grenade? Michaela's making our grenades, but she needs one last piece. Detonator pins. Intel says we'll find some at a way station out in the Badlands. We've got to collect that cargo before the Grub Wrecking Crew arrives. Our detonator pins should be in one of these equipment cases. Search them until you strike gold. Keep ahead of those bombs. Don't want to be scraping anyone off the dirt today. You know, I could have handled this one alone, motor fool. You didn't need to come along. Don't think so, cowboy. You're still on probation. Is that right? And how long is this probation gonna last? Till the lump you made on my head. How about that? On my way. Good. Detonator pin secure. Dialing in our evac now. But we can always use extra equipment, too. Not a bad little mission. How's that lump on your head feeling now? Better. I mean, an old man like you can't hit that hard. Just wanted to ring your bell. If I were out to hurt you, you'd know it. These super grubs are bad news. If Ukon builds thousands of them, marches on a Fira? 
Easy to fix, Diaz. Want to stop an army of assholes, just blow up the asshole factory. It's done. You're welcome. All that's left now... Uh, ...is to find out where Ukon's hiding. Listen. What I did before... Well, it was a... It was a bad call. I just wanted payback. For all the sh the cogs made me do. I put you all in danger. I'm just trying to make that... Right. Careful. Stare at that any harder, you'll set it on fire. Don't bother. Hasn't moved in two hours. Think I got it. These are all the places Ukon's attacked. What's the pattern? We've covered this. It's random. Where he's hit is random. What about where he hasn't? Zenic province. We've been through it. Pristine medical facilities. They should have what Ukon wants, but he isn't touching them. It's the one place he doesn't want to leave footprints. Zenic's big. It'll take some looking. He's there. I know it. So much for Ukon keeping a low profile in Zenic. Intel just came in on a hidden torture camp. We're gonna free his prisoners and see if we can't sniff out his base. Okay, get to those prisoners, but keep your eyes sharp for clues. Canisters, tracks, anything. Don't get excited now. Grubs have torture camps all over. Doesn't mean Ukon's base is on the street. Call it intuition. You're back in the fold, soldier. Come on, we're fighting our way out. Got a civvy here! Sure hope you can shoot. I... Don't worry about me. I can fight. Now haul ass to the APC. We got bigger grubs to fry. Good. All friendlies accounted for. Hey, the grubs who took you... Did they have a base nearby? It's important. They... Look, can we just leave? Of course. We've got food and beds for you both back at our convoy. Girl knows something. She's about as chatty as a brick wall. Tell me to talk to her. Yeah. Ma. 
mind if I join you? It's your camp. Can't imagine what you've been through. Save the pity for someone who wants it. Look, you want to leave? No one's stopping you, hmm? If not, talk to us. What happened to you? We were living in some old lab. My father's a scientist, or was. A few weeks ago, I went out for supplies. When I came back, that thing was there, setting up shop. Ukon. I don't know why he didn't just kill me, but what he did to my father, that'll stay with me until the day I die. I'm sorry. That information isn't a gift. You're gonna help me kill Ukon. Help you kill him? <laughs> What's your name? My name is You're Gonna Help Me Kill Ukon. I think I can make that happen. Awfully long name, though. There anything I can call you for short? Reyna. Guess she likes your motor pool. She knows where he is. It's time we ended this. Reyna gave us a fix on Ukon's lab, but the brute force approach isn't gonna cut it. To plan our attack, we need to scout his defenses. Clear out any grubs and get to a vantage point. There's a view of Ukon's base past this wall. The checkpoint used to be unmanned, or ungrubbed. But Ukon's a vigilant one. No way we're sneaking in. We've got to open the gate and clear a path to that overlook. Move out. This lab Ukon's using. You know it well? Sort of. We weren't there long. My father and I were always moving. Always... hiding. Hiding? From what? Honestly, you. The cock, I mean. I was taught never to trust them. Yeah, well, wish I'd learned that lesson sooner myself. Okay, they're down. For a city, you know your way around a gun. Where'd you learn to shoot? What's so hard? You just point and pull the trigger. Guess I've wasted a lot of time on the firing range then. Let's, uh, open that gate. The lookout's up this way, but stay alert. There'll be more locusts around. Else I should know about this lab? I'm not sure. I mean, my father said it had RNA sequences, thermal cyclers. Well. What? Is that bad? Lucon? Everything's bad. There, through the rocks. Some renovating, huh? It's an asshole factory, all right. In full production. That's a lot of emulsion. Okay, what do you guys want first? The bad news, or the really bad news? Gabe has a plan to break into Ukon's base. But it's... Well, don't anybody cancel their life insurance. The 
If we're gonna survive this, we need to armor our HQ vehicle up. Way up. You need metal plating? You raid an armored vehicle depot. Settle in by the crates and pack up that steel. I've been scrapping my whole life. I don't need the tutorial. Hey, we're friends now. Remember? I... yeah, sorry. Hey, so Gabe's big break-in idea. You think it'll work? Oh, his plans always work. That's not quite like he planned. That's all for now. So, Reyna, you bought a lot of grubs before then. Not that many, I guess, but... In a way, it feels like I've been fighting them all my life. Huh, tell me about it. No, I mean... Forget it. Okay, that's it! And, uh... Good work, everyone. It's an array of people. She'll be giving the orders before long. Now let's get back. Fuel economy is gonna take a hit. But our HQ vehicle's about to become an armored... I told you once that we weren't ready for this fight. Said all we had was grit. Well, we got a hell of a lot more than that now. But this won't be easy. Because it's not enough just to kill Ukon. If we let the locusts keep churning out these juiced up grubs, everyone's at risk, not just us. That means we've got to crush Ukon and his whole nasty-ass operation. The plan's simple. First, we knock down Ukon's front door. Knock, knock! <laughs> That'll unleash hell. And give us time to make a special delivery. <laughs> While we chase Ukon down, you'll buy us time. Now, let's get this done. My newest creation thinks of your little plan. God! Disable those pumps! Whatever Ukon's hiding in there, we've got to cut off its emulsion supply. Okay, then what? Then Ukon unveils his magnum opus. And first one! Oh. Keep it up, scum. You only hasten your fit. Dropped one. Okay. And ah. All emotion pumps down. No more two, Sukon. Come face us. Well, he looks friendly. Peace. 
in that thing's head! Target the mask! Target's launching its rockets! And changing position! I have made your kind obsolete! This Hydra! My zealots and disciples! We are Sarah's future! Humanity has been eclipsed! Do you not see? What if your scientists began at New Hope? I have finished. Oh, fire, human pests! Anything until you see Ukon dead. Get back! Get back! Ah! Got a whole box of these. Cytostatic gas. A drug of torturers. <coughs> You're all out of moves. New hope never left you. Did it sin? I missed you too, asshole. You think you've won. But your suffering is only beginning. Humanity is weak, soft. My creatures, my perfect creations, will outlive you all! They'll outlive your ass. That's for sure. So what's next, Mustache Man? You headed off to spill some cog dirt? Been thinking on that. Maybe some secrets are better left buried. I say we leave Prescott to his world. And get busy building our own. Sunset, then. Not quite. Ukon's monsters are still out there. I've got some new mission plans we can go over tonight. See, Reyna, this is how fascists celebrate. Planning. <laughs> Something of yours? My mother's. I never knew her. Thank you. Can we burn this place down already? 
It's almost my nap time. Coming? Let me tell you something about war. War ain't always about fighting. Blood, bullets, death, yeah, yeah, that's part of it. But it sure as hell ain't all of it. Sometimes, it's about knowing when to turn tail. And run your fucking ass off. This is it, people. Saddle up! Just remember, little one, in life, there will always be struggle. Such is the nature of things. But in life, there is also hope and happiness. Status, Valera. Ty just loaded the last of the civvies on the APCs, Lieutenant Kim. Thank the Sovereigns for that. After sundown, this place is gonna be a nightmare. Relax, Lieutenant. Still hours before the damn Krill storm hits the city. This is Zeta-6. The Lima City is under attack. Repeat, Locust invasion! The Lima City is under attack! Locust and crew? I'm setting reinforcements now, Zeta. Make it quick! We got civilian casualties! Roger that, Zeta. Control out. brother. Control Zeta-6 here. Area secure. What's left of it? We've lost radio contact with Echo-5. They were at a nearby bank with civilians awaiting evac. Move to the bank and support. All right, people. Let's relocate to the financial district. Double time. Time we just took a stand and killed these goddamn grubs. 
And tell me about it. This is my hometown. These are my people. My condolences. Losing one's home is next to losing one's family. It's true. <laughs> I guess we're all homeless now. And the locust. Desperate times call for you. What they call for is some goddamn restraint. Focus. We don't know what we're walking into. Let's keep moving. You hear that? That must be Echo Squad. Move! Boomer! their souls finally no peace but what about the civilians let's check inside control echo 5 is kia we're moving inside to secure the civilians they were a good unit <laughs> copy that data good luck do you have the code <laughs> just help me with the door Hiding in a bank, where would I be? Precious things are kept in vaults. And vaults are underground. Alright, let's find a way downstairs. I used to have an account here. Yeah! Oh, look at the place. Well, everything changes. <laughs> and some things stay the same. Thunder always follows lightning. My thoughts exactly, Ty. There has to be Locust nearby. No wonder you guys work so well together. You're like his fucking translator. My god. I hope that some of them made it into the vault. Lieutenant Min Young Kim. We're here to help. Jack, you around? Unlock that door for us, will you? Hey! Anybody alive in here? Monetary wealth is fleeting. I value our lives much more.
Done. Are there any other survivors in here? I don't think so. Well, stick with us. We'll get you to safety. Come on. I don't know. We all tried to escape out the back, but I got trapped. Look, we'll try to find the others as we go. Man, this shit is crazy. What's up with the sky? The locust cedars are inking it. Ink? Ink blocks the sun. Once it's dark, the krill kill everyone. Don't worry, Jace. We're getting you out of here before that happens. That rumble is about to get fun. Eyes open, Zeta. Left with nothing. 
general. Juju and those vibrations. Control, this is Zeta 6. What's going on out there? I'm not sure, Zeta. We lost contact with the last evac checkpoint. Have you secured the civilians? Just one. We're headed to the checkpoint now. What's the ETA on that evac caravan? They've encountered resistance but are approaching your location. You don't have much time. Roger that, Control. We're on our way. We're seeing Nemesis over the evac point. Copy that, Data 6. You need to neutralize the Cedars at your location before the evac caravan arrives. And Control, we spotted Locust Elite and General Rob. This is more than just a simple ambush. Confirmed. We have Locust forces emerging throughout the city. Prescott just deployed the Onyx Guard to the east side. Good to know. Zeta out. All right, let's get to that checkpoint and clear out those cedars. Did she say that Prescott sent the Onyx Guard? The who? Shit must be bad. They don't send those guys for evac. Jace, wait for us here. Shit, you don't have to tell me twice. This street is the evac route. We need to clear it. That means no locusts on the ground and no nemesis in the air. It's those cedars, Zeta. You mean crush them. Got it! Aim for the column!
Control, evac route is clear. I repeat, evac route is clear. Here comes the caravan. Good timing. idea, Val, but I can feel it in my damn boots. It's moving toward your position. Kim, you have Bruma inbound. We see it, Walker. We'll take his CC help. Get on it, Seda. Ah! did not go quietly. Control. The caravan is secure. I wish we could have saved everyone. Hurry up, son. That caravan's your ticket out of here. Be safe, Jace. Whoa, what? I don't get to stay with you? But my pop, Dr. Weissen, he's still at the school! That caravan can't wait any longer, Jace. And you need to be on board when it leaves. But we'll check out that school and make sure he's safe. I guess. Don't worry, Jace. We'll find him and bring him back safe. Thanks, Alicia. You stay safe too, okay? This place has COG written all over it. Control, this is Zeta-6. We're on school grounds and we're seeing signs of recent COG activity. Was this an official evac checkpoint? Confirmed. It was set up behind the school, but that caravan hasn't checked in since the fighting began. Roger that, Control. We'll keep an eye out. Let's move. We need to be out of here before dark. In this case, I think darkness comes before the night. Oh, man. Barrack, you're on point. <laughs> hey, we can climb in through there. It's a shame to see an empty school. No learning, no achievements. No detention, no fights, no expulsions. <laughs> Suits me fine. <laughs> I'm taking you with a class valedictorian. More like class outcast. Yeah, some things never change. I see signs of life, but no thing living. But where is everyone? Control, we've located the evacuation center, but it appears empty. Roger that, Data 6. The Krill Storm is quickly approaching, and Command recommends you return to base. Understood, Control. But we're gonna complete our search for Wizen first. Zeta out. This guy better be worth risking our asses with those krill about to hit. This is Dr. Bison. Please proceed to the to my office. I'm after you now. Locust approaching the river. And please be careful. That doesn't sound good. Zeta, let's find his office. Hello? Is someone there? Dr. Wisen? We've come to get you out. Civilians, do not be afraid. Do I hear 
your survivors. Why then? Where are you? Dead end, bruh. You hear something? Greetings, Dr. Wyson. Oh, when do we get to fight something? Be careful what you ask for, Baron. What is going on here? What the? Look out! <laughs> Always gotta be the hard way, huh? So that's who's been running around in here. I'm ready for fight. Here they come! Heads up, wretches! Wretch! Nice try, little freaks. Man, the bullies in this school are rough. Let's just keep moving, Data. Oh, to think that people lived like this. Sister, you think this is bad? Uh, should see my old stranded camp. Now that was a real dung heap. Operation Lifeboat, my ass. Keep your heads down! Use cover and cross to that building! We got any horns! Here comes the bull! a day at school without going to the principal's office. Jeez. 
This is Dr. Wyson. Please proceed to the gymnasium immediately. I'm leaving my office now. We are all gathering to go to my orphanage, as there are locusts approaching the school. I repeat, go to the gymnasium immediately. And please, be careful. Sounds like he already left. Maurice, hold up in the gym. Agree. Let's check there first before we head out. I know Jay said his people were in here. Man, this place is a graveyard. Graveyard? I hope not. Control said these people were evacuated, right, Lieutenant? She said they hadn't checked in. If someone was left behind, then we need to get them out. And take down a few locusts along the way. Shit. Could use a trophy for creepiest high school. Wizen's the principal here. No wonder he was leading people back to the school. The boy, Jace, said they were close. Like family. Oh my god. How many? Did any of them make it? I'm not sure. Damn it. We couldn't even protect an evac point with kids in it. The COG does what it can for its people, Corporal. That's why we're here. Keep moving. The COG does what it can for its people? Well, I'll tell you what the COG did for me. The COG blew up my house. The COG destroyed everything I had. And when I was stranded and had no other choices, the COG gave me a gun and sent me here to do the same thing to someone else. This was your home once, Val. Is the COG doing what it can for you? I don't know, Beric. The locusts are real. Those krill are real. Every life we save today is something special. It's another chance for someone. <sighs> what is that? A serapede web? It would take a colony to make a web that big. Huh. Or a giant one. Ugh. Why do our locker rooms smell the same? All I can smell is locust. Giant it is! Just means a bigger target! This way! 
There's our revac center. What the? Looks like everyone's dead. What did this? Something we're gonna kill. A sad resting place for the fallen. Looks like the school is deserted and no sign of Wizen. Now what? Let's cut through here. We need to unblock the bleachers. That did it. Move out. Almost as tough as my ex. Well, the school is deserted and no sign of Wyson. Now what? Now. Now we have some fun. The cedars arrive, my children. The humans are too late to stop us now. Show them what it means to face the might of the locust and the.
But the sky is not yet dark enough for the crew to feed. Move to the final location and summon another wave of seeds. Once the nemesis have darkened the skies, the city at last shall be ours. Control Zeta-6. The school is lost and no sign of Dr. Wisen. Control, this is Zeta-6. Do you read me? It's no use, Lieutenant. Something means cedars. And cedars mean our comms are fucked. Well, we have to re-establish comms with control. If we're gonna find any survivors. Time for cedar hunting. Like war, only uglier. Unprecedented. Darkness masks the day. Yeah, this is bad. This place is going to be a graveyard soon. Ah! It's those little chicken bastards! I think we used to complain about gridlock. People complain about many things they would wish for later. <laughs> Brother, I think I'm gonna say that about you one day. Good to go. Looks like everyone tried to drive out at the same time. seen carnage like this before. They're gonna pay dear for it. Cedars are dead ahead, but there's too many grubs in the way. Agreed. We have no chance of facing them head on. Let's split up and maybe we can surprise them. Baron, take Ty and head up that ladder. Cover us while Valera and I attempt to flank. Done. See you on the other side, brother. Val, your little brother old enough to serve yet? One more year. It's amazing how fast they grow up. Too bad he's going into all this. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's got a kick-ass older sister to look after him when he does. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Beric. Look, there are nemesis above City Hall. That means the Cedars are close. Let's find them and take them out. Got a plan? Get inside City Hall. If the mobile command center is still online, then we can use it to bring down the hammer. Agreed? Fry some grubs? Yeah, I think I can do that. Now you translate too, hey, bro. Got one!
such a beautiful garden, only to be defiled by the unclean. Zeta, we need that command center. <sighs> that was a serious ambush. I've never seen Locus use tactics like this. What's pushing them? Rob, and I can't wait to meet him. Someone man the hammer! The rest provide fire support! We'll cover you. Just blast those cedars. Zeta. Let's see if we have comms back. Zeta-6 to control. Control, do you read me? Zeta-6? Zeta-6, I read you! What's your situation? We're still kicking. Good to hear your voice, Walker. You too, Kim. I guess we can thank you for all of those unauthorized hammer drops? Affirmative. We took City Hall and cleared out local cedars. Hopefully that will buy the evacuation some time. The evacuation is over, Seda. You're all that's left. Stay where you are and we'll send our last APC to pick you up. Control, we need to get to Wizen's orphanage. He was taking the kids there and they might still be alive. Seda, the orphanage is a click east of City Hall, but... Additional cedars have sped up the Krill Storm. Command has ordered a full withdrawal of all forces. Negative control. We're not leaving Wizen and the kids. Walker, I need to find his orphanage. If they want us out, they can pick us up there. Roger that, Zeta. I... I'll send along your request for evacuation. Godspeed. Control out. Once dared to build our dreams. At least we can turn it into a nightmare for the grubs. Okay with using the crane, Kim? I mean, I wouldn't want you to violate any COG regulations or anything. No, it, Merrick. Damn, this guy. There must be millions of them. Doesn't look good. Let's get moving, Zeta. We need to reach that orphanage before the skies ain't over. 
Thank you, sir. You made the right call. Thank me when we're out of this mess, Private. And stow it, Barrett. That's an order. We move while we still can. Oh, thank God. Gears. I thought we'd never get out of time. Ah, Dr. Wyzen. Don't worry, you're safe now. Zeta-6 to control. The orphanage is clear. Send in the APC. Arriving now, Zeta-6. Please hurry.
Whatever the hell it is, stay clear of it! Zeta, let's go! Protect the orphanage! Everyone to the roof for evac. Damn it.
Jack, rip that door. What are you doing here? Getting you out. Here, put this on. You'll need it. You could get in a lot of trouble for doing this. Not anymore. Things have changed. We better go. What about the other prisoners? You can't just leave them here. They're gone. Hoffman pardoned everybody. Is that right? Welcome back to the army, soldier. Shit. Let's go. We've got two options. We can go back the way I came, through the guards' quarters. It takes time, but it's safe. Or we can go through the prison blocks and get right into the fight. Your choice. Let's take the prison blocks. I'm ready to kick some ass. Hell yeah. Let's do it. 6-4, this is Delta-2. We're en route. Over. I copy that. We are beginning our run. 6-4, in position. Fox-1, one, Fox-1. One. Hey! 6-4, this is Delta-2. Hold your fire. We are inside the prison. Over. Roger that, holding fire. Advise you relocate ASAP. Man, if Command knew I was here to get you, I'd be in some deep shit. Come on, let's go. Nice. What the hell's been going on in this prison? You don't want to know. Ground units are taking heavy fire. We have hostiles in all directions. Copy that. Calling for reinforcements, over. Marcus! The tower! Raven, Delta 2. We've got a locust on that bridge. Over. Roger that. Moving in. 6 4. We are moving your location. Over. Copy that. We are clearing area for extraction. Mark, grab the grenades. Sweet. Mark, use your grenades. Baby! Okay, I think we're good. Let's grab some ammo. Good to go. Let's get out there. Delta 1, this is Delta 2. We are ready for extraction. Over. Copy that. Welcome to Delta Squad. Where are we going? 
Embry Square. Colonel Hoffman's waiting for us. Hoffman. Oh, shit. This is gonna be awesome. Hey, are you THE Marcus Phoenix? The one who fought at Asheville Fields? Yep. Wow. Cool! Not really. Traitor like you doesn't deserve to wear the uniform. Looks to me like you need all the help you can get. Step aside. Lieutenant, I've got good news. We have a plan to end this war. Once and for all. Yeah, right. Sensors are picking up enemy movements, sir, close by. Take out all these bastards with one shot. But it can't work if we don't have the targeting data. That's why we need the resonator. It'll map their tunnels so that we can hit those sons of bitches where they live. Now I'm pissed. Up there! We lost contact with Alpha Squad. Last transmission was from every square. I want you to get in there, find those men, and deploy that resonator. Will we have air support? What? Are you kidding? You are the support, son. Down to two. Nemesis are keeping our birds out of the area. You'll have to move in on foot. We're screwed. All clear. But the lieutenant here will be feeding you intel. Yes, sir. And the smart thing to do right now would be to leave. You! Get it done! I expect you to give me 110%, Phoenix! I'm not doing this for you. Enemy reinforcements! Take cover! That one was on the house. Good luck, Delta. Get up those stairs. Alpha's waiting. Grubs! Marcus! Link up! Control, this is Delta. We have visuals on Alpha. Possible KIA. No sign of resonator. Roger that, Delta. Keep looking. I'll open the door. I've got the code. Could be Alpha. Cog tags are gone. Is that the resonator? Nah. Now what? Let's get that resonator. Marcus. What do you think? What do I think? Could be Alpha. Or it could be the Locust setting a trap. There's only one way to know for sure. Inside the House of Sovereigns. Our next target is House of Sovereigns. Straight ahead. Move! Let's grab 
grab some ammo. What the hell, man? Those holes could pop up anywhere! You'd think we would have figured out some kind of goddamn defense by now. Yeah. Command's tried everything, but nothing works. If the locusts want to come up, they come up. I used to have nightmares about those things when I was a kid. Shit. I still do. Looks like we need to split up. Phoenix, you and Carmine will go right. Dom and I will go left. Yes, sir. Save him if we can. You good? Yeah, but I got a problem. Something's wrong with this thing. It keeps jamming. See? Sniper! Take position! Focus reinforcements! Take cover! Control, this is Delta. Come in. Nice. Military equipment. Always works. Carmine. Man. I know. I'll open the door. I've got the code. I think we just found Alpha. Move! Somebody's having a good time up there. You fish! You need gas, sucker! Damn! Oh, oh, you can't see straight. What are we helping with this? Holy shit! It's one guy! Hold still! That one's for the Holland! That soldier needs our help. Get down those stairs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was beautiful, baby. State your name, soldier. Private Augustus Cole, Alpha Squad, sir. Cole? As in the Cole train? Yeah, that's right. Where's the rest of your squad? They're sitting tight over in the tomb. We're Delta Squad. We're here to retrieve the sonic device. And to get you guys out of here. Well, hell yeah, we've been waiting for the chopper, but the radios don't work for shit. Sir. We noticed. It's the Cedars. They're jamming our transmissions. Then we have to make those Cedars our top priority, sir. Agreed. We need to reestablish radio contact with Control ASAP. And only baby. Remember this guy? He paid for the Cougars. Defensive lineman. We saw you play. 
That's right. Everybody wants to see the train, baby. Hey, Marcus. Remember? Division playoffs? 40-yard line? I remember you owe me 20 bucks. Oh, yeah? See me after the war. You two, get over here and take these weapons. Don't use them until I give the order. Don't mind if I do. That is just hard. Fire your weapons, Sultan! Hold your trigger down. It gives the satellites time to triangulate. Delta, come in control. Copy, Delta. Your signal is extremely weak. We are working on that problem. En route to Alpha's position. Delta, this is 2-4. Repeat, please. Are you with Alpha? Is DZ clear? Running low on fuel, over. Negative, 2-4. Negative. Stand by. Move out, Private. This is Rojas. Maybe I didn't do you any favors getting you out of prison. Let's go. What's all this shit about Hoffman's operation and his resonator? It'll map the underground network. Then we can find the Locust Heart and rip it out. Uh -huh. Cedars are neutralized. Moving to Alpha's location now. That's great news, Delta. Stand by for Alpha. This is Alpha. Where the hell are you guys? Man! Oh shit, man, where you been? Delta Squad is in the House of Sovereigns. Over. Well, that's great. We're pinned down by Troikas on your rooftop. Over. Understood. Sit tight. We'll take them out. We're not going anywhere, sir. Delta out. This building used to be a beautiful place. There's a lot of history here. A lot of lies, too. Well, you've got some nerve, soldier. I know all about your trial. Trial with sham, sir. Get up there! Go 
have one. Copy that. We're at the pickup zone now. We have visual. We're out of here. Man, I pick my guts out of those things every time. Guess you're sitting next to Marcus then. Baby. Yeah, 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 group hug. Where's Rojas? They have located another squad. Our strategy remains the same. Cut off the head of the snake, and the body dies. We will win this war. It's only a matter of time. No, we're here for Alpha and the Resonator! Come on! Control, this is Private Phoenix. <sighs> Lieutenant Kim is dead. So we've fallen back inside the tomb and we need a way out of here. Repeat, Alpha. Kim is dead? Confirmed, Control. KIA. Roger that. Um, there's a courtyard at the other end of your building. That's your best bet. Copy that. Well, we sure shit can't stay here. You're paired. Yeah, that's right, asshole. Question is, who are you? <laughs> Shit, quiet. Don't move. What was that? A berserker. She can hear us. She can smell us. Go. 
Delta out. All right, guys, sit tight. We came here to help you, and that's what we're gonna do. Dom, let's go. Move out. Smart guy a promotion? No, no, give it to a jackass instead. So we gotta hump this to the factory, or what? Nah, screw that. I got an idea. Oh yeah? What is it, smart guy? Enough. Let's move. Shit. Plan. Just wait and see, asshole. Marcus, this is Anya. Hammer of Dawn is offline. Perfect. Got it. Control. We're outside, too. The emulsion factory is ten clicks ahead. But be advised, you've got enemy units moving to your location. They definitely know where you are. Copy that. Great. Baird and I will go left. You two take right. Sounds good. See if you can find another way into the building. Copy that.
These guys are almost as big as you, Cole. Yeah, almost. Corpser. That's a whole way back. Yeah, it's gonna wait. Save us for later. Like a snack. Bullshit. You think I'm kidding? I think you're batshit crazy. That's what I think. Oh, ain't that cute. Like two assholes on their first date. <laughs> I could use a hand here. We gotta get out of here, man. If you got a plan, let's hear it. I know somebody who lives out here. He's got a vehicle. It's a piece of crap junker, but it runs. What? You know one of these stranded guys? Yeah, there's a camp up ahead. So, what? You hang out with stranded? I don't hang out, dickwad. I'm looking for somebody. Shut up, Bear. Keep moving. What? What'd I say? I'm, just, I'm sure there's, there's some nice stranded. Maybe not. See? Corpse, sir! I told you it's chasing us! Yeah, I got it! Tell me twice. Got it. Hey man, what's up? Same old shit. Franklin here? Yeah, usual spot. I got it. I won't let you down. Hey, Santiago, what you doing here? There's no news on the lady, man. I'll tell you if I heard anything. I don't want people seeing me with you, all right? It's not good for business, man. Give me that junk crew of yours. Say what? Get real, man. I'm serious. We need it. Sorry to hear you're having problems, man, but I'm not giving you my ride, yo. You owe me one. I'm calling in the favor, right now. All right, all right, man, I'll do it. Yo, on one condition. They stay here, yo, as collateral. We can use the extra guns, man. Done. It's a Taft gas station. Watch who go get it. <laughs> hey, yo. Yo, Santiago. We even now, man. No more favors, asshole. This is bullshit. I told you I had a plan. Your plan blows, all right? Hey, hey, hands off the merchandise. No handsies on the... 
get you! Beard out! So where are we going, Franklin? Taft Gas Station, corner F Street and 13. There's gonna be a lot of locusts between here and there. Shit, you got that right. You need to hit our checkpoints for some ammo. The first one's by the river. So if I was your ass, I'd get my ass over there pronto. You dig? Take the stairs! the river. Checkpoint one should be straight ahead. How's it going, Baird? Oh, it's bullshit. Somebody here figured out the cold plate thrash ball. Now it's all, oh, cold train. Tell us all about that play again. And hey, number 83, sign my shirt. Where the hell are you guys? We're working on it. Sit tight. Stay there. We're coming over. Stay under the light. Franklin, Santiago. Hey, it's dark now, so you better watch it, man. The krill are probably out by now. Yeah, they are. And they just killed the guys at checkpoint one. Shit. All right, yo, Santiago, man. That means they're coming this way. Johnson, check the lights. Yo, man, you better keep moving. Checkpoint two is up ahead. Shoot every propane tank you see from now on. We need a light. People out here aren't gonna like that, Marcus. They use that shit. It's either that, or they kill us. So we're doing it. from this shit. Bear's having a hard time adjusting, you know. Tell Bear to shut up and eat. We'll be back soon. Copy that. Nice! Control where to? Take the alley to the left of your location. Still there. Hey man, it's cold. Bears in the toilet. Listen, these boys are getting serious. They're bringing out the big guns. Something's about to go down for sure. Pick you up as soon as we can. Yeah, I think you better. Go out. Delta, this is Control. We're seeing hostiles on our radar, near Delta 2's position. Copy that. Are they aware? Affirmative. They are taking defensive action. Copy that. Delta out. Ah. 
Shit, now what? It's dark everywhere. Look, stay here. I'll go inside and get that light. Baird, give me an update. We've got Locust, and it looks like Krill are on their way. Can you hold position? For now, but you guys are welcome to come back. Anytime, you know? Copy that. Phoenix out. Finally. Baird, it's Marcus. Come in. Over. Baird. Radio's out. We need to get back there. Hey, you state your name. Ha! <laughs> Look at them fool-ass faces. Franklin sent us. Yeah, well, no shit. I know what you're doing here, damn it. We're looking for Chap's gas station. Oh, yeah? Well, good luck. Ain't no lights between here and there. I guess your ass is doomed, huh? <laughs> oh, you think so? Yeah, whatever. Go in the house. I'll run the lights. Jack, stay here and open a comm link with this guy. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll talk to your <laughs> trash can here. You guys can count on me. Don't screw up. Hey, man. I screw up. I'll never see your ass again, because you'll be dead. <laughs> I'm going to kill this guy. There's some bad shit in there. So you better watch out, huh? <laughs> Light still on? Uh-oh. Ah, I'm just playing with you. Junker. Uh, I didn't think you guys were gonna make it, so I, I didn't fill his job. I figure that's your job. Pump's over there. Take that, you 
Locust and Krill have launched a full-scale attack on their position. Shit! Get in! Dom! Let's go! Good to go! Drones! Up there! Damn it! Get in! Oh, not again! Watch out! Left, you numbskull! It's gonna be Krill. Use the UV turret. This junker can only power the turret or the engine, not both. squad. Our vehicle is DOA. We're now on foot. Please advise. Copy that, Delta. 
The pumping station lift is offline, so you need to enter the mines through the factory. Continue down this road. Affirmative. Let's go. Stupid junker. Piece of shit. Can you fix it? Man can fix anything, man! Just need the right parts. What looks like glowing wretches out here. Copy that. We've had reports of lambent wretches before, possibly due to direct emulsion exposure. Be advised, they are extremely volatile. Just get Jack to open it. Won't work. These doors are too thick. Control, this is Delta. We're at the factory, but the entrance is blocked. Copy that, Delta. I'm sorry, but I don't see any other options on my screen. All right. This will go faster if we split up. Cole, Baird, you head that way. We'll head right. Radio us when you find an entrance. Man, I don't know. That sounds like a bad idea. I'll be sure to take that under advisement, Cole. Now move it. Yes, sir! Come on, Cole. Let's move. Damn, Marcus. He'll get over it. years, right? I know. Look, man, it's enemy territory. I mean, it's bad enough when we're fighting these things outside, in broad daylight, but underground, in the dark? Yeah, could be bad. But hey, don't tell Baird that. He's scared shitless as it is. Baird, Cole, we're in. What took you so long? We've been here for at least two minutes. Well, good for you, smartass. Give us your location. The basement. And it's a dump. Control, this is Delta. We're in. Copy that. Keep moving through the factory till you find the cart control room. I'll use the carts to get you to the mine. Delta, let's not waste any time meeting up. Let's just find that control room. Watch out for the boogeyman. Just see if you can get the lights back on. Delta One out. Locked. And it's too thick to cut. for you? I'm ready to go. We're looking for the cart control room. Where is it? Well, you have to get down to the factory floor through that door, but it's locked. Well, how about you help us unlock it? Who? Me? Aren't we leaving? Not yet. Come on. Dipshit. This is Delta-1. Still proceeding as planned. 
but we have a stranded with us. No shit. Hey, ask him if he's seen any Geobots. I still need one for our junker. Hey, Baird, keep looking for that cart control room. Phoenix out. Delta-2, come in. Watch the vents. Roger. You're not gonna believe where we are. Soul, could you give us Delta-2's location? GID readings are faint. Looks like... the sewer system? There's shit everywhere! Come on, man. A little bit of this? Good for you! Builds your immune system. Yeah, it also builds disease. Delta-2 out. No way. Sucks to be them. Hi, boys. <laughs> I can smell you two a mile away. Screw you, man. Get down here and see how much you like it. There's room for one more. It's a fucking party now. <laughs> no thanks. Keep moving. We'll see you at the carts. Can we please just leave? No. We've got work to do. your step. Damn, I hate this place. Stop the train, baby. <laughs> you guys look good. Oh, smell good, too. I don't want to hear it, man. Not a word. Whatever you say, man. What about the resonator, Cole? Still in one piece? You know what? The train is a smooth ride. Saw something. Up high. Man, you should have need to get in your own carts. No way am I standing next to you. What? Let's just get this over with. Control. This is Delta. We're at the cart control room. Copy that, Delta. Everybody, grab some ammo. Let's do this thing! Whoa! That's all, we're headed into the furnace. Divert the carts. Anya, we're moving into the fire. Reroute! Anywhere! Now! Almost there. 
The drilling platforms are straight ahead in the core room. You guys hear that? Yep. Then move out. Remind me to think on you. Everybody, get on your platform! Control, this is Delta. We're on the drilling platforms. Copy that. Sending platforms down now. Once you're in the mine, you'll need to find the pumping station and plant that resonator. Get it done before dawn. You don't want to be there when the krill come back. It's go time, baby. Krill shit everywhere. All right, enough. Let's get this done and get out of here before the Krill come back. I heard that. Okay, we can't take a chance with the resonator. Cole, Baird, you two stay here and guard the merchandise. Hey, you don't have to tell me twice. We'll radio you when it's all clear. See ya. I don't know, man. Being underground like this gives me the creeps. We're just going in, we're gonna plant the resonator, and then we're gonna leave. Easy. You say so. Roger that. We're moving. We'll see you there. Okay, enough with the falling down already. There. What's your status? Still en route. Who knows where the hell we are? We're off our route, too. We'll all keep moving. If you get to the pump and station first, you'll guide us in. Deal? Deal! You hear that? Sun's gonna come up soon. Okay, we're running out of time. We gotta split up and find that station. I hope I got the right path here. Hey, I hope we both do. How big is this goddamn mine? We must be close. Bear, you guys still out there? Yeah. Unfortunately. Oh, shit! Corpser! Well, it's him or us. There's no going back. There! We've got a corpser! Damn, that explains the earthquake. Okay, we're on our way.
Just in time. Yeah, just in time to kiss my ass. Man, I can't believe we missed this. Cole, you still got the resonator? Booted, suited, and ready to get executed. And the time? 5.15. Sun's coming up soon. Let's move. You hear that? What the hell's that sound? It's just the wind. Yeah, right. When's the last time the wind said, hostiles to you? Uh, those aren't drones. Oh, shit. Looks like they upgraded. They're called Theron Guards. You think they know what we're doing? Well, we're not here to sell cookies. So they know something's up. Humans. Let's clear that station. Why is it tougher than drones? Faster, too. You think? I had noticed. Set up the resonator. Get that elevator back online. Control, this is Delta. We're clear. Resonator has been detonated. Did it, Marcus. Stand by. King Ravens are en route. So are we going back to base? I guess so. Good, cause I'm done. Food, man. Hot food. All day long. Delta! Bad news. It didn't work. What do you mean, it didn't work? Bear, let's go! instead. I'll use it to smash your teeth in. How about that? Shut up and look at it. Look, those are locust tunnels, Phoenix. You know I'm right. Where did you find that? It popped on screen when I hacked in. The files were there. Phoenix, report! Anya, are you seeing this? Affirmative. And Private Baird is correct. Geobot is showing more tunnel data than the resonator. Oh, this is bullshit. Give me a zero point on that data. Sir, well, it, it came from East Barricade Academy. From his father's house, specifically. Whose father? Sergeant Phoenix, sir. You think you can still find your way back home, Phoenix? Yes, sir. Reroute those choppers, Lieutenant. They're taking Delta to EBA. Lonely. 
goes ahead. Yeah, command wants us to get this shit locked down ASAP so we can move to a new location. Oh, shit! Nemesis, hang on! Zone aborted. We are at East Barricade. I repeat, East Barricade. Over. Copy that, Delta. Be advised, there are survivors at 2-5's crash site. Then that's our first stop. What's the situation on the ground? You have two options, Delta. You can take the street, or move through those buildings ahead of you. Take both. Baird, you're with me. Cole, Dom, take the street. We'll cover you. anywhere yet. Oh. All right. Dom and I will go ahead and clear the way. You catch up when you can. Control, this is Delta-1. Delta-2 is caring for wounded and flagging for pickup. Is the conservatory clear? As far as I can tell, Delta-1. Then that's our route. <clears throat> Shit. Jack. Rip this door. Well, you know what that means. Yeah, I know what that means. Take cover. Yeah, get that door open now! Control, tell me those satellites are ready. Affirmative. Well then, okay. Now, let's drop the hammer. Let's do this. Nice. Now what? There. Situation's foobar here. Hostiles everywhere. We're getting the hell out. Roger that. Watch your ass. We'll see you at the house. This thing just won't end. Yeah. At least in prison they gave me three aunts and a cot. Thank <laughs> you. 
How about we never do that again? Yeah, that works for me. Baird, we're coming up on the house. We're at the stairs now. Copy that. We'll meet you in the courtyard. What's going on up there? Well, there's a bunch of assholes with guns up here, and they're trying to kill us. Baird out. are inside. There's something else here too, an APC behind the house. Now we can get out of this shithole. No offense. Yeah, an APC doesn't work though. I told you I'd fix it. Listen up, we don't have much time. Get back there and make sure that APC works. We're going in. Upstairs is clear. There, what's the status on that APC? The status is that it sucks. The clutch plate is cracked, I'm gonna have to take out the flywheel. Hey, Bear. And pull the drive shaft Enough. for sure. Just mm. fix it. Uh, right. Roger that. I, I, can, I can do that. More tremors. There's nothing we can do about it. Keep moving. I think we found it. Copy that. There's only one reason Locus stopped digging. Check your ammo. Nice! Marcus, it's open. Plug in and see what you can find. Is enough data to get the job done? More than enough. Then let's get out of here. Start pulling the data. I can't. The files are too big for this bandwidth. Then we'll take them with us. Jack, download this data. Confirmed, but it'll take a while. Guys, there's still a war going on up here. Get up here, will you? Give us your location. Front of the house, second story. Hurry up. We're on our way. On the second story, we need backup. Yeah, hey, bring it all, sucker. Just not counting. Seriously, now let's move out. Right behind you. Decided to show up. The locusts are outside. Yeah, whoa! Bring it on, baby! The Cole and I'll go protect the APC while you wait for Jack. Keep them out of the house.
that I fixed. Much frag out. was right behind us. For us. They know what we're doing. Control, this is Delta. We're stuck at an open drawbridge. We need to restore power to this sector. Please advise. Copy that, Delta. Stand by. I see downed electrical lines near your location. Follow the waterfront to Nassar Memorial Park and attempt to repair. Roger that. Dom, you're with me. Baird, Cole, you two guard the ATC. This is nuts. There's gotta be another way. Baird! My squad, my call. Be ready to move as soon as the power comes back online. Whatever, boss man. Man, you sounded just like your old man back there. Yeah, well, screw my old man. He thought he could prevent this war, and look what happened. Yeah, well, now his mapping date is gonna help end it. Somehow, I don't think he'd appreciate the irony. Marcus, satellite update shows Nassar Park crawling with locust activity. There's an alternate route, but you'll have to backtrack to the bridge. No time. There, you copy this? Don't we have a train to catch? Coordinate with control. Get to those lines. We'll clear the park and meet you there. We're on it. to those power lines. Can you see anything up there? I think so. Just up ahead, across the park by that old theater. Move out and get Jack to start the repairs. We'll meet you at the power lines. Hey, 
Delta, the train commander reports that locusts are heading their way. What's your status? Approaching power lines now. Be advised, the train is accelerating to avoid capture. Your timetable just got a whole lot shorter. Ruben! Holy shit, it's back. Keep that thing away from the power lines. No problem. <laughs> Watch this. Hey, stupid! You want some of this? Come and get me! Get out of there! Go, 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 go! Are you totally insane? and we're headed back to the power line. Shit! Damn it, Bear! Get the hell out of here! I think we're good. Let's grab some ammo. Shit, we've got a grub hole! Keep him away from Jack. Rumax! Marcus, we gotta slow it down! Shoot the legs! It's still coming! Aim for his feet! But there's a brew map here. Please advise. Over. <laughs> Let's split up. We'll find it faster. I'll check the main hall. Dom, head upstairs. Sweet. Marcus! Found our cedar! No hammer, Dom! They gotta figure something out! Shoot down the walls!
Get over here! It's right there! Man, that thing has chased us everywhere! Okay, what now, boss? Control, this is Delta. Do you read? Shit, still out. Okay, the only way we can catch that train is with Anya's help. So re-establishing Comlink is our top priority. Let's find that cedar. Yeah, and no freaking hammer. our guards onto the tracks and according to grid power levels your bridge is still inoperable options you're close to timgad central energy if power can be restored that will be the place to do it roger that we're headed there now delta out let's move this just goes from bad to worse this now this really this really sucks Control, we're at Timgad Central Energy. Copy that. What's your status? Just moving in now. Wish us luck. Baird, Cole, take Jack and head right. Dom, let's get that power online. Marcus, I was wrong. It wasn't the stranded tapping the grid, it was these guys. They're taking it underground. All of it. Tell me you can fix it. I'm working on it. Damn it, Jack, the other circuit. <sighs> but you'll need to turn off some panels up there. What are we looking for? Panels, you know, green glowing lights, valves. So screwed. Transformer polarity. How do we do that? We can't. We'll, we'll need a full set of tools, enough rated cable to oh, connect yeah, two transform blocks, an interrupt to manage levels. What the hell? You mean we're stuck? Uh, yeah. Unless you can pull something out of your ass big enough to connect two transformers. <sighs> something big enough to fit between those things out front? I think I just solved our problem. Dom. Think we can get the broom act to chase us? Hasn't been a problem up till now. There. Open the back door for us. Shit. There it is. Now what? The 
Let's roast this thing. Run to the Transformers. Where? Over there. The access road. The fence is open. Run! <laughs> Smell bad. Anya, bridge power's restored and we're moving out. Marcus, we've lost control of the train. Now you'll have to catch it as it passes through Timgad Station. <sighs> Roger that. Jump on a moving train and try to recapture a bomb. This day just keeps getting better and better. You're right on Raven. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Anya, what are we looking at? Okay, uh, the bomb is at the front of the train, and there are plenty of locusts on board. You've got to get going now. Let's move out. Reavers! 
gears successfully deployed the light mass bomb. We have destroyed the enemy stronghold. This war has exacted a heavy price from all of us. It has torn our world apart. But you have my word that we will rise again. They do not understand. They do not know why we wage this war. Why we cannot stop. Will not stop. Why we will fight and fight and fight. Until we win. Or we die. And we are not dead yet. It began, as always, with the desire for power. The need to conquer. The hunger to consume. Inevitably, this led to conflict. Humanity fought an endless battle against itself. Until it was forced to unite against a power far greater than it had ever known. But even united, humanity left only destruction in its wake. Despite their best efforts at survival, the humans of Sierra continued to march blindly to their imminent doom. Unaware that their misguided attempts at retaliation were only leading them ever closer to extinction. They had thought us crippled by their weapons of mass destruction. But to survive is to endure and prosper. And we have most certainly survived. Jacinto now stands as the last bastion of humanity, a final desperate defense in the face of impossible odds. In a way, I pity them. But humanity, as always, brought this war upon itself. They're getting bolder. Those gears were guarding Pomeroy Depot. Damn, that's just down the road. Exactly. They're moving deeper every day. At least we got reinforcements. Yeah, but for how much longer? Okay, I'm heading to the hospital now. I need to check on that lead. Thanks, Anya. I... Good luck, all right? Sergeant Phoenix! Are you Sergeant Phoenix? Delta Squad? <coughs> I'm your new trainee. And green as grass by the looks of it. Time to train the Rook? With the attacks at Pomeroy? Hell no, they need me on patrol, not training some jumpy kid. Of course. I'll see you inside. Private Ben Carmine, sir! Reporting for duty, sir! Welcome to Jacinto, Private. Your first order is to guard this spot. You stay here until we get back from patrol. But sir, there's nothing here to guard. Sounds like a good first assignment to me. Stay put. We'll be back, kid. Anya, you still here? Still here, Marcus. Tell Dom I may have a lead on his flight, but it doesn't look... Anya, what'd you find? A lead on a Jane Doe, but it doesn't look like she... I'll fill you in later, Dom. I have to get back to control. All right, Anya. 
Good luck. Damn it! Kill these goddamn grubs. Let's move! Ty, good to see you. What are we looking at? Locust Street. Follow me. Locust got some serious sex coming in here like this. Doubt it has anything to do with courage. They just don't realize they've been sent on a suicide run. Maybe they're just desperate. What do you mean? Maybe the light mass bomb hit them harder than we thought. Or maybe something else is going down in the hollow. I don't know. Okay, take position along these windows. I take the far side. Okay, Delta, I'm back online. We have confirmed Locust presence in the hospital. I repeat, Locusts are in the hospital. Yeah? Well, now we've got a power outage, too. I'm on it. I'll keep you posted. Control out. Hold fire till they're right below us. We want to get as many of them in the courtyard as we can. Most of those supplies are actually fuel tanks, Delta. Part of the ambush. Here they come. Get ready! Control! Where's the power? Almost there, Delta. Got it. Door should be open now. Thanks, Control. Delta out. What'd you say these guys got? Rust lung. Emulsion sickness. Cases have been popping up all over since the light mass bombing. It's a horrible way for a warrior to die. Uh, contagious? They say it's not, but I'd keep my distance. No argument here. They're trying to fall back! Keep hitting them! Keep hitting them! This is New York 75. Do we have locusts inbound? This is control. Scramble King Raider. Ah, time. Take the other door. the glow of locust blood in this light. You got a sick mind, Ty. The hell are you doing here, Rook? Area I was guarding got too hot, Sergeant. These gears rounded me up to fight, sir. So why aren't you out there fighting? We're reloading, sir. I still don't have that trick down. Better learn fast. Let's get out there, Delta. 
Grab some cover. We gotta dig in before we can get down there. Bring it! seen the locusts run like this. Running away won't help! I'll just shoot you in your asses! You are pissed today. Damn right. I missed my family. I'll kill every one of these bastards. Nice work, Delta. And Rook. Carmine. You did good. Well, thanks, Sergeant Phoenix. Control, this is Delta. Enemy threat eliminated. Over. Copy that, Delta. Everything okay on your end? Yeah, it was close, but I got out in time. What'd you find? I... Tell me, Anya. Don't bullshit me. The Jane Doe I mentioned? She fits the description, but... Well, looks like she was released a few days ago. We don't have any info after that. There's gotta be another lead, or... Or something, right? I'm sorry, Dom. That's it. I'm sorry. Damn it! Not again! I've lost her again! Ah! God damn it! Copy that, Anya. Delta out. Dom, you okay? Just... I'll catch up with you in a sec, Marcus. All right? Yeah. Whatever you need. Guys, let's go. Not again. Humans are no strangers to war. After all, we've been fighting for as long as we can remember. War is all we know. In the past, we fought for emulsion. We fought for country. We fought for freedom. But all that changed after E-Day. For 15 years, We've been fighting for our very survival against inhuman, genocidal monsters. But it is a fight. We cannot continue. Humanity faces extinction unless we end this war now. So why land down, Sergeant? Why not just drill down here? Jacinto's the one place it can't dig through, and land down's a perfect spot to hit him on their own turf. Heard there's a shitload of grubs there, Sergeant. More like ten shitloads. We had hoped the light mass bombing would decimate the Locust Horde. But they survived, and have returned stronger than ever. They brought with them a force that can sink entire cities. Even Jacinto, our last beacon of hope through all these dark days, is now at risk. Soon we'll have nothing left to defend. And that means we have only one option. Attack. Gears, 
What I ask of you now is not an easy thing, but it is necessary. If we are to survive, if we are to live long enough to see the seasons pass, our children grow and experience a time of peace that we have never known. We must now take this fight to the Locust. We will go to where they live and where they breed and we will destroy them. This is the day we take the battle to the heart of the enemy. This is the day that we correct the course of human history. This is the day we ensure our survival and the species. Soldiers of the Cog, my fellow Gears, go forth and bring back the hope of humanity! Welcome to the big sock, Sergeant Phoenix. You ready to hit the road? You know it. Well, let's go chunk some bullets at them grubs. Oh yeah, her name's Dizzy. My rig's a little sweet thing, Betty. You a conscript? I ain't got no charge once he took the lifeboat assistance. Family got the grocery, but daddy got conscripted. Life's a bitch like that. Delta Baird here. Apparently, I'm riding on Maryland. <laughs> yeah, see you, Lando. It's kill time, baby! Good hunting, guys. Control, this is Delta. We're aboard Rig 314 and are heading out now. Roger that, Delta. You're good to go. All right, settle in, Delta. We've got a long ride to Lando.
Ty here. I'm on the rear guard rig below. See you in land down. Roger that, Ty. We'll see you in a Delta, cover Dizzy! E-hole! Close it up and protect the ring! Her name's Betty! Something big went down here. Delta, control here. I'm detecting serious seismic activity beneath you. Is that Ty? Yeah. Told you he was tough to kill. Let's get down there, Gears. Fate has thrown us together again, huh, Marcus? Looks that way. Welcome back to Delta, Ty. Sorry about your squad. Everything happens for a reason. What the hell happened to Lola? 
My rig? Uh, we hit some mines. Tickers, I think. The whole area is infested. Okay, Delta, head to the monument in the center of town. That's going to be your best place to drill. Wilco Control. Delta out. You heard her, Dizzy. We'll walk you there. What are those things? Tickers. Locusts use them like landmines, so keep your distance. I'm telling you, y'all gotta clear the way so Betty can move on through. Tickers are ugly, and Betty don't like ugly. I remember when they took land down there. During the Winter of Sorrow, it was a bad omen. Crazy that somewhere this close to Jacinto has been under Locust control for so long. You think we'd have launched this assault years ago? I'm sure the COG had their reasons. Just probably weren't good ones. to hear it. Just keep moving. Nemesis! Thanks, 5-1. Let's keep moving, Delta. Call. We'll see you on the other side. You got it, baby! Control, how much farther to the drill zone? Close. Just beyond the tunnel ahead. Remember, your grind lifts are calibrated to dig from the exact location of the town central monument. You're gonna have to back in the trucks to get them properly aligned. Wilco, Delta out. Could be anything in here. Keep an eye out, Delta. You ever wonder why they don't just give us flashlights? Kid's got a point. Might versus light. Meaning... That I'd take an extra gun over a flashlight any day. Darker than a rat's ass in here! Let me light up Betty's pity! Sweet! I'm out! Raver, look out! are all clear, Dizzy. Let's get to the drilling zone. I think we'll ride the rest of the way. We 
got a Bruma! Coming out of the tunnel! Oh, hell, you gonna try to molest my bed! Delta, defend the red! Control, this is Delta. We've reached the drill zone. Roger that, Delta. What's your launch status? We're getting the lift in position now! As long as Delta keeps my ass covered. Uh, roger that. Control out. Locust! We've got a grab hole! <laughs> What do you think? Hit him hard, Delta! He's one shot away from him! Yo, Marcus. Yeah? If something happens to me, promise me you'll look for Maria. You got it, Dom. No problem. used to puke on a raven, he must be tagging the walls with Chuke right now. Damn. So this is what the inner hollow looks like. Ty, this is Marcus. Do you read me? Ty! Dizzy! Dizzy, you there? Oh, shit. Control, this is Delta. Do you read? Delta, this is Alpha-1. We've lost contact with the surface. We're limited to short-range radio, but we've got a line on a cedar. 
Roger that, Alpha One. Good hunting. Carmine, what's your position? Not really sure, sir. I think my lift went off course. Is Ty with you? No, he jumped out before launch. But I see another lift up ahead. All right, head that way and we'll catch up. Don't engage the enemy. Just defend your position. Welcome, we'll sir. Wish me luck. Hang in there, Rook. We'll be there soon. Let's go find Carmine. Dom, let's split up. We'll find him faster. Delta, this is Control. Surface comm re-established thanks to Alpha-1. Good to hear, Control. And keep an eye on the ceilings, Delta. Grind lifts could be dropping down all around you. Roger that. Any word from Ty or Dizzy? Sorry, Marcus. Drill zone's gone dark. I'll keep trying. Oh, and Marcus, be careful down there, all right? Yeah. Thanks, Anya. Delta out. Control, this is Delta. We got Carmine, but it looks like Echo 5 is down. We're heading deeper into the hollow. Tunnel maps show direct access approximately 30 meters ahead. But, sir, there's a wall there? What about the grind lift? I think it's busted, sir. Jack, see what you can do. should be operational now. Thanks, Control. All right, let's give this lift a shove. <laughs> Man, it's dusty as hell. <laughs> you know the helmet has a filtering system on it, right? If you wore a helmet, then you wouldn't have to bring it in the back. Yeah. But I wouldn't see snipers so well then, would I? Cool it, Dom. Activity beneath Elima City. Recommend you investigate when you can. Okay, let's move out. I don't think this place is stable. Probably isn't, so keep moving. What's with these glowy things? What do I look like a fucking botanist? Some kind of plant, I don't know.
Control, do you have any info on this thing? It looks like a big snake or a worm made of stone. Recent intel lists it as a rock worm. Not sure if it's dangerous, but we do know it's an indigenous cave creature that feeds on plants. Glowing plants? Right. We have reports that those are one of its main food sources. We've also been told that the worms are nearly indestructible. Apparently gunfire doesn't affect them at all. She's right. That thing's not even paying attention to you. Marcus, you think Dizzy and Ty made it up there? I don't know. I hope so. Ty's as tough as a brumach, though, so if anyone could make it, it'd be him. So who the hell was that screaming locust guy anyway? No idea. Crazy bastard cut through a friggin' tank, though. It's gotta be a locust big shot or something. What? Like Rom? Maybe. But he made Rom look like a goddamn pushover. Thanks for the assist, Delta. We... Cavern seems unstable. We're gonna try and regroup with Alpha 1. Alpha 2 out. What the hell is that thing? But I guess we found our seismic activity. Control, this is Delta. Control, do you read me? Control! I guess we're too deep. Whatever that was, it's gone. Let's go! One thing I still don't understand. Have the locusts been down here, like, forever? Or what? Who knows, man? This one guy in Basic, he thought they were from Risea or one of the moons, and that they feed on emulsion. Hey, Marcus, you ever seen them eating emulsion? They can eat shit and die for all I care. Guys, what am I hearing? Down here, something else to shoot. I think it's safe to say that's not a natural cave formation. You were wondering where they come from, Carmine? No! You what? There's some kind of markings. Okay, let's move out. Delta. We've also just received topside confirmation that Elima City 
The entire city has been sunk right at your position. Anya, it's a giant worm. They're sinking cities with a giant worm. This is, this is horrible. Oh my God. If they sunk Tolan, Montevado, and now Elima, and they all surround Jacinto. Shit, they're punching holes around Jacinto to sink it. Control, KR-5 is down in the Alima sinkhole. We're en route, over. Roger, Delta. Alima was evacuated, but keep an eye out for surviving stranded just in case. Wilco, Delta out. Let's get over to that chopper, right. Delta! Another building coming down! Delta's on its way. Keep moving, Delta. That pilot doesn't have much time. Let's go, Delta. Call here. Locus got ambushes all over. Stay with me, Delta. Call. Do you read? Call. He's got to be close if we're hearing him. Yeah, let's hope so. There's the smoke flare, Delta. Head that way and stay ready. We aren't the only ones who are going to be following that trail. We didn't make it in time. Control, KR-54 and Charlie 9 are KIA. Delta out. Get back inside the building. We're sitting ducks out here. Ambush! <laughs> Take cover! your squad. Here's my squad. Except for Barrett and Tanner, we got separated after the drop. The last message came from nearby. Sounds like we got a new objective. Control, this is Delta. Cancel Mayday. We've regrouped with Cole. Baird and Sigma are MIA. We're assisting on the search. Regroup? Is that what you call it when I saved your ass? Delta. We have additional squads moving in to secure Lima. Roger, Control. We'll keep you posted. Delta out. <laughs> I regroup. 
That's a good one. Good thing you got your star player back, Delta. <laughs> Welcome back, Coltrane. Damn, they dig some big ass tunnels down here. It's the worm. Huh? Some kind of giant worm is making all these tunnels. It's what's sinking the cities, too. You kidding me, right? I wish. That's some crazy shit, boy. But I guess the whole world's gone crazy, right? Hey, is that Cole? Hey, Cole! Get me out of here, man! Can you hear me? I hear you, bird! Then get me the hell out of here! About time! What the hell took you guys so long? You're welcome. What the hell are the locusts doing taking prisoners? They're locking people up in these things, taking them deeper into the hollow. They were gonna process me, man. Whatever that means. Shit, I saw these locusts bitches some process! Come on, we need to check this out. Keep an eye out for any prisoners! I didn't think the locusts took prisoners. Guess they do now. Oh, shit! This way. All clear. People, I can hear them screaming from the docks. I can't believe they did that to Ty. He survives everything, doesn't he? Let's just get the hell out of here. What the hell is going on down here, but Locust tactics have changed. They're capturing prisoners, torturing them. Hell, I don't know what else. I'm getting similar reports, Marcus. It's horrible. Did you find Baird? Yeah, we got Baird. 
We also found Ty. He didn't make it. Roger that, Delta. I've got a Raven en route. You've got a new objective. I'll tell you more on the way. And about Ty. I'm sorry, Marcus. He was a good man. Yeah, he was. Thanks, Anya. Delta out. The kids are at my mother's, so we got the whole day to ourselves. Dom! Are you awake? Dom! 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 Dom, wake up! Uh, what? Huh? Dom, you okay? Tell me... Tell me we aren't where I think we are. Hate to tell you, Dom. We are. Oh, this! This is just perfect! We're inside a giant worm! Now what in the cod's name are we supposed to do? Come on, man, let's just cut our way out this bitch! <laughs> Sarge? Carmine? I... I hurt, Sarge. I... Tell my brothers... And my ma... Tell them I love them. And... And... <laughs> the hell? What the hell is it doing? Paul, oh, come on, stop pissing it off! How the hell are you gonna tell me what not to shoot in here? Look at this shit! <laughs> That's why. Run! What kind of meat you want? Center cut, rib out, T bone? Haha, <laughs> I'm with my spread. Let's keep moving. If this is the stomach. The heart and the lungs have got to be somewhere on the other side. Yeah, as long as it's physiology plays by the rules. Go, go, go! Ugh, this place stinks like ass, man. Ass? More like cheesy writing. Told you, man. 
forget the smell. This place is toxic. <coughs> well, we're on a one-way trip, so keep moving. <coughs> All right, Delta, we gotta be getting close. So, where the hell are we now? Looks like the sternum, or at least the giant worm equivalent of the sternum. Yeah. And the heart's got to be close, right? One can hope. <laughs> Good job, Delta. One dead worm. Wait. I still hear a heartbeat. God damn it. We're gonna be drowning in blood if we don't hurry up. Again, but uh, just get us the hell out of here. Look out below, Delta. Incoming Centaur. Control, I requested a pickup, not a drop off. Sir, but what the hell? Just declassified? And what do you mean, a locust queen? 
Everything is on a need-to-know basis, Sergeant. On direct orders from the Chairman. You have your mission. Now get to it. Come in now. Anybody else's bullshit detector just go off? Marcus, man, this shit sounds sketch. If Hoffman didn't even know about this place... It's not like we have a choice. This operation's our last shot. Move out. Shotgun! Expecting an attack on the ghost town? These days, Baird, you should expect anything. We'll keep you posted. This place doesn't look like an outpost. More like a warehouse. Probably just a facade. They've obviously been hiding something here. Yeah, but what? We'll find out soon enough. Looks like some stranded might have been here. Smells like the plumbing's out. This place is a mess. Control, this is Delta. Do you copy? Delta, this is Command. Do you have something to report? Uh, no. Trying to reach Control. Control's offline for now, Delta. You'll report directly to Command. Keep us posted. Over. Roger that. Delta out. We're screwed. Welcome to Jameson Depot. Proper identification is required for entry. You gotta be kidding me. I'm sorry, but proper identification is required for entry. Good day. Jack, rip this door, pronto! <laughs> Forget it, Jack. We're gonna have to blow this thing open. Bear, can you get a blast charge ready? Of course. Regular or extra strength? Extra strength. We'll recon till you're ready. Roger, boss man. Bear it out. Let's see if we can find some power. Flamethrower, sweet. Think it still works? Never know till you try. Remember Carmine was always talking about fire? We would have loved it. Yeah. And burned our asses with it. Rest in peace, Carmine. Let's try this out. Some kind of security door we need to bypass. Bypass? You mean you're gonna blow that shit up? Exactly. It's all ready, Marcus. Just make sure you get your ass outside of the blast radius, and whatever you do, don't drop it. Gotcha. We'll let you know how it goes. Oh, we'll know. Welcome back. Do you now have proper identification? Oh yeah, I got some identification for you. Access granted. Thank you. Carry on. Gotta hand it to Baird. He does good work. Whoa. Definitely a different place back here. 
welcome to the New Hope Research Facility. I'm Niles. Please, let me know if I can be of any assistance. Is that a recording? I think so. Actually, I'm not just a recording. What? Please, do come in. I'll tell you more about the facility. Okay. Looks like some kind of workers' quarters. Or an internment camp. Man, this place just reeks of love. Our facility maintains the highest possible standards, I assure you. We take great pride in our work here. I'm sure you do. Command, this is Delta. Do you copy? Roger, Delta. What do you got? We're in the facility, but it's got a few surprises. I don't think it's abandoned. Well, it should be empty, Delta. What do you see? Not seeing. Hearing. Some guys controlling the security systems. Hostile? Annoying. Sounds like you have it under control, Delta. Keep us posted. Command out. As you make your way through our facility, do let us know if you encounter any conditions that do not meet our standards. We aim to please it, New Hope. Yes, we do. Marcus, you there? I read you, Baird. What's up? Coast is still clear, but looks like this weather's taking a turn for the worse. Roger that. We'll try to make this quick. Good empirical scientific research is the foundation of any civilized society. We'd be savages without it. Filthy Security savages. Security system deactivated. Get POWs here? From the Pendulum Wars? Doubt it. This place is set up to keep people out. Holy shit! Definitely not POWs. What the hell are these things? Some kind of stasis tanks. But what's in them? Those aren't wretches. I don't believe that you have access to this part of the facility. Access, huh? You sure you want to go through that routine again? Proper access will prevent unexpected and most unpleasant occurrences. I assure you. After all, we don't need you running around and plugging into random computer terminals. Do we now? Command, this is Delta. Are you getting this? I see it, Phoenix. But we're not pulling up anything on it. It's like it doesn't exist. Off the record, you are completely in confidential territory now. Your guess is as good as mine. Roger that. Delta out. Jack, plug in and see what you can find. Maybe one of these terminals will have some intel on this place. And where the hell we can find the Locust Stronghold. I should warn you, these are state-of-the-art security systems that simply cannot be breached by air. Keep at it, Jack. You gotta get that info. Nice one, Jack. Save the truth. It's what they always say. In this case, we're truly doing it. Or at least, we're giving it our very best shot. What is this? Sounds like Niles. A little less wacko, though. The trip to Mount Kadar won't be an easy one. Not by any means. We'll have it moved during the night, in the snow. And Chairman McMahon won't even authorize the use of vehicles to transport the subjects. Subjects? What was he talking about? Don't know. 
I'll be leaving behind a semi-sentient security system to walk over the facility. I would hate for anyone to disturb the Sire's rest, and we would all like the later opportunity to study them as they grow up. I'm almost embarrassed to admit that the security system is based off of my personality, but I... Jack, what just happened? What the hell was that? Nothing good. I would begin exiting the facility if I were you. I tried to warn you. Now it appears you have awoken this... so bad. Anything from Jack yet? Affirmative, Delta. You need to follow the old logging road up the mountain until it ends. If the data is correct, you should be able to find the entrance to the mountain from there. Roger that, Control. Delta out. Troika's up ahead! Keep it steady, Marcus! Come on, we gotta follow the road! Signal's probably gonna go patchy soon. Roger, Delta. Keep me posted if you can. Wilco, Delta out. Okay, we're in. Now what? Now we keep our eyes out for Locust. We're back on their home turf, so shape up. Ain't no sweat, baby, because I always like the way games. Great. It's gonna be real easy to shoot things now. Yo, somebody turn on the lights. Can't have no game without lights. Happy. This is not another freaky ass worm. There, we lost power. No 
shit! Come on, Bear! Hurry it up! I'm trying to get up right now! you doing down here? Well, after you jackasses blew up my station and Franklin's outpost got overrun, the surface wasn't safe no more. And you guys thought down here was safe? Nowhere is shut. Not anymore. We were fine here for a few months, as long as you stayed away from the roads and Nexus. But now they're coming around where they didn't before. Kidnapping people, torturing them. Nexus? Yeah, Nexus. You got wax in your ears? Nexus is where all the locusts come from. Hey, old man. Can we get there from here? You have to cross the lake. But nobody does except locusts. Those waters ain't safe. Nowhere it is, right? All right, Cole, Bear, I want you to take these people up to the surface. Dom and I will continue on foot. What? But they... They're gonna uh... die otherwise. You'll follow down in the grind lifts once we set off Jack's beacon. But we can't. This is what he tells you he'll take it under advisement. Come on, man, let's go. Old man, gather everyone and go with them. They'll take you to safety. Oh, wait a minute. This doesn't mean we gotta fight in your army now, does it? I didn't say that. But you're not staying here. Wait, before you go. You ever seen this woman? Name's Maria. Oh, pretty. Something about her face does seem familiar. Maybe she was with one of the other groups that came down before. Stu's group, I think. But Stu and them got captured. Oh, no. But the captured ones? The locusts have been taking them towards Nexus? Probably. Or the work camps along the way. How do we find them? When you get to the highway, near the dam, there's a path that'll take you there. Thanks, old man. Don't know what good it does you. You ain't getting in there unless you're a locust. Hey, Marcus. What if the beacon doesn't work? Then we'll see Jacinto down here. Control, Delta here. Cole and Baird are heading to the surface with survivors for evac. Roger that, Delta. What about you and Dom? We're heading in deeper to the Nexus stronghold. We think we found the path. Copy that. We have grind lift reinforcements awaiting your signal. Thanks, Control. Delta out. This is crazy, man. Maria better not be down here. Everything's gonna work out, Dom, all right? Yeah. I... I hope so. Hard to believe this leads to a locust city. Feels too old. Maybe that'll be our advantage. This would be the last route they'd think we'd take.
Looks like a boat at the end of the pier. We'll need that if we want to cross the lake. It's not getting us anywhere. Look out! Hold on! Just keep fighting for now! Just drop off. They afraid of the emulsion fumes? That or something else. Keep your eyes open. Hey, wait. What happens if we breathe in this shit? Too late now. into the choir. The gunboat's back! Hold on! I've ever caught. 
Let's just get out of the goddamn water. Troops on the move, that's gotta be the highway. Well, then let's follow him to where the action is. Wait, Marcus, the old guy said we had to branch off the highway at the dam. Look, we need to stick to the mission. We have no idea if Maria's down here, and every. I need to know. You don't have to go with me, all right? Damn it. That's just gonna get us both killed. We need to get into the stronghold and activate the beacon. This is it, Dom. This is everything we've been fighting for. Yeah? Well, Maria's everything I've been fighting for. She's my fucking wife, all right? So you gonna turn your back on your whole world then? The other gears we fought with? All the people who've died? I'm sorry, Marcus. After what you did for your father, I thought you'd understand. Wait up. All clear. Jack, can you find a visual match on Maria? So many people. I think he found her. But what's that symbol mean? Could be where they're keeping her. Let's look around. That's it. This must be the area. Start looking. They found us. We got company! Jack, open it up. I can't believe it, Marcus. We finally found her. Maria. Maria!
Oh, no. No. No, no, no. No, no baby. No, 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 no. What did they do to you? Ah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Maria. I tried to find you. God, I, I did. Oh, please, no. Maria. God damn it, it's me, Dominic. It's Dominic. Marcus. I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, man. She... No. It's okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I love you so much. Sorry about Maria, but she's in a better place now. You did what you had to do. I found a way to sneak into Nexus, but if you want to go in guns blazing, I don't blame you. I want to kill them all. I think we found our locust stronghold. Nexus. Now where do we find the queen? My bet's on that tower in the middle. It's the closest thing we've seen to a palace. So when should we activate the beacon? When we get in deeper, the cavalry needs solid ground to land on. We gotta make sure no lifts land in the emulsion. Come on, let's head towards a palace. Look inside yourself. Do you have the will to win? What? Who the hell's that? It's gotta be the Queen. Our species is destined to rule Sierra. Keep fighting, my children. Your Queen is with you. Yup, definitely the Queen. This place close enough for the beacon? Almost. We need to get a little closer to the palace. They can be stopped. Don't give in. There are no greater warriors anywhere. We cannot be stopped. Nothing can stand before us, my children. We shall conquer the surface. And we shall begin anew. We're in deep enough. Jack, set off the beacon.
We gotta buy Jack some time. Hold them off! into the world, baby, wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I think I'd take the tropical island. So now what? Now we gotta get into the palace. Find that queen. Let's move, Delta. That's the palace. I'm guessing this will lead us to it. Worth a shot, man. Next is on. Still don't get how they could have built all this shit so fast. Oh, hell, we still don't know how long they've been down here. And all this emulsion, are they thriving off of it? Maybe. But that queen of theirs keeps talking about reaching the surface. On the surface of Sierra, we shall find our destiny. Speak of the devil. Dom, don't touch that shit. You could get rust lung off that or something. I don't know, man. It, it looks infected. Yeah. Good call. Let me get this shit straight. The regular locusts are fighting the glowing locusts? I thought they were all on the same side. I was wondering why we were doing so well. Well, that explains their desperation in the raids. They're losing their home turf to the Lambent. They're definitely fighting another war down here. Good thing, too. 
I have a feeling we wouldn't have lasted this long without some help. Behind you! Yo, those glory ass locusts are coming! I'm on it! You seeing this shit? Yeah. Of course. Dig in, baby. Going into overtime. End of the line, folks. Whoa. This bitch's house is creepy. This is it, Delta. You pull this off, we end the war. Rise! Hide on, my children! Then we shall wash our enemies away in a great flood. So how are we gonna find the Queen? Well, where would you hide if you were Queen of the Grubs? At the bottom. Check this out. Looks like what the Queen keeps yapping about. So we know they're trying to sink Jacinto. It sounds like it'll flood the hollow. Why would they do that? They're desperate. All this time, we never realized that. Jack, plug in and see what you can find. We cannot allow the numbers to pollute the surface. We must bury their infection here. The world is right for the hours. Death is what is in your house, bitch! You hear that shit? You grubby ass bitches are going down! Like way down! Dead down! So down here ain't gonna know which way it's up! Your ass is gonna be quiet to your skink ass queen! Oh, mommy, you let the bad man hurt us! Fuck you! We gonna whoop your mama's ass! Whoa! There we go. One muscled queen. Not you, her. You were great. I loved your, your speech there, especially with the bitch ass stuff. Very good, very enlightening. Jack, anything? There appears to be only one way to end this war. Marcus, is that who I think it is? I think so. If we were to sink Jacinto, we would flood the hollow with seawater. Nothing below would survive. We could end the war today. But only if we sacrifice our last possible refuge. Who's that talking? Adam Phoenix. It's my father. What? But... What's he doing in the Locust computers? We'll figure that out later. Look, my father and the Locust Queen are saying the same thing. It's just a matter of timing. We need to sink Jacinto before the Locusts leave, not after. Can we even do that? Marcus, I know it's your dad and all, but listen to what you're saying. Consider it a backup plan if we can't get to the Queen. Jack, see if you can send the data back to command. Tell him we found another way to put the Locust down for good. Keep moving, Delta. Well, let's hope she's home. Could be a trap. Stay alert. It's a trap, all right. Shit! Shit, trap for them! Bring it, bitch!
You're the first humans to ever desecrate this palace with your presence. It's her. And I assure you, you will most certainly be the last. That's the Locust Queen? I thought she was supposed to be bought up. If you're planning on flooding the Hollow, then I guess we would be the last. Yes. Though you destroyed the Riftworm, there are still ways for us to sink Jacinta. You will perish along with the Lambert. Not if we sink it first. <laughs> Scourge informed me of your plan to sink Jacinto before us. I'm afraid it won't work. Don't be so sure. Oh, but I am. We already have an army en route to Jacinto to prevent that from happening. Tell me, is it true? You're the son of Adam Phoenix. What's it to you? He spoke highly of you. It's a shame that you didn't follow his path. What the hell are you talking about? It no longer matters. Scourge, destroy them! There, go! Go after the Queen! She escaped on a reaver! Which way'd she go? Forget the Queen. We need to find a way back to Jacinto. Well, there are two more reavers back there. It's worth a shot. Move out! Let's go! Bridge is connected! We need to get to those reavers! Keep moving! Keep moving! There's our ticket out of here! Get on those Reavers! Marcus, I don't think they're gonna let us just climb on them. You got a better idea? Let's ride, Delta! I wanted me a little horse. They supply one. They ain't cool, but let's just get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Let's get to Jacinto, Delta. I'm not sure I can control this thing. Then you better learn fast, man. Come on, what the shit up? Let's go!
Control, Delta here. We lost the Queen. Did you get the data from Jack? Affirmative, Delta. Evacuations are underway, but we're currently under siege. Roger that. The Queen is sending everything she's got to stop us from sinking to Sindel. If we're gonna do it, we gotta do it now. Understood. We're working as fast as we can. Are you able to assist? We're close and on our way, Anya. Delta out. <laughs> Progress. We've evacuated most of Jacinto, but we still need more time to evac gears from the Hollow. Do we have a plan to sink Jacinto? Almost. We're finalizing the logistics now. When you first sent this information, Sergeant Phoenix, I thought you were insane. You seem to have that effect on people. But it looks like your father was right all this time. Imagine that. Locust troops have breached the courtyard. We're on it. Not without me, you aren't. If this is Jacinto's last stand, I'm not sitting it out. Fair enough. our status we have a plan but it's not gonna be easy we've identified an underground cavern near the locust sinkhole we believe that a strategically placed light mass bomb can give Jacinto its final push what's the catch due to cedar and nemesis infestation we're unable to get a chopper down there to deliver the bomb we need someone to clear the target area and by someone you mean us 
Baird, Cole, I want you two to assist with the light mass bomb. Dom, looks like we're heading back underground. Through the archives building and are now approaching Cooper Street. We're about a half a click from the sinkhole. We'll keep you posted. Delta out. There it is. The beginning of the end. Never thought they'd get to Jacinto. <clears throat> well, I guess it was just a matter of time.
We lost the light mass bomb. So close. There's got to be a way. Your world can end in the blink of an eye. One event, one unexpected twist of fate, and suddenly the world as you knew it is gone forever. Anya, can you read me? Anya, come in! Anya! All that you held dear, all that you held close, is washed away into the sea of distant memory. I'm sorry, Marcus. Life is cruel. Of this, I have no doubt. But life continues on, with or without you. I can only hope that one leaves behind a lasting legacy. But so often, the legacies that we leave behind are not the ones that we intended. This is Adam Phoenix. Is anyone out there? Can you hear me? 
This is Adam Phoenix. Can you hear me? What have you done? So this is how it ends. Today, the coalition of ordered governments ceased to exist. Chairman Prescott, he abandoned us some time ago. We can't pretend we're a government any longer. It all began on E-Day, when the Locust emerged and overran us. We tried to stop them with the Hammer of Dawn. Incinerating our own cities, killing millions of our own people. But the Locust kept coming. The survivors from the Hammer Strikes, the Stranded, didn't want anything to do with a government that sacrificed civilians. And after 15 years of fighting, we even had to sacrifice the last human stronghold, Jacinto. We sank the city and finally stopped the Locust Army. The war was finally over. Reduced to refugees, we found a remote island where we could start again. But some things could never be rebuilt. The broken hearts, the broken minds. Then a new enemy came after us, even worse than the last, the Lambert. Now they're spreading across Sarah, killing everything in their path. We've held them off as long as we can. We're out of options. Our only hope now is to abandon the island and split up. Some of us are going to live on the remaining ships. Others want to risk going back to the mainland. Godspeed, Colonel. This is the former Lieutenant Anya Stroud, signing off. Now hear this. All hands prepare for leaving harbor. We're all stranded now.
always his work my father cared about. His research. He tried to save his work. And I tried to save him. I disobeyed orders to do it. And it cost us the battle. Santiago and Stratton, report to CIC immediately. Yeah. I heard you the first time. Hey, Phoenix. You looking for Santiago? It's okay. I know where to find him. Stocks detected. Damage response team, muster and hangar deck. All personnel, alert Come on, Dom. Armor up. I've got crops to take care of. If we don't grow it, we don't eat it, remember? I think the radishes can cope without you for a while. <sighs> okay, let's get this over with. Deck two, secure all hatches. See safety team, close up on deck two. Prepare for inbound Raven. The Raven's coming back. Sam and Cole just took off for supplies. Huh. Maybe Baird forgot his wallet. The stocks give me the creeps. Yeah, even when they're empty husks. I'm expecting polyps to spew out of them. Come on, Jace. Work to do. It's Stock City out there. All right, all right. Give me a second. Damn. Nearly got it that time. That candy's like 10 years old, man. You're gonna puke your guts up. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a price I'm willing to pay. Guys, see, I see. Now. Captain Michelson to all ships company. We've now entered Lambent Waters. Go to alert state one and secure for action. At least the old man still takes the threat seriously. Folks seem to forget how we ended up like this. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, well, not me. Those damn things are still out there. And I'll be ready for them. We've been on alert for three months straight. No yeah, tell me that when you got one scrambling up your leg. You came between Dom and his radishes, Lieutenant. This better be good. Good? Probably not. A shock? Yeah. Guess who's come back from the dead. Do I get a prize if I'm right? Chairman Prescott. No shit. You mean ex-Chairman Prescott? That asshole. He ran out on us 18 months ago. What's he expecting now, red carpet? I'm waiting to find out. Warship Sovereign. Hang on. This is KR-01 requesting permission to land. One passenger, Chairman Prescott. KR-01, this is Sovereign. You are clear to land. Deck team standing by. Wonder where Prescott managed to find a helicopter. He sure as hell didn't leave with one. He never called, he never sent flowers. Oh, I can't wait to hear this shit. I'll get the popcorn. Damn, the stocks are gonna do some real damage one day. Nash, get out of there! They're behind you, Nash! Ah! 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 Action stations, action stations! Lamp and attack to starboard bow! Unidentified barrier! Unidentified barrier? Come on, people! 
Let's get up there. back in here like nothing happened. Better park that nice new raven carefully. Let's give the traditional stranded welcome. Strip the chopper for parts. You think he knows that the cog fell apart after he disappeared? You think he cares? Chairman Prescott, welcome to what's left of the cog. I'll have answers for you, ladies and gentlemen. But later. I need to see Colonel Hoffman immediately. Hoffman's been gone almost as long as you have, Chairman. He's dead? He left to take a group of civilians to Anvilgate. Captain Michelson's the senior officer now. Not that we have much of a military left. I'd better talk to the gallant Captain then. I have a mission for it. Oh, and Sergeant Phoenix, you'll want to see this. Better not be a shopping list. Let's go check it out. There. Finally got it. Marcus, if you get this message, if you're still alive, I need your help. Oh, this God. This time I really am asking Marcus. for your help. Please. It's your father. Listen. Yeah, I know this. It's complicated, and I don't have much Wait, time. but I thought he... Leave it, Chase. I'm being held prisoner by the Locust. I've developed a solution for the Lambent problem. They think they can use it to kill humans as well, but they don't realize... Marcus, he knows about the Lambent. And he looks older than when... The... Than when we saw him die. I know. If he's still alive, I've got to find him. Any way to tell when this was recorded? There's no date code. Hang on. They don't realize that it won't save the Locust. Sarah's dying, Marcus. The whole planet's infected. It's the emotion that's killing it. It was always the emotion, you see. And I can stop it. I understand it all now. I've tried to contact you over the years, but I've been helped. Damn machine! <sighs> Baird's never here when you need him. Brace! 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 Brace for impact! I'll figure out a way to decode the rest of that disc, Marcus. We'll find him. Come on! Everybody get out there and finish these assholes! This is the chairman. Great, now he wants coffee. I'm under attack in the captain's cabin. Michelson's badly wounded. I can't hold them off alone. We require immediate assistance. Prescott, this is Phoenix. Hold on! <laughs> Move it! We gotta get down there! Prescott can't handle this on his own! Look out! You fucked up our commandos, you asshole! Come on! Stop them before they get below deck! Anyone near the lift controls? Raise the deck lift! You got it, Phoenix! Michelson's gone. 
Phoenix, get down to the hangar. The helicopters are under attack. We need to get them airborne right away. Are you wounded? Yes, but then I... Then you stay here, and you don't move until we get back. Understood? I'll try not to get myself killed, Sergeant. Yeah, you do that. I'm not the conversational type. But when I get back, I want a nice, long chat. I'll come back and give you first aid as soon as we've got the choppers awake, okay? We should have handcuffed him to a pipe, in case he does another disappearing act. He's not going anywhere without his chopper. Delta to hangar deck. KR units. Anyone down there? We've got to get those ravens in the air. Delta, this is KR-03. My bird's intact, but my crew's down. I need a hand. Hang tight. We're on our way. Oh, shit! You hear that? Sounds like more pilots. Ah, damn it, they're in the pipes! <laughs> Time to turn and burn. We'll be your new crew. Great. As I start the end, we'll get the last break. Look out! Holy shit! What the hell's that? It's not a stock. Look out! It's coming back! It's a goddamn Leviathan! Yeah! Come on, Pink! We'll give it everything you got! Let's get up top and sink that bitch before we lose anyone else! Hey! Get out of there! Those tanks are gonna blow! Oh! Damn it! We're gonna lose the whole ship if we don't get this fire under control! Grab the extinguisher! Can't take a hit. Okay? We must be in engineering. Miracle we didn't get killed. Sparkins, whoa! That's one big, ugly motherfucker! Cole, can you see this shit? Where's your bird? Maybe we got a grandstand view. We're crossing the bridge right above the ship. Any way you can kill this thing from where you are? Uh, putting it scientifically? We need to blow his brains out his ass! We'll get Baird to come up with an idea. Come on, we've got to find a way back up to the flight deck. All lifeboats away. I repeat, all lifeboats away.
stop before that thing comes back. Marcus, while you were taking a break, huh, the blind genius had an idea. Can you lower that bitch to the front end so we can give it a headache? Animals just love me. Stand by, Cole. We're gonna need a bigger cattle prop. Let's use the two silverbacks in the maintenance bed. Marcus, run! That thing's gonna flatten us! quiet. Someone's gotta be, with Bear yapping all the time. Oh, I could gag him if you like. <laughs> be my trait. Uh, remind me why we thought Hanover was a good place to look for supplies? Maybe you gotta trust the coal train to find the goods. This is my turf, Cougar's territory. Yeah, cause that's gonna count for a lot right now. Okay, 7-0, we'll call you back if we find something. Roger that. Good hunting. So this is home, eh, Cole? Classy. Has it changed much since you've been away? Hey, the whole damn world looks like this. Let's move out. Whoa, whoa, take a look over there. I'm guessing that used to be a stranded outpost. Oh, somehow I don't think he died of natural causes. Oh, really, Doctor? Yeah, call that a woman's intuition. Told you this is gonna be a waste of time. There's gotta be more outposts around here. Let's keep looking. I'm telling you, this place is crawling with freaks. You know what stocks mean? Polyps. We haven't seen polyps for months. Relax. Oh, bad. Look. That house over there. I can see us, you and me. A couple of kids, a dog. Yeah. Great big bottle of suicide pills. Well, that'll save me poisoning your dinner. 
Yeah, you'll miss me one day. Whoa! Hey, go down there! Step into the light and do it slow! Try anything dumb and we'll blow your heads off! Everybody chill. Relax, my man! Safety's on! Hey, it's the car coming to civilize us. Ah, oh, whoopee! Yo, we're all in the same boat. We just want to trade for some food. Well, we ain't got any spare food. And if we did, we wouldn't be trading it with you cog assholes. Ooh. <laughs> I'll give you a side of bacon for her, though. Oh, bacon. Hey, take the deal, Cole. I haven't had bacon in six months. Thanks, but no thanks. Any other camps around? Some. You can try the warehouse down at the pier. Or the stadium. Of course you gotta get past all the blowies first, but you hairy-assed heroes can breeze through all that shit. <laughs> Kinda anti-social, aren't they? Uh, it's pronounced assholes. Come on, we still got options. There's even an old grocery store around here. Let's see if my coupons are still good. Damn shame we ain't got Jack to rip that gate. I missed that little guy. Hey, he isn't scrapped yet, okay? Just looking for a power supply for him. He'll be better than new before you know it. Let's just open this the Delta way. Uh, hey, Bird, why don't you hop on and I'll give you a push? Uh, yeah, you know what? No thanks. We got a live one! That's a new world record in ugly. Maybe I've been too harsh on the polyps. I kind of prefer them to these new glowies. Cole, you sure you know where the grocery store is? I mean, when you were a big thrash ball star, didn't you have people for that? Yeah, one of them must have told me where it was when I was getting my manicure. Keep it moving. Yo, the store should be just up ahead. Let's cut through here. I'm out of ammo. before more glories show up. Huh. 
You ever feel like you did, but nobody told you? Okay, let's see what they got on special this week. Righto, where's the coffee? Where's the bacon? Come on, let's work our way to the back. Look for anything you... Okay, Baird, now we've got polyps. Happy? Yeah, ecstatic! Hey, we might be in luck for a change. This stuff could be usable. Hold the KR seven zero. We request a grocery evac. We struck gold, son. Roger that. The LZ's rolling with Chloe's, though. Give us a hand clearing them out, will ya? We'll drop a smoke to mark the pickup area. You got it. Come on, let's get this stuff outside. <laughs> okay, KR-70, you're clear for pickup. You heard the man! Time to love him and leave him, baby! Cole, the Lambin are overrunning Hanover. You wanna call it a day? We still got to go check out the warehouse and, you know, the stadium. Oh, of course, the stadium. You're not making a pilgrimage or anything, are you? Hey, just being thorough. Well, that doesn't look safe. <sighs> Come on, let's just get through here fast as we can. Jeez Louise, what the fuck? Hey, check fire! We're on your side! <laughs> Sorry! Well, there's a surprise. The Armored Wonder's turning out to save us. Don't you people ever try gratitude? Just to break up the friggin' monotony of sarcasm? Don't mind him. Someone stole his teddy when he was little. Is everyone okay? Yeah, thanks for the help. We owe you. Hey, you're him, aren't you? You're Augustus Cole. Cole Train! What brings you back here? Hey, surprise you remember me, baby. Just passing through, looking for food. If you got any of the train, the Cole Train is sure appreciate that. <laughs> All right, come on in. We haven't got any food to spare, but we might have something else you need. I meant supplies. Good thing I wear a helmet. This way, folks. Hey, we're heading for the stadium. Anything we should know? Well, it ain't empty. Cold train. I'll be damned. You kind of guessed as much. Let's just say the boss over there ain't a cog fan. You might just want to take a detour around her. Well, where there's people, there's supplies. Hey, you're the coal train. Maybe you'll be able to work with me. Hanover is still your house. Funny how there's a lot more lambing around as soon as the cock shows up. Must be their fan club. You know who the big guy is, don't you? 
So, what have you got for us then? Shampoo, conditioner, gag for my friend here? <laughs> nah, just ammo. It's out in the back. Now that's my kind of groceries. Wow! Is it really you, Coltrane? Hey there, how you doing? Oh, I wonder if they got a bucket I could throw up in. There you go. All it's missing is a bow. Michelson's gonna be well pleased with this. Nice one, Cole. That's real generous of you, ma'am. We appreciate it. KR-70, roger that. Uh, heads up, guys. There's some Joker on Centennial Bridge taking pot shots from a gun turret. We're giving it a wide berth. Suggest you watch your six as well. Oh, trust me. I'm on permanent guard around these assholes. Bared out. It looks like we're gonna have to cut through here. Hey, look. He's still the hero. Yeah, the bums didn't even melt down his statue for scrap. Now that's respect. Cole Train? Shit, it is you! Wow, Cole, what are you doing back here? Man, you look just like I remember. Hey, you finally coming back home or something? Hey, can't keep me away forever, baby. Just checking everything's the way I left it, more or less. Don't have a beer with us. We brew some good stuff. Thanks, but I'll pass. Still on duty. We're looking for supplies, though. Anything you want to trade? Better ask the boss. We can take you to see her. Uh, I hear she might not be a fan. She listen to you. You're the cold train. Woo woo. Yo, the cold train don't go woo woo. It's woo. See if the boss lady's in a good mood. Yeah, you're right about the smells lingering forever.
train. You're gonna let anyone else have that ball. Take your bag off. I tell you, man, this is hard. Okay, Cole. Ah! The train still got the moves, baby! Now, that was a move I first used against the Eagles in the National Finals! Of course, <laughs> them bitches didn't explode! Yeah, you still got it. Now let's go sweet talk the Queen of the Bums. Sovereign to all KR units off ship. We are under heavy Lambent attack. The ship has been boarded and we require support. I say again, we are under attack and require immediate assistance. Uh, damn it. Well, that changes our dinner plans. Call to KR-70. It's time to get us back to the ship. KR-70 here. That's a negative call. Got some serious Lambent shit on board Sovereign. Stand by. Roger that. Okay. Let's see if the boss lady can get us back to the ship some other way. Oh well, nice while it lasted. Oh shit! Hey, this is all your fault. Those things left us alone until the cog showed up. Ma'am, our ship was in trouble and we're trying to get back fast. You got any transport we can borrow? Oh, here are the keys to my luxury yacht. Look, Cog, you're on your own. Get out while you can. Come on, come on, move it! Get downstairs and open the rear gates. We've got people to evacuate. Baron, we gotta reach the bridge. The sovereign's going to pass underneath it. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, maybe take over those gun turrets, or just repel down when the ship's below us. Ma'am, is the cable car to the bridge still working? Yeah, but here's some free advice. Forget the bridge. They're stranded over there that you really don't want to mess with. Yeah, we'll take our chances. We gotta get back on our ship. Fine, get yourself killed. No skin off my back. Hey, Cole, they seem to know a way out. So do I. This way. Anyone afraid of heights? Hey, uh, not anymore. Love heights. Love them. Fucking love them. 
Come on! The line still reaches the bridge! And that's all stop, so let's do this! This doesn't look good at all. Come on, Billy, get on with it. If we lose that ship, we lose everything we've got. Call the Sovereign! Call the Sovereign! Come in, Sovereign! Shit, the comps are still down and I can't see a goddamn thing. We need to get to the center of this bridge! Yeah, but we have to get past that first. My unique charisma should do the trick. Uh, yeah, I'll have to lend you some of mine. <laughs> Am I the only one who can feel the crosshairs just about here? Hey, I saw movement. Top of the barricade, stay sharp. Hello? Anyone home? Knock, knock. We're just passing through. We just need a hand to get back to our shit! <laughs> so much for diplomacy. Yeah, what else do you expect from these stranded shits? Let's get this over with. Hey! Those aren't stranded. They're locust. Oh, great. Look who's back in town. Well, we did flood them out their tunnels. Hey! They got a gun position in that toll booth! Yeah, on top of the barricade, too! Here's my toll, bitch! Sniper! Yeah. Keep the change, asshole! Just hold it down! Hey, I like what they've done with the place. The informal, squalid look. <laughs> it's grubs we're talking about here, Ben. Squalid's normal for No, them. when they were underground, they were organized. This looks like they've gone feral or something. Stranded. Savage, even. Savage, eh? Does that make them easier to fight or not? What? Ain't nothing a boom shot won't fix! Let's see if we can get around this way. Damn it. That ship's gonna be 20 clicks away by the time we get across this bridge. Oh, come on. You're a glass half empty man, aren't you? Yeah. Buy me a beer and I'll show you. Oh, she won't buy you anything. Your name's not Dom. Shut your hole, bitch. Shit. We have to try another route. Come on, in here. Okay, lower deck or the catwalk? Sam, let's take the catwalk. Barrett, you and Carmine take the lower deck. That's the only catwalk Sam's ever gonna be on. When this is over, Baird, I'm gonna raise your voice an octave. Call to the 
Leviathans before, remember? At Vector's Stockyard. Saved your asses. You killed one. A baby. And you wrecked the harbor doing it. That one's twice the size. So what's your plan? Nag it to death? Wait a minute. You actually could. Look, ladies. One way or another, we gotta help Sovereign. Or she's screwed and so are we. Ah, oh, shit! There go the guns! Even I got a plan B, cause now will be a good time. Okay. The Grubs must have plenty of ordnance here. You find it, I'll make it go bang. Hey, that'll do the job. Find some more tinkers. Drop, splat, bang, and a story. Yeah, if they don't kill us first. Hey, what the fuck is that? A floating locust barge? Ooh, big slow target for the game. Uh-uh, I call them from that. Who says this stuff? We have to fun. Now, can I have my tickers, please? Hello, bears, we're looking. We're looking?
think you got it, Baird. Hey, we walked away in one piece. That's what counts, right? Yeah, firing all pistons, baby. Marcus, you okay? Dom, speak to me. Where are y'all? Look sharp, people. That's not search and rescue. Come on, we gotta haul ass. We gotta get to the ship before that freak parade does. Poor old lady. Not looking too good. Looks like we found him. Cough it up, baby. Uh, Dom. Is he okay? Come on, Santiago. Breathe. <coughs> Damn it! Oh, God. He is now. <sighs> Anya! Jace! Respond! Over! Come on, damn it! Answer me! Marcus! I'm with Jace near the ship. I need some help with Prescott, or he's not gonna make it. I heard Prescott. Tell me that's just my old head injury? Prescott? What, do we got an echo here or something? Yeah, Prescott's back, Michelson's dead, and my father's alive. Film at 11. Anya, we're coming to get you. There's a lot more wounded coming ashore too, Marcus. We need someone to help out at the lifeboats. They're beached just north of the ship. You got it. Sam and Carmine are on their way. to know what that is? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a research facility. He's been working there. Queen Mira captured it days ago. God damn you, where's Azura? Marcus, come on. something else in your father's message. We've got to find a data reader. Who was he talking about? Hoffman. The bastard is Hoffman. Spit it out. Look, Hoffman's been hanging on to that data disk he stole from Prescott back on Vectus. 
All those goddamn months I spent trying to crack the encryption for him, we still didn't have a friggin' clue what was on it. Well, I bet it's the data on Asura, and that unlocks it. We have to get it to Hoffman and crack that disk. He's at Anvil Gate. That's a hell of a long journey, Marcus. I hate to interrupt people, but we got visitors! This is all I can recover. I'm trying to contact you over the years, but I've been held prisoner at Azura since Prescott of the Duxorus. Keep your mind on the emulsion countermeasure. That's all that matters, sir. I've been at Azura since Prescott abducted me from the estate. Prescott abducted me. Prescott abducted me. I'm sorry. Fucking Prescott. Prescott God abducted damn him. Uh, so now what? Now we go see Hoffman. Sam, you're from Anvil Gate. What's the quickest route? Across the Deadlands. It's gonna be rough, but I can take you straight there. Just give us directions, Sam. You and Anya stay here with Carmine and Jason. Supervise the salvage. Marcus, we'll catch up with you when the situation's under control. Okay? Okay. Good luck. Come on. We've got a long walk ahead of us. Let's get going. It's a barge. Looks like the one we shot down earlier. Anyone got a pump? And some duct tape? I hate those chompers. Little creeps can't leave anything alone. Ugh. Yeah, imagine rooting around looking for parts all the time. Hey, I make intelligent use of free resources. That's how come we're still alive to bitch about it. Come on. The Locust must have more of these gas barges. There's our ride. Let's track it. When we hijack the barge, let me drive. I think I've got a way to control it. It's all yours, Baird. Looks like our barge. They've got to land sooner or later. Come on, or else we're gonna lose them. See, that's what happens when you flood their tunnels. They rebuild anywhere they can. Yeah, I thought it was kind of weird to see them up here strolling around. They ain't the kind for a day at the beach. It seems like they dug themselves a new home. They must be excavating the whole area. Hey, that barge looks like it's setting down. Anyone up for a hijack? Yeah, first class to Anvil Gate? Let's do it. This must lead into the main compound.
That comes next. Farming? Huh, gotta hand it to them grubs. They built to last. So, any idea where we are now? Um, in the shit, up to here. Why did Hoffman have to move to the other end of the freaking world? I just hope the old man's still alive. How long since we last had radio contact with Amble Gate? Just over a year. If he's dead, Bernie would hang on to the disc. Heads up! There's a barge over there. Let's see where it lands. Run for it! You sure you can control that overgrown bladder when we grab it? <laughs> yeah, Tinker Toes, because you know bladder control ain't your strong suit. Once. It happened once, okay? <sighs> anyway, I grabbed the nav system from that wrecked barge. One direct course to Anvil Gate. Programmed and ready. Hmm. Nice job. So this is how they do it. It's a ticker assembly line. And now it's a free supply of ordnance. Thank you, Grubs. Help yourselves. Might as well use them. Here comes some more! So that's where corpses come from. When a mommy corpser and a daddy corpser love each other very much. Whoa, stay back, man. They would think the first thing he sees is his mother. Why don't you two guys shut the fuck up before we wake its mother? Oh yeah! We 
got plenty of gas bags now. Choose any model you like. between here and Azura at full readiness. And make sure we don't lose him again. God damn it, she's still alive? How the hell did she survive the flood? So, she's still running the show. Holy shit! Look at the size of that book! Mm, I got your number, bitch. Light him up and get moving before we lose the bargain. That's why we're here. Take it! Time I fly with a budget airline. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you look over the side, you might see Anvilgate, the lovely historic city of Anvagad. It is lovely, right? <laughs> Even Sam says it's the ass end of the world, and it's her hometown. mirror that's holding your dad, Marcus. And now she knows I'm coming for him. Baird, you sure this thing's still on course? Look, I programmed the course Sam gave us. You want a coloring book or something? Pencils? Look, something shiny. You kids better behave. Don't make me turn this thing around. There, how long before we're in radial range of Anvil Gate? We're past the halfway mark. Ooh, maybe Hoffman will have the coffee ready. Oh, yeah. And some cookies, too. Someone's taking a pounding out there. Hold them off as best I can! Anyone picking this up? Now, this is truck 54! I need some help fast, or else I'm gonna kiss my ass goodbye! I don't believe it. That you, Dizzy? Marcus Riggs? Well, I'll be there. Where are you, son? We're on our way, Dizzy. See the extra barge coming in? That's us. Ejector grub barge? Damn, Marcus, you got some hangers on you. Hangers, son of a bitch. We'll get those grubs off your back. Hang on! Hey, looks like you're carrying ammo crates. You thinking what I'm thinking? Let's target them and see what happens. Good call, Bear. <laughs> This thing as close to the ground as you can. We're going in. Just in case it decides to go exploring without us. Ah! <laughs> Wasn't expecting to run into you boys again. <laughs> come on, help me move some of this ammo before the goddamn grubs come back. I found a stash back here before the grubs jump me. Fort needs every round we can get. Dizzy, we've come to find Hoffman. Last time we saw you, you were both heading for Anvil Gate. 
Yeah, he's got the fort fitted out real nice. I drive this route trading supplies with other camps. When I can slip past the goddamn grubs, that is. But has he still got Prescott's data disk? You know, the one I could never crack? Because we really need it. Sure he has. He's still cussing about it. Hey, you found the magic word to open? <sighs> Long story. Let's grab the supplies and go. Ha-ha! <laughs> this is more like it. Some serious stopping power. Grab whatever you can carry and let's get back to the barge. Come on, Baird, you're driving. You, you can't drive this. You admire the view and hope the NAV program works. I don't give a shit. It's good enough for me. to Anvil Gate. Over. Ah, damn, I'm just getting static. Foolish boy. Okay, that just ruined my day. Mira's back. That beetle of hers must be turbocharged. She's too fast to target. I can't get a fix on her either. You think it's a feeling she's just dicking with us? No, Tom. This feels like a pretty sincere attempt on my life. Peace. Uh, I'll get back to you on that. Hold your fire! Phoenix? What in the hell are you doing here? There's a column of grubs heading this way, Colonel. Let's get out of here and I'll explain. Okay, mount up! Get on the radio and warn the fort. We got grubs inbound. I'm guessing you didn't come all this way to inquire about my health. No. We've got something for you. The key for Prescott's data disk. Well, you must think it's pretty damn urgent. Hell, I'd almost given up on the damn thing. Yeah. It contains information where Prescott's holding my father. Azura, ring any bells with you? What in the hell do you mean, holding your father? I got a message from him. He didn't get killed after all. Prescott had him kidnapped. Dear God Almighty! And all that shit's on the disc? Well, where'd you get the key? Prescott handed it to me today. Just before he died. Well, Phoenix, I have no goddamn idea what to say. And that's a first for me. 
contact. Grubs at the front gate. All personnel to stand true position. I'll fill you in after we dealt with our visitors. Load up and meet me at the front gate. I'll be damned if I'll let those bastards take this fort. Grab some weapons and get to the front gate! Bernie, you're on ops. Get on the PA system and call it out. Okay, we'll do. The loop is so heavy! All personnel to band two. Hold the front gate. We've got a whole front of the Hold this fort! <laughs> just long enough to get rid of the smell of burning grub. Colonel, we better have that talk now. But that's downright unbelievable. Even for that asshole. So, this thing your dad's invented, it'll kill off a lambent? What about the rest of the grubs? No guarantees. Just because they turn into lambent doesn't mean it'll work on them. But we still gotta find out where Azura is. Shame about the hammer. It's just what we need. Goddamn thing. It still triggers a few satellites, but forget about accuracy. Hmm. Maybe I can fix that. Baird, here's the disc. A maze. Bernie, you are not gonna believe this shit. It'll have to wait, Vic. Is anyone monitoring the radio net? It's Sam and Anya. They're pinned down outside the perimeter. We're on it, Bernie. Come on, people. Lock and load. I'll get someone to drive the truck for you. What? Did I miss something, Blondie? Uh... I'll let your old man fill you in. Just keep an eye on his blood pressure. Stay calm, deep breaths, that kind of stuff, okay? Cole, with me. Dom, you and Bernie get up there and give us some cover while Baird works on the hammer. We're coming to get you. Are you okay? Where's Chase? We're pinned down. Chase is here. He's on his way with Carmine. Okay, Anya, hold on. Look at your country fire. Go get him. Yo, Marcus, I see the lady. Are you okay? Rocket! Come on, get up! 
until she's up close! Yeah, you get cozy with her! I'll stand back! Man, this is one tough bitch! Even for the cold train! Hey, sexy baby! Come on! Is it for you? Are we done here? Come on, Baird, we got a job to do. There you go, Azura. No pictures, but plenty of data and maps. Knock yourself out. But it's an island. How the hell do you hide an island? That's how. More of Prescott's top secret bullshit. What the hell's a maelstrom barrier? Some kind of shielding device. Wow, an artificial hurricane around the island. Hey, Prescott was really investing in the crazy tyrant technology. I almost admire that. But it looks like the only way in is to go under it. Well, there's an old sub laid up at the shipyard in Endeavor. Yeah, if it's seaworthy, if you can get the motors running, and if you can fuel it. Now, son, that's where I come in. I'm ex-merchant Navy. I can fix it, drive it, and fuel it. If you can find a place to fill the tanker. We can detour via Mercy or Char. I know Mercy. It's an emulsion pumping station. Let's try there first. You sure you want to go there? What, because it's Maria's hometown? I can handle that now. And we need the fuel. Noticing you haven't insisted on coming along, Colonel. I didn't surrender this town in the last war, and I'll be damned if I'm going to abandon it to a bunch of glowy grubs now. Right, Bernie? Yeah, we're too old to run. We'll just sit on the front porch and blow the shit out of anything that moves. Cole, you go find reinforcements. Sub or no sub, we'll be screwed if we don't get some backup. We need transport, weapons, and anyone who can fight. Okay, let's roll. Steady, people. Marcus, there's no other route to Mercy. We're gonna have to drive through that shit. Heads up! We got buzzards coming in! No choice now, Marcus. We gotta get out of here! Okay, hit the metal! Go, go, go! That's our way out! 
Concentrate your fuck. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's see what else they've lined up for us. Hey! Roadblock! Ahead! Dizzy, get in front and plow him out of the way! Coming through! Cog soldiers are this noisy. Haddock? That sidearm can go back where you found it. We need some help. And a boat. Then come with me. Welcome to beautiful Havo Bay! This city's been deserted for years, which is how we like it. Who's we, exactly? Come on, I'll show you. How did that get there? Tidal wave, after you sank Jacinto. The wave was 20 stories high, carried it in from offshore. That's where we're headed. That your place? For the moment, yeah. What the hell is he? Everybody move now! Quick, into the service station at the bottom of the street! Go, go! Bob and weave! Bob and weave! Go! Go! Don't get hit! Tell me again, why we wear all this armor? Well, at least we're not dead. <sighs> so who are your people these days, Paddock? One of the reasons people come here is that no one asks them who they fought for. Okay. We're getting close to the rig. Stay on me. At least things are still quiet at our doorstep. My camp is just beyond that gate. That looks... um... welcoming? Yes. We have wine and cheese waiting. Now get inside. Hello? So, nobody watching the door, Paddock? 
There should be a guard here. So, are you guys stranded? Everyone here fought for something. No stranded here. Who are you fighting for now? Don't ask stupid questions. Wow! They put on a real welcome home party for you, Paddock. So, how close is this boat you're gonna give us? Please shut up for a second, okay? We need to head toward the rig. This is not a good sign. Those generators are usually good for several days. Paddock, what's going on here? This just got worse. Oh no! I think they're landing humans! They're not human! Not anymore! We can take that up. The control room's at the top of the rig. Let's get up there. Whoa, is this thing coming down? That's normal, believe it or not. More emulsion. <coughs> no wonder everyone here got sick. <coughs> there should be gas masks in those lockers. More of those things! <coughs> We're cut off! Back around the other way! Open now! That's better. Now how do we get out of here? There is a stairwell in the corner. Follow me downstairs. What, where the things are coming from? I thought a grub killer would be a little braver than that. Hey, those things aren't grubs. Unfortunately, you're right. Okay, masks off. We're clear. Still no one. Please, let's hope some have made it. Look like someone left you a message, Paddock. And the kick is up! If any of my people are alive, they'll respond. Yeah, same thing goes for the Locust. What if nobody sees it? Everybody's going to see that. There! At least some of them made it. That's something. We got company! Defend this deck! Raven, incoming! He doesn't exactly have the hammer down. He's coming as fast as he can. Oh, well, it's not like we're in a hurry or anything!
not yet. I made a promise to my friends here. Explosives. Explosives? Why? That's the boat? I never said it was in the water. Can we have your helicopter instead? No! We left some explosives in that police station. And we're getting explosives here, why? I asked myself, what would you do to get that boat down? You have enough to bring down an entire building? I guess we'll find out, won't we? What about uh, Sophia? I heard she left the cog to be with you. Paddock, what happened to her? If we survive, I'll tell you later. Why, Paddock? How'd you know? He's a do the job. Uh, great. More shit to carry. You're one step closer to your boat. I figure we set one charge on each corner. Unless anyone has a better idea. I assume you know how to arm these explosives, Lieutenant? Yeah, I do. Just get them placed. And don't call me that. <gasps> Let's get out of here and light this place up! I thought you said this town was occupied. Yeah. It was busier than a fiddler's elbow a few months ago. People don't abandon a fuel depot for no reason. Okay. Keep an eye out for grubs. We might need to get out fast. Oh shit! Looks like they shut down the main pump! The controls have to be somewhere along this pipeline. Alright, let's follow it. Jace, dizzy. You stay here while we check out the town. Hello? Anybody home? We just need some fuel. So when were you last here, Don? Fifteen years. Maria's family, they're buried near the church. I wanted to bury her and the kids here too. Everybody stop. Look, the pipeline's rigged. Stay sharp, people. Could be an ambush. Look out, it's got a motion sensor. Marcus, we've got to disarm that chuck. Well, so far, so good. Marcus, we've got another charge. Somebody definitely wants. Take cover! Hey, check fire! We're gears! Gears! Get your hands off those goddamn charges! Did you rig the pipeline? You wanna blow this place up? Yeah! I gotta stop this thing from spreading! Just let me get on with the job! What thing? You got an epidemic? How the hell should I know what it is? It's, 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 it's some, some kind of fever. People started burning up, screaming and fighting, turning crazy. And I'm dead if I'm gonna turn up like that, like some rabid dog, not even human no more. You better come with us. We can get you some help. No, it's too late. Leave me alone. Hey, come back. We need to know where else you've laid charges. 
Well, he was interesting. Whatever fever he was talking about, I hope it's not contagious. Let's just follow the pipeline and get the pump started. Hey, we're Cog! Don't run! We're on your side! Where'd he go? Maybe he's the one that's gone nuts and they're hiding from him. Bastard. You think the old guy could be down here? <laughs> In the sewer? Definitely. Oh, God. It's a crazy old man. But what killed him? Well, it wasn't a fever. All right, it's close quarters down here, so let's split up and give ourselves some elbow room. Dom, Sam, go right. Anya, stick with me. jump the species barrier again. Desi, we've got lambent humans. You shit, Lisa! I wish. We've got to stop them getting out. We gotta get that pipeline working first. I know we're in the shit, but that sub ain't gonna run on piss and moonshine. Yeah, don't worry. We'll do it. Huh. Lambent humans. No wonder the old guy wanted to frag the place. Is that it? Are we all gonna end up like them? Former humans? No. We're getting out. We grab the fuel and we're out of here. <gasps> My great idea to come here. Sorry, Marcus. It's just as well we did. Now we know the whole human race could turn Lambert if we don't do something about it. Thanks for the assist. Cheers. You're the last people we expected to see. Hey, are you feeling okay? Fine, so far. But he's not looking too good. <sighs> Is this how it starts? Yeah, you've seen this before? Because this ain't just rust. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get to that fuel pump! Baby, I'm sorry I couldn't bring you home. But you're with the kids now. That's home, yeah? I'll see you all again one day. <laughs> Look, Marcus is busy saving the world again, so... I gotta be there for him. Sleep tight, sweetheart.
is he? The fuel's online. Stand by. Somehow, I don't think that's the choir. We finish this bunch and then we get the hell out of here, okay? You think the old guy laid enough explosives to blow the town? No, but it will put a big hole in it. Then we'll have to settle for slowing them down. Dizzy, we're done here. We're on our way. Dom, what's the fastest way back to the fuel station? Just cut through the vaults under the church. It used to be an air raid shelter in the Pendulum Wars. Better hope we've cleared out the Lambent. Ugh. Smell those emulsion fumes. It never used to be like this. Hey, Marcus. Your father thinks it's emulsion that's killing Sarah, right? Yeah. We killed to get the stuff. Now it's killing us. Yo, Marcus, we got grubs up the highway. Is the tanker ready to roll? She steals fuel and fuel, Marcus. I can't plug all the leaks. She ain't going nowhere. <clears throat> oh, shit. All right, leave the damn thing. Get to the pickup. Roger that. We'll be locked and ready to go.
He's gone! He's gone! There's nothing you can do! Stop get it! Get off me! God Stop damn it. it! Let me get him out of there! It's okay, Marcus. It's okay. Come on. We gotta go now. Your father still needs us. the hammer strikes? Yep. They're in there, son. But they ain't the welcoming kind. We're out of choices. We need the fuel, welcome or not. We've got to get to the shipyard. Dizzy, stay here and guard the truck. You can quit tiptoeing around me. He's dead. But he saved us. So we'll make sure he didn't die for nothing. Oh, no. Oh, God. They're people. Yeah. Ugh. It's kind of creepy. It's like this is what they were doing when the hammer strikes hit. It's all that's left of them. Ash. Shit, man, look at them. They were running for their lives. And they've lasted all these years. Yeah. It's a mass grave, people. Let's show what respect we can. Dizzy, there's nobody around so far. Nobody alive, anyway. Dizzy, you're breaking up. Damn, lost him again. Okay, we better assume someone's got us in their sights. Look out! Well, we can't say Dizzy didn't warn us. We just want to trade! Guess not. Okay. Stay sharp. Watch out for more accidents. Mm -hmm. Hey! Stop! Look out! Shit! I'm out! They've rigged the whole place with traps! He took off left! Around the corner! Follow that asshole! Don't lose him! Shit, we better keep eye on the Ash people. He could be any one of them. Over there! What's he pushing? What is that? Stay sharp. Anything could be a trap. You fucking amateur! You think you can scare us off, huh? We're gears! Save your breath, Jace. Come on. All right, all right. Sorry, Mark. What the hell? We better check that out. Oh, now you see that shit there? That? That ain't funny. Well, that looks cozy. You think anyone's home?
an asshole's got to say for himself. You got one chance. Don't piss me off. Griffin don't want no outsiders in this town, especially Cog. You took a big risk coming here. Look, all we want is fuel, and then we'll go. Is this Griffin willing to trade? Well, lady, he might want to do business with you. Just take us to see him, little man. Now. Great view from up here, Cog. You can see the mess he made of the city. The folks around here haven't forgotten the hammer strikes. Listen, fuckstick, we just saved you from the glowies. We're still fighting and dying out there. Whoa! Sorry, lady. Just explaining how folks feel. Hey, tell me about Griffin. Oh, he's the chief around here. Griffin and Molson Corporation, remember? Yeah, so you've got fuel. Well, not since our last shipment went missing. So you're not much use to us then, are you? Just find us some fuel, and we'll be out of here. Okay, okay. But let me sweet talk to Chief first. Cable cars. Yeah, only crazy guys move around on the ground. Yeah, we noticed. Nah, it's the goddamn car. Yeah, yeah, can we come in? Shit, why you bringing them up here? Talk of practice for the chief. Come on, man. They ain't ordinary car assholes. They just killed a heap of glowies for us. They really need to see the chief. Okay. But only cuz it's gonna be fun watching him kick seven shades of shit out you, you little weasel. You are hopeless. You know, I think I heard of Griffin. People used to say he's badass with the hate for the Coalition. Look, there's his office. Marcus, let me handle this. Mr. Griffin, sir, these car guys showed up and they did a great job on the Glowies. Now they want some fuel. What the fuck are you doing bringing the cog here? Into my city. They, 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 they killed the glowies, sir. They, they just want some fuel. Boy, get out of here before I lose my patience. So welcome to Griffin Tower, Cog. It was here before you destroyed Char and it's still standing now. And so am I. Got some nerve coming around here asking for favors, motherfuckers. Sir, we understand. We just need fuel. And then we'll go. Bitch, you don't understand shit. You seen those ash remains? Those were my workforce, my employees, my family. I don't like their rest being disturbed by outsiders, and especially no fucking cog. Oh, I think we understand grieving. Oh, and who the fuck are you? Marcus Phoenix. Hmm. It is a name I think I recall. You know the first rule of business, Mr. Phoenix? Remind me. It's what's in it for me. You need fuel, so do I. Ironic scene is how I built an empire on it. So you get my fuel back, and I'll let your punk ass keep some. Well, what's stopping you from getting it? Our refinery across the way is a little late with the fuel shipment. Shit, they didn't even send my cable car back. So I'm asking you to progress the order for me. Get my fuel and my cable car. Now, can you manage that, killer? You wouldn't be setting us up now, would you? Oh, good God damn it, get your hands off me! Marcus! They jumped me and took the truck! They were, ah, oh, Every contract has a performance guarantee, Phoenix. Your associate is now mine. Don't you lay a finger on him. Don't you fucking dare. You got an hour. Don't waste it. Let's go, Marcus. Dizzy's gonna be 
Let's pay Marcus. Let's do this and get out of here. Yeah. Let's. Oh, God. This place must have taken the brunt of it. And there's Griffin's other tower. Yeah. Certainly did a thorough job here. I've never seen a city trash this bad. Damn, it must have been hard to push that button. It was. I was there. Oh, shit, Anya. My bad. I ain't meaning like that. It's okay. I guess we're not going back that way. Look, I think we're following the old subway. Well, we managed to reach the tower in one piece. And there's a cable car on the top. Now all we have to do is get up there. Place looks deserted. You know, maybe they abandoned the place and just moved somewhere safer. Perfect. Plenty of elevators and no power. Let's see if there's a generator, or else we got a long climb ahead. <sighs> Finally, something goes right. Yeah, but then it always goes wrong again. Okay, let's go and try one of the lifts. Well, here's hoping it's intact. Uh, anyone else hear that? Ah, shit! Blame the humans! It's not just mercy, then! Well, that explains why the ship that never came down. They're crawling under them. What's the that? All right. Let's get to that cable car and go get dizzy. So I guess we're taking the stairs. This car's the counterweight. Let's move it. So, if they've turned Lambent here in the refinery, you know, it really does look like the emotion's the cause. But hold on, we, we've been exposed to emotion too. Not as much as they were. They refined the stuff here. Oh, looks like it's secured to the building with a safety cable. Then let's get in there and cut this thing loose. Look, there's the cable. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's cut it loose! That did it! Good to go! Come on! Let's get out of here! Let's go before those things catch up with us! Marcus, come here! This is Dizzy! What the? Did he escape? Dizzy, go ahead. We're on our way back with the fuel. He better hold off! Queen Mira just showed up with her war beetle! We're under attack! 
Oh, shit! We see her, Diz. Just keep down and head to the roof. That bitch is definitely following us. Hey, the Queen's pulling out! Then let's get over there and help Dizzy! Okay, we're clear! Now let's hope Griffin keeps his word. Oh, he bloody well better. Look, Dizzy, hold off the Queen's guard until we get there. He survived worse, like Scourge. But if anything happens to him, Griffin won't be so fucking lucky. Okay, Griffin, we got your goddamn fuel. We're done. You're done? They're fucking dead! My people are all dead! We survived hammer strikes, the grubs, the whole damn war, and then you show up and I lose fucking everybody! You fucking cod bastards! Everywhere you go, everything you do, it's always nothing but death, pain, and miseries, you piece of shit motherfucker! I just lost my fucking brother, alright? You hear that? My brother! You, and your tower, and all this fucking emulsion, can go to hell! We'll settle this shit another time, Phoenix. You can count on that, bitch. Come on, let's get this fuel to the truck. We've got a submarine to find. Marcus Phoenix seems to be as persistent as his father, and just as predictable. If he lives, our entire species dies. Make sure that his touching little mission ends here. Here we go! all ain't rusted the hell like that one. Let's try the next hangar. This submarine's something we can't miss, right, Diz? Yeah, you ain't gonna trip over it. Just keep looking. What the hell's that white stuff everywhere? Spider webs? Never seen webs like that before. It doesn't look like spiders to me. Oh, I'm sure we'll find out what made them soon enough. Dizzy, how are the five of us going to operate a submarine? That's what I'm for, man. <laughs>
So, Hoffman was right. One submarine. Yeah, and she's still in one piece. Let's look her over. Man, is that it? I thought we had subs the length of a thrash ball field. But this is just what we need, sir. A small one's gonna be a lot easier to sneak into Azura. You see? Size ain't everything. Don't you mind dizzy none, sweetheart. Just gonna look you over and uh, see what kind of shape you're in. Didn't special ops use these in the pendulum wars? Sure, I know, but she's real handy for the job. <sighs> Marcus, this lady's gonna need some parts. See this rotor? Crack clean through. And then there's the fuel. She's empty. Okay, time to look for the goods then. So. Well, that'll get us to Azura. Looks like the hangar's pulley system runs out to the dock. Dizzy, you operate the hangar doors. We'll take care of any resistance along the way. All right, let's see what's behind door number two. Suggesting it's not gonna be a wide assortment of cash and prizes. Okay, Diz, open the second set of doors. We got Queen's guards in here with us! Yeah, over here too! We need to clear them out before we go open the next door! Okay, this, this should be the last set of doors. Get ready to bring the sub through. I'm guessing the locals are gonna have a big send-off for us. Shit, somebody upgraded. Armored characters! Okay, flood the dock, and then everybody into the boat. Sound right. You got trouble? We're heading for Azura now. We'll rendezvous with you outside the Maelstrom. Might take us some time. Oh yeah, we'll be there with some backup too. Watch your six, Cole. Anya out. Oh, come on! You better call Anya back. You call her back. Bad. Get out of their war. Start fighting for yourself. This is pointless. All right, new plan. Don't worry, Anya. I'll break into them. No, you won't. I'll tell them. What are we doing up here? Follow me downstairs to the restaurant. We need to find a gas line. I hope you know what you're doing, Lieutenant. Do you have any idea what you're doing? No, not really. All right, come on. Come on. Come on, let's go. This is the plan? All right, save it, Paddock. Let's go. Perfect. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at her go! 
Let's go, the left car! Shoot the hooks! Just a little bit more! Now to find out how seaworthy this hunk of rust really is. Someone here knows how to steer a ship, right? We're gonna kill the Locust, all of them, for good. That's what's at stake. This planet's ruined. Let the grubs have it. We've all lost people. All of us. You wanna know what happened to Sophia? Kidnapped while she was out on patrol. I watched it happen through my scope. I was only able to kill one of them. He dropped these. You wanna stay friends? Let's never see each other again. Day, I almost wanted to call you sir. <laughs> yeah. Day's not over yet. Let's go find Marcus and Dom. Hmm. Their turn to save the day. <laughs> Thanks, Cole. My pleasure, sir. Shipwrecks. 
You will never, ever catch me in one of these again. You hear me? Okay, Dizzy. Take her up. What the hell? Those bastards, they've killed the civvies. So the government ship people out here? <sighs> nice of Prescott to keep us in the loop. Yeah, the important folks were worth saving. Well, we weren't. Didn't save them, though, did it? Okay, let's move. Dizzy, when we're clear, get out of the cave and stand by. The sub might be our only way out. Dizzy, take her down. We're gonna hook up again. See you later. Damn it, the trains blocked the tunnel. Where the hell are we gonna go now? Anya, is there a way around this? Anya to Cole. Anya to Cole, over. The radio screwed until we shut down the maelstrom. Well, I'll keep the channel open anyway. Anya! Anya, is that you? This is Adam Phoenix. Can you hear me? Professor! Yes, we hear you. Ah, oh, thank God. Prescott found you. Can you see the security camera? Yes. Can you see us, Professor? Anya? Oh, you've changed. Where's Marcus? Did Marcus make it? Dad, I'm here. We've come to get you out. It's good to see you again. Is Dom with you? Wait, how did you get that scar? Later, Dad. Where are you? I'm locked in my laboratory in the hotel tower. I need you to get me out so I can deploy the countermeasure. I'm running out of time, Marcus. We'll deal with the grubs, Dad. Hang in there. No, I mean the emulsion, the lambent organism. It's about to reach a critical stage in its life cycle. I've got to destroy it before it matures and wipes out all life on Sarah. You lost me at life cycle. It's not a fuel, Marcus. It's a living organism. It's turning everything lambent, including us. It's a parasite. So you can kill it? Yes, that's it, exactly. Mira wants me to adapt the countermeasure to kill it without harming the locust. But there's no time left for that. We need to shut down the maelstrom first to land reinforcements. Where do we go? There's a train that'll take you straight to the facility. Yeah, we've got a problem with that. The tunnel's blocked. We need to bypass it. There should be a maintenance tunnel alongside it. I can open the door for you from here. Get to the beach, and you'll be able to see the tower from there. Dad, try opening it. We're in. the rail track. We need to find a way up to the top of the cliff. There's an elevator at the back. Okay, I see it. Support staff. And this bloody facility has been here all these years. And do not disturb our With guests. all the scientists. Thank you. No wonder they disappeared. We thought they'd been killed. Yeah, we did, didn't we? There it is. I wonder how many years it took the government to build it. And when they were planning on sharing it with the rest of us. Oh. 
the generator room. Any advice, Dad? You'll need to throw three switches. That shuts down the whole generator by stages. But there'll be locusts in there waiting for you, Marcus. Fine by me. Dad, I'm sorry. I should have saved you from all this. Dad, I tried. Don't, Marcus, please. I'm the one who needs some forgiveness. I've cost you everything. I can see it. Oh. He's gone, Dad. Dom's gone. Marcus, I wish I could bring him back. But all I can do is... Make sure you all have a future. I won't fail you this time. I promise. still working what happened well we shot the damn thing down is there some other power supply the locust must have a backup supply somewhere else ah shit that could take hours to find cut off the coolant that'll take the generators offline but it'll cause one hell of an explosion well that works for me come on let's find the valves marcus you're gonna have to get out of there fast don't worry dad we will Okay, Dad, stand by. Wow, look at that. Instant summer. Anya to Cole. Baird? Anyone receiving? Hey, we heard that explosion five clicks out. Having fun? Baird, where are you? We in bail, baby! The Navy's here! Whoa! Bloody hell. They found the UIR. It's a Garazni ship. Yeah, we have a reunion with our old Indy buddies, baby. Time for a burst of a party. You ready to roll? Whoa! Yeah, let's do it.
You know, I was expecting bouquets, a band, maybe, something. Mm -hmm. Hey, where's Dom and Dizzy? Dizzy's taking the submarine offshore. Dom... Dom didn't make it. Oh, oh fuck no. Somebody's gonna pay. Somebody's gonna fucking pay! He got us this far. Let's finish it. Sam, Jace, get back to the ship and help him out. They need intel on where to land the troops. But Marcus, you need us here with you. We... It's not negotiable, people. Ship out. Hey, uh, Sam. Take care of yourself, okay? Yeah. You too, Ben. Okay, we're heading for the main tower. This is where it ends, one way or another. So you got Jack running again, huh? Nice job. We're gonna need him. Yeah. He's got a few new tricks to show you, too. Don't tip the bellhop. Got him. The future of Sarah rests with you. When the oh, world the hell is he selling? Our most valued citizens will rebuild humanity. Azura was a bunker for the Cog's elite, so they could hide until the war was over. The last war. Research staff? Hard to say. I can't tell whether their coats were white or not. This is the last cog base the grubs would find. It makes sense to evacuate your key scientists here. Like Prescott evacuated your father? Yeah, maybe. Dad, it looks like they've killed everyone. I think I was the only human they needed alive. 
Marcus, I can explain about Mira. Dad, it can wait. Where are we? You're near the hydroelectric dam. You've still got some way to go to reach the tower. Okay, Dad, we're coming. Once we get you out, what do we need to do to activate your weapon? I've got the command keys here. That's all I need to trigger it. Professor, this is Damon Baird. How does this thing work? Ah, Baird, yes. Prescott mentioned you. Think of it as a neutron bomb without the blast. This One that good. only kills lambent cells. In all of us. Alrighty then. Looking forward to that. Phoenix to all call signs. You're clear to land. Let's get rid of this thing. That's the last one. Ah, oh, shit. Phoenix to Trescu. Stocks have shown up. You got a visual on us? They're appearing everywhere, Phoenix. Stand by. We are diverting a raven to your position. Just get your father's weapon deployed and finish this. Okay, run! Get to the building now! Marcus. Can I, uh, can I ask how, um, the bomb works? Did my father tell you that? No. Dom. I just want to know. Let's just get through this first. Will you look at this place? I really thought I knew Prescott. It makes me sick to think he had this trillion dollar panic room all those years while we were starving and dying. But he stayed with us all that time. I don't get it. So the professor says we're all infected with this lambent shit? Everything and everyone. Emulsion's a parasitic life form. God damn. The friggin' miracle fuel's alive. Can he really kill it all? Hey, we came all this way for Marcus's dad. Show some goddamn faith. Well, at least I'll die knowing I guessed right. You're not gonna die, Baird. Nobody else is gonna die. Has your dad tested this bomb thing, Marcus? Can we kill this goddamn noise? Okay, Faith. Yeah, got it. We're here. Just working out how to bypass this firefight. I can hear it, Marcus. And Mira's tracking you. Watch your back. Yeah, she's been on our asses the whole way. Stand by.
That's the last of them. Dad, we're on our way up. Come on, get inside and barricade the doors. Look, if we've all got a dose of this glowy emulsion, isn't your dad's bomb or whatever going to affect us too? You know, fatally? You think he'd risk that? It will work. Don't worry. And trust me, Corporal Baird, I've tested it. Lock the door! Come on, quick! That won't stop a stock. It'll just piss off the drudges for a few minutes. Well, that'll have to do. Dad, we're in. The laminate are right behind us. Where's your lab? On the top floor. Watch out for Queen Mira, Marcus. She's desperate. Dad, what's Mira up to? In your message, you said she doesn't realize you can't save the Locust. This is the last stand for the Locust, too, Marcus. My device will kill the emulsion, but it'll harm the Locust, too. I'm not seeing the downside here. I needed more time. Just like E-Day. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Hold on. E-Day? What the hell is he talking about? I'm not sure we want to know. Ah, shit. Bear, fix this. Marcus, I'm responsible for so many deaths. This is where I can put some things right. You didn't start this war. You're ending it. <laughs> there was a time when I thought I could talk our way out of it. Uh, what happens when you set off your glowy killer, Professor? Are we gonna feel anything? That depends on how far the emulsion has colonized your cells, Damon. Do you have a fever? Intense muscle pain? No. Then you'll be fine. Or not so fine, maybe. God damn it, Jack! Where are those elevators? Taking the old It'll be slow going up, too. I'm just saying. Floors below you. I can hear the locusts right outside my door. They're waiting for you. I won't disappoint you. Father, and you 
wanted 20 years to deal with a man. He will... God damn, my ass told me to wear that! Okay, run! Head for the stairs! Listen to me, Marcus Phoenix! I will not let my people die! We have a right to live! A right to this world! Your father must complete his task! Well, that's one thing we agree on! Hey, look up there! Splat! You wanna bring down the roof? No, no, just the counterweight. See the cables? Good call. Come on, they've got me anchored nearby. We'll make the building unstable! Beats being roasted. Still outside your lab? Yes, they'll be covering the elevators too. Find another route. There's a service hatch in the shaft somewhere. We're looking. Jack, slow the lift. That's it, Jack. Stop the lift. Okay, I really need to know what Mira was yapping about. She knew your dad before E-Day? How? I mean, she looks human. Did she join the Locust Country Club for shits and giggles or something? The bitch was just jerking his chain, Baird. Maybe not. Dad, we're heading back.
Marcus, Anya, it's good to see you again. I never thought I would. I'm so sorry about Dom. Hard to know where to begin, Dad. Yes. I always wondered what I'd say to you if I ever saw you again. But we always run out of time. Just my insurance. It won't work without command keys. The same failsafe I designed into the Hammer of Dawn. I'm an old hand at mass destruction, aren't I? I've had years to think things over, Marcus. You and Anya, all of you, live your lives to the fullest when this is over. Promise me you'll all do that. No regrets, no looking back. Yeah, sure, Dad. We better get going. If the emulsion hadn't reached a critical stage, I might have found a way to save the Locust as well. And they could have gone back underground. Tell me you don't feel sorry for them. Responsible, not sorry. It's my fault they're here, Marcus. I failed to stop the emulsion spreading all those years ago. It drove the Locust out of their warrens. I tried to persuade Mira to keep her people underground, but they couldn't. So then... Wait, wait, wait. Did I hear right? The government knew E-Day was coming, and none of you bothered to warn us? No, just me. Even Prescott didn't know. Not until much later. I had so many ideas. Just too little time. Dad, stop this. Come on. Whoa. What else don't we know? You're a scientific man. Look at this later and try to understand what I wanted to do and what I had to do. Yo, less talking, more walking.
Myself with it to accelerate things. Oh uh, we saw what it did to humans and mercy. This tower's too unstable now. I'm sorry, Marcus. I'm not going to make it. It's okay. I'll carry you. Marcus, the emulsion developed faster in me because I forced it to. I had to find out how it reproduced. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. No. You are not going to die. It's too late, Marcus. Every cell in my body's breaking down. And this is going to happen to every contaminated cell on Seraph. It has to. No, goddammit, I can't lose you again. I'm glad I was able to see you again, Marcus. Now go and live for me. And immoral, even now. Is that what you think? Your father always thought he had all the answers. But he had none. Nothing but clever ways to kill. The Hammer of Dawn. Jacinto. And now, this. And his arrow. Finally killed him. Feel that. Oh. Oh. That 
shots from Dom. And everyone else you killed, you bitch. <sighs> Whatever it takes, I'm here. What's left on them? What have we got left now? Tomorrow, Marcus. We finally got it tomorrow. And we're back. Finally today, in New Ephira, First Minister Jin commemorated the 25th anniversary of the end of the Locust War. Today, we are humbled by the presence of two generations of men and women who braved every danger, who fought the battles that made us what we are, including the most pivotal encounter of the Pendulum Wars, 
Ashbow Fields. Santiago! I'll spare you the inspirational speech, Private. You know what to do. Yes, sir. All right, let's do this. Then raid the lab. Command wants the hammer of dawn. Command gets the hammer of dawn. All right. Let's move. Move it, gears. We're only going to get one shot to extract those plans. Once we take down the comm towers, this entire base is cut off. Yes, sir. Leader, green one. Approaching bonfire. Roger that, green one. And sweet hell, these are dumb cold things. Okay, plan a charge on that tower. Charge planted. Cleaner, our match is lit. Roger that. We're lighting our bonfire in three, two, one. Yes, sir. The lab's just beyond that security gate. Push up! Now get a frag in there! Fire in the hole! Nice! Now get through that door! And don't mind the mess. You two, you have the security codes. Override that gate. And with that, this raid is officially underway. Let's go. All right, you know the drill. Eliminate the guards, get inside the lab, grab the plans. Then we ghost. So what does this Hammer of Dawn thing do? It wins the war. And if we do our job right, every system here is wiped, and the indie scientists get an offer they can't refuse. All right, we're in. Let's go. Go for it. Got it. Ah. 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 Lab secure, Major. I have eyes, Private. Now let's get those plans. Step aside, Private. Looks like these indie scientists aren't too eager to meet us. Bruce! Be a deer and rip this door! Gears, listen up. If we're not out in ten minutes, abort mission and get the hell out of here. Okay, Santiago, time to meet our new friends. Right behind you, Major.
Uh, control, be advised. Divert the Colonel's convoy. Sorry, Corporal. We're almost there. Negative, negative, Control. The House of Sovereigns is a red zone. Corporal Kim, this whole city's a red zone. Understood, Control. Come on, Gears. Colonel Hoffman's convoy is gonna need protection. Corporal, we're coming in hot! Almost there, Control! Oh, shit! That's the convoy! Look out! Look out! Pull those goddamn things! What the hell is even happening? Congratulations, you're it. Uh, Colonel, we need to get inside. Now. I've got the code for the door, Colonel. Well, good for you, son. Hold these stairs with that hammer. I'll be back when I can. Oh, man! This is bad! All right, you heard the corporal. Don't let him inside! He's coming right at us! Use the hammer! Oh shit! Look out! Push them back! Push them back! We need some goddamn reinforcements! It's not gonna happen! Keep fighting! Let's go! Who's up there? Look in your face! They're coming! Gears, I'm sorry, but the Hammer of Dawn just went offline. By nightfall, hundreds of thousands were dead. Emergence Day had earned its name. Like many of you, I was only a child then. It was a dark, terrible time. And our victory was in no way assured. medics, but we need everyone on that wall, now! Get that soldier back on his feet! I know you're medics, but we need everyone on that wall, now! Get that soldier back on his feet! You're good to go. All right, Gears, get up that ladder. What Oi, happened? Come on up! Where the hell am I? Shane saw your way out! Get on that wall! God damn it, they keep coming! 
I wish Sergeant Phoenix could be with us here today. Stop and think about the men and women whose sacrifices guaranteed our survival. Thanks to them, we fought through the long twilight. We built a new prosperity. The world the new cog has ensured knows no war, no suffering. It's a world of safety, of family. A world, finally, at peace. Hey, you coming? Just give me a sec. For a butterfly? Yeah, look. You know how this little guy starts out? Trying to stay alive. <laughs> True. But if it survives, and most don't, it finds a way to change. The little larva becomes a chrysalis. Inside, it destroys and rebuilds itself, changing its color, its shape, it gets wings, claws. It slashes its way out of its cage, and then... And then it's new and beautiful. You shouldn't have come. Save your breath, JD. That one, <laughs> she's a mother's daughter. She really is. I really am. We used to protect Cox settlements. Now we're about to raid one. Is that ironic? Technically, no. <laughs> Raiding is what outsiders do. Until you two showed up. Now, pff, boring. Better bored than dead, old man. There's a difference. Huh, no alarm. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're not gonna be bored. Dead, on the other hand. That's not the security alarm. Shit, wind flare! We can take cover inside the settlement! To the wagon, all of you! Go! Get down! 
be okay here! Oh yeah? The fire okay! Not immediately dead! You know we don't need you, right? Raina told Dell and me to do this, not you. Sorry, smart guy. Where she goes, I go. I don't need a babysitter, Uncle. Then call me a chaperone. How about I call you hungover? <laughs> oh, you got some chuff, boy, don't you? Uncle, you're obviously hungover. Actually, I'm still a little drunk. Cox settlements are built from the inside out, which means the fabricator's in the construction hub at the center of town. We grab it, we leave. You can count on a lot of security DBs in there. There hasn't been an outsider raid in six months. We'll have the element of surprise. You can't surprise a robot, my guy. We used to command DBs, remember? Oh, yeah. Like a settlement, too. Hey, that wasn't their fault. You got bigger problems than stubbornness, young one. Okay, there's the construction hub. Just gotta figure out a way to get there. Well, our only way in is down. Let's go. Two weeks ago, there was nothing here. And already they're building up the outer ring. Well, they're not worried about raids. So it probably speeds things up. You know, the deeper we go towards the center, the more DBs we'll have up our asses. Which is exactly why Dell and I should be doing this alone. If we get caught, we can reason the jet. I did 15 years in the cog. Highly decorated. Maybe I'd like to discuss with Jin this so-called war you say she was going to start. Or our other option, not getting caught. Well, that explains how they're building so fast. Good thing that was a builder and not a watcher. Oscar will be fine. I think I know how to avoid watchers. Ah, oh, shit. Shepherds will escort you from the premises. Let me handle this. Citizen, you are not authorized. No citizens here. Really? What? Citizen implies we claim allegiance to a centralized authority. I think of myself as part of an anarcho collective. Citizen, your act of violence has been noted. All right, I guess we're doing this the old way. Cease and desist immediately. I don't think so. That to happen. Great. So they know we're here, smart guy. What now? Now? New plan. We fight our way to the fabricator. Oh, run away! What's it like being on the other side of these bombs? Miss your old friends? Oh. Engaging with Alright. 
right, that's all of them. Anyone see a way out of here? I see a security gate. A locked security gate. All right, hold up. Let me think for a second. Whoa! JD, did you do that? Uh, that wasn't me. Hmm. You sure you two aren't COG spies? Uncle, please. You think the COG invented me? You say they didn't? Well, even if you are spies, at least we didn't have to teach you how to fight. Yeah, what is the deal with you outsiders? Most of Raina's people couldn't fight their way out of bed. Oh, you don't want Uncle teaching anyone. He taught me to fight. He's lucky I still speak to him. Hey! I was very supportive. That's one way to describe it. Not an accurate way, but a way. Look, the construction hub's just over that wall. Unless it magically lowers! Nope, we need a way around. I don't get it. All the raids stopped, at my mother's order. This is a lot of security. Wait, you're not having fun? Okay, let's just look around and see if we can find a way through. Let's go through the maternity annex. Do we have to? What? What is it? Just all the baby stuff. You got an issue with babies? No, I have an issue with being told I need to have one. Best thing my mother did was raise me away from all this. Yeah, but well, to be fair, we do need to repopulate. Oh yeah? Where do I sign up? Ew. There's a construction hub. They're following regs, and they always follow regs. <laughs> right? The fabricator's inside. And that maintenance access? is our way in. So what are we waiting for? Let's get to that access door. Oh, look at that. Cog deactivated our access codes. Well, we are enemies of the state. What? Come on. Cog didn't teach you how to hack a simple access lock? Get out of the way. Excuse me. Look, that's state-of-the-art car technology. I don't think... Oh, okay. You two go get that fabricator! We'll watch the door! I'm going to. Oh, no, you're not! It's safer out here! The door's closing, young one! Okay? God damn it! Let's get this heist underway. Yep, our fabricator should be down in one of the storage bays. Well, technically, it's their fabricator. Okay, welcome to cart control. Let's call up the lift and get started. Are all the construction hubs this big? Yeah, exactly this big, exactly this shape, exactly this layout. All right, now we go to the storage base. Uh, Del, you get us there. Kate, come with me. On it. Have fun down there, you two. We're aboard. Now send us down. Hey, is, uh, is there a problem? No, no, no. Just figuring out these controls. Ah, here we go. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of DBs. Hey, uh, let's, uh, let's keep things moving, all right? Yeah, I'm trying. Look at these controls are confusing as hell. Uh-oh. Now what? Tell, what the hell are you doing? I'm sorry! The system locked me out! I cut the power to sneak back in! Do you control this lift or not? Yes! Kind of! Remind me to let you handle the controls next time, okay? I heard that! Hey, 
Hey, help me carry this thing. All right, it's loaded. Dell, get this thing moving. You got it. Can't wait to get this thing home and fix the power. Even though reading by candlelight was kind of nice. That might be the dorkiest thing you say today, but probably not. and fix it. Shepard's incoming! Engage target to the top of the board! Down! Close fight. the security doors! I'm trying! It says no access! Get you back down. Yeah. yeah. That'd, that'd be nice. All right, let's get out of here. Come on, help me with this fabricator. Hey, help me carry this thing. Hey, you remember what you told Rain about getting a fabricator, JD? Oh, please, remind me. In and out. Simple job. Direct quotes. That uh, means it can only get easier from here, right? Get back to Oscar. It's gonna be very, very... Oscar, we got the fabricate. Ter... Uh, hi. Lieutenant, you've been busy. First Minister Jin, you're looking... magnetic. Enough foolishness. You're coming with us. Those are new. And they're armed. They are. And here's what's interesting. Unlike you two, they actually follow orders. What is this? You looking for a repeat of Settlement 2? A highly successful operation. It's now our most compliant settlement. Look, our village hasn't had power in weeks. We need this fabricator. I don't care about the goddamn fabricator. You're taking my people. What? Don't forget, I know what you were trained to do. Uh, bye? What the hell was she talking about? No clue. But we need to get out of here. Uh, that's mysteriously convenient. Sorry I left you here. It's okay. Turns out it was safer inside. Hey, smart guy. We're really getting into that thing? We are, but feel free to stay if you like. Fabricator, we'll take care of our new friends. Oscar, you and Dell carry the fabricator. Kate and I got point. Okay, let's get one thing straight. When you came out, I was about to make my big play against Jin. So you really didn't save me, per se. Yeah, Oscar, it's fascinating. Anyone see a way what out of here? What is that? Oh, shit! 
Shit! They're smashing through the wall! Okay, that's all of them. This raid was a bad idea. Feels like we just started a war. You heard what Jin said. Whatever this is about, it's not raids. We need to get back. Talk to Reyna. Yeah, because if there's one thing my mom loves talking about, it's the cog. All right, come on, let's keep moving. All the loyalty I ever had to the cogs has been punched out of me. Still, breaks my heart watching Jin rely on a bunch of glorified tin men. You could always re-enlist. A couple of spots recently opened up in the officer corps. No thanks. I'm more of a shoot than salute kind of guy. Well, now we use that crane to lower us a path out of here. Easy. Easy, huh? There are no controls. Done. Okay. Let's go! More TV sector! I gotta admit, Runaways, you did pretty good back there. <laughs> pretty good? Oh, so sorry. I meant magnificent. Oh, I've never seen such spectacular feats of combat. All right, all right. No need to be a dick about it. <laughs> Glad you're safe, Ugly. Your friend, Jin? She's not the type to give up. You're right about that. Oscar, come on, we gotta go. Sorry, hot shot. I drive. Fine. You drive. Look, I need you watching our backs. You're a better shot than I am. Huh. Really? No. I'm just trying to make you feel better. <laughs> yeah! You're safe. I was just about to head to Settlement 5 myself. We, uh, we had a few snacks. What happened? The short version? The cog is on his way. How long do we have? I'll greet our guest. First Minister. Reyna, I'm here for my people. Stand aside. You're out of your jurisdiction, First Minister. So, here's what happens next. Anyone who resists Cog Justice will be dealt with. Like Settlement 2? That's your choice. You're forgetting one thing. Oh? And what's that? This isn't Settlement 2. Okay. Good meeting. Oh, it's not over. You two, grab the fabricator and follow me. Carmine! To secure the hall with the fabricator. Let's go. You! Make sure we have enough burn gel in the infirmary. Excuse me, ma'am, but burn gel won't help. The DBs are armed with more than shock rifles now. Wait, Jin's using lethal force? Oh shit. Get everyone inside the meeting hall, now! William, evacuate the school. Make sure no little ones are left behind. Secure the power station. Nice shot, kid. Reyna, the wall guns are ready. Carmine, get back up there. 
The cog's almost here. Deploy the fabricator. Go and barricade the hall. Hey, what's the count? Everyone's here, except for Mackenzie and Eli. They're fine. They're trading with the South Village. Lock it up. Kate! Is the cog really coming to take us away? Yeah, sweetie. They are. But you'll be safe in there. I promise. All right, William. Lock it up! So? We're good here. Everyone's accounted for. Your first minister is fond of the grand gesture. Yeah, she doesn't do subtle. Well, neither do I. Defend this door, and let's show her exactly what happens when you attack outsiders. Okay, get on that fabricator and build some defenses. There's a dropship! Here we go! Watchers, too? Hey! They have another way up! Guardian down! That's it! We held those damn DBs back! Again! You know it's gonna get worse. Everyone, fix what you can, replace what you can't. Fast! You go ahead, young ones. I I'll check the door. You losing your edge? Never! I got past the DBs at Settlement 5, didn't I? Not a scratch. You were bleeding when you came back. I cut myself. Shaving. Mom! They destroyed the archive! I saw. We have backups. Of the data, not the books. The ones that Dad salvaged after Jacinto. Hey! Everyone, get ready! DB Shepard and Lloyd. Unlawful citizens identified. Don't let him up here! Hey, that's the last of them! Good job, young ones! <laughs> JD, incoming wind flare. Oh boy. You promised me you could steal that fabricator without provoking Jin. Ma'am, were you listening? This has nothing to do with a the fabricator. Then what did you do? Jin accused us of taking her people. Yeah, whatever that means. I told you, both of you, don't make me regret taking you in. Mom, you know she's lying. Since when do we care what the cog thinks? When it leads to war. You three. Get the fabricator to the power station and install the inverter. You realize Jin's coming back, right? We need to leave, now. Get the power back on. Fine, whatever you want. You, when more cogs show up, sound the alarm. Yes, ma'am. Hey, you always said this day would come. Which is why we stick to the plan.
Hey, man, can we speed this up? Rain is mad enough as it is. Yeah, I know. It just keeps crapping out. This thing's been through a lot today. Yeah, well, it can join the club. It's almost done. Okay, JD, get on that switch. Okay, fire it up. <laughs> Look at you. Uh, guys? Come on, a minute. You lost faith in me for a second. Did you touch something? What? Something's out there. Come on. Mom? Mom! Hey, listen. You need to hide, and then you need to run. What are you doing? Hey, you have to run! Guys, that sounded like there were dozens of them. Hundreds, like a... like a swarm. What the hell, man? No idea where those things went. Look, Jin can help us. Jin is trying to kill us. Kate, listen. Hey, you're not gonna be happy about this, but I know who should see that crystal shit. Jin has people that can handle this. Look, you know as well as I do. Del, no. That he can help. Who's Del talking about? Hey. Can he help or not? <sighs> yeah, he can. The question is, will he? Yeah.
said he'd be home. He's home. He's always home. That house looks abandoned. Because that's not where he lives. Follow me. He gets like that sometimes. You're about to find out why. Terrific. Thought he was gonna fix the place up. That was the plan, 15 years ago. So, you grew up here? I was born here. I grew up in boarding school. Was it always like this? No, it wasn't. I got a lot of happy memories of this place. Wish I could say the same. So how was he able to get permission to live outside a settlement? Easy. Who was gonna tell him no? Welcome home, James. How'd you know we were here? Huh. That's new. Not that new. Dad, we need your help. I'm all done helping you. But this time I'm not running from the cog. Dell, you win this too? Waist deep. <sighs> you were supposed to keep him out of trouble. Now you know that's not possible. <sighs> I'd introduce myself, but you'll be leaving soon. JD, show him. Show me what? Our village was attacked. And my mother was taken. Taken? Along with all our friends. Dad, you should look at this. No, you look. I warned you not to join the COG. What did you do? Dad. I told you, don't go outside here. The COG will hunt you down again. What did you do? Just shut up and look. Shit. Uh, guys? Thought you said you weren't running from the cog. Yeah, that wasn't completely accurate. God damn it, James! Ah, uh, Lieutenant. Time to finish our earlier conversation. Jin, listen, you, you have no idea what's actually happening here. Oh, but I do. Sedition. Led by one James Dominic Phoenix, the son of a famously disgruntled old gear. Speaking of which... Sergeant, how are you? Sorry about the door. Don't sweat it. We were just leaving. So we're clear, Sergeant. If you choose to aid these fugitives, I can't protect you. Yeah, that sounds about right. Son of a... People, Marcus. Just head for the back door. Shit. We're dealing with this first. Sniper up high. Ready to assist. These are Jin's new toys. Yeah, we've been playing with them all day. Come on, follow me upstairs. Wait, what's upstairs? Family heirlooms. Oh, now which damn book is it? These are my kind of family heirlooms. You kept our armor. I knew you'd be back. Probably with your ass on fire. Yeah. 
Let me get that. Kinda feels like I'm wearing a door. Good. It's supposed to. Didn't get your name. Kate. Well, take good care of that armor, Kate. Uh, it belonged to my mother. Oh, what's that? Just calling in a favor. Speaking of favors, you probably want this back. Thanks, Del. All right. Time to introduce the new cog to the old cog. And clear these bucket heads out of my house. Cog is still after us, your truck just blew up, and the house is on fire. Is there a plan B? Yeah, there's a plan B, but it's down in the cellar. Grab some ammo and let's get out of here. Clear them out. We gotta get to the cellar. Potential hostile target spotted. Rock out! Cease and desist. Uh, All hostile destroyed. This place is coming down! Downstairs! Go! <coughs> Get to the cellar! Oh, that was close. Dad, what are we doing? This is a dead end. Not anymore. Build an escape tunnel out of your own house. Just follow me. Why the hell did you build this? For emergencies. I'd say this counts. Now, yeah, well, you could have finally fixed up the outside instead. A lot of good that would have done now. Guys, stop it. How about we talk about, well, I don't know, the monsters that just ran off with all our friends? As soon as we get out of here, we'll deal with that. Now, oh, come on. Holy shit. As I said, welcome home. There's a drop ship! Shit, they're gonna mess up my fucking tomatoes! Ugh. Fire it! Spot <laughs> destroyed! They must be getting hostile targets. Come on, let's keep moving. Oh no. We got a wind flare coming in. Everyone, back to the greenhouse. Now! No! The barrel shed is better shelter. We're almost there. All right, get inside! 
Get on the other side. Burst my tomatoes, now this! Dad, this wind flare's not letting up. We gotta move. No! We hunkered down here! Wait it out! But isn't this building a little... wooden? It'll hold! Are you sure about that? It'll hold! I remember when DBs were just glorified garbage collectors. I said my piece when the Shepherds went online. It didn't help. Heads up! More DBs! Many of these bots does Jin have anyway? You really want to know? Thousands. Then it's gonna be a long night. See that windmill? That's where we're headed. I thought we were going to a barn. We are. They're right next to each other. Is this your family's estate, Marcus? No. It belonged to my late wife's family. Mom loved it here. I'm just glad she didn't have to see any of this. That makes two of us. Come on, we're almost there. I forgot how big this place was. Yeah, well, it's getting smaller by the moment. Hey, you hear that? Kestrel! <laughs> Having fun, James? Sure, why? Aren't you? Oh, it's always good to see you. These two always like this? <laughs> it's usually more yelling. Keep pushing to that barn. What's in the barn, Dad? A couple of mules. <laughs> oh, this ought to be good. Jen's got us surrounded. Now what? Let's divide their fire. James, which side do you want? We'll take right. Kate, Dell, you take left. We're on it. Get to that barn! Need some 
some help here. Plan. They're still on us! Yeah, James, I noticed. Just drive! What the hell is that? Jen's overreaction! It's called a vulture! Sexy, right? James, watch those firebombs! Dad, where are we going? Fort Braval! The historical site? There's nothing there! It's not what's there, it's what's underneath it. Uh, hang on! James, careful, this bike's an antique. Wait, you're worried about the bike? Hey, the vulture's back! Oh, this isn't good! Hang on back there! Here we go! This thing can't take another landing like that! Screw the bike! I can't take another landing like that! Tunnel up ahead! Alright, make her safe! The tunnel's collapsing! That vulture's bombing the mountain! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Watch it! More incendiaries! Got it! We're not done yet! Shoot the guns! The engine core is exposed! Now's our chance! Drop pods! The swarms hold up in that fort? The what? The swarm. That's what we've been calling them. The swarm, huh? Okay. <laughs> no, I don't. We need to get through that fort to the abandoned Osmium mine on the other side. Because... why? Because the Cog dumped a few thousand locust bodies in there after the war. If your swarm's related to the Grubs, we'll find out there. Now let's go. Marcus, this locust burial site, have you been there? Once, 25 years ago, James's mother and I went down to supervise the disposal. By then, the grub's bodies were completely covered in that crystal shit. 
pretty much indestructible. So they sealed him up and walked away. Okay, I gotta know. Do you think the Locusts are back? Don't know yet. That's the one nice thing about being old. You don't have to have an opinion about everything. Wind's picking up. Yeah, nothing to worry about yet, though. Keep your eyes open. Wait. What the hell was that? Oh, I'm sure we'll find out. That didn't sound like an animal. Never said it did. Hey, there's water here. Pretty sure that's how you get dysentery. Let's assume I'll live. Guys, wind flare coming in fast! Head for the fort! Help here. Get inside. Never a dull moment with you kids, huh? Not lately, no. We should be safe in here until that wind flare passes. No one has any dust allergies, right? Uh, what's that? I have no idea. See where it leads. Uh, it's glowing. Uh, through here. What is this? You all right? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm covered in this shit. Well, you're glowing now, so that's good. Come on. Whatever climbed out of that thing went this way. Hey, wait a minute. There's something in there. Cut it open. I'm not sure that's a good idea, Dad. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Oh. Oh, that's nasty. Jin's disappearances. I think we just found them. Oh. They're harvesting us. If this is what happens to people they capture... Oh, God, Mom. Kate, hey, hey, come on. We'll get her back, all right? We need to find that mine. Come on. Huh. More pods? What the hell's going on here? Whatever it is, this ain't Locust. Never seen anything like it. Marcus Phoenix is stumped. That is so not a good sign. On the roof! I told you, stay calm and keep moving.
who's gonna help us beat these things? Get my mom back! Now what the hell do we do? That, that, that thing, I, I, I can't believe it. It just, it just swallowed him! Oh! All right, stop! He's gone. But he's not dead. They're taking people and using them. We know that process takes some time. So right now, we go after my dad. We need him. And what if we can't get him back? Then, I guess we're all alone out here. Fuck. OK, so now what? Now we go to where they're taking him. Where's that? The same place he was taking us, that Locust burial site. All right, let's get out of here and track the one that took Dad. Sounds like they're moving deeper into the fort. And so are we. Oh, God. It's another one of those pots. Monsters snatching people, things jumping out of pods. Yeah, and no idea what the hell's going on. <laughs> Glad I'm not the only one. Huh. Oh, shit. Oh. Are you all right? I think so, but there is a lot of that shit down here. Can you get back up? No, you guys calm down, but just, just watch it. Oh man, you weren't kidding. Watch your step. So these pods. The incubators. We're put in. And they come out. We need to find my dad. And soon. Oh, oh I think I got some in my mouth. Oh, how's it taste? How do you think it tastes? Bad, probably, right? It smells terrible. And now it's raining. Perfect. Wait, what was that? Over there, that's the one! Come on, get after it! More of those goddamn things. I think so, yeah. to redefine our definition of clear. Give me a hand with this. So, we follow this snatcher thing. Then what? Then we find my dad, Reyna, and everyone else they snatched. Yeah, okay. But what if it wants us to follow it? And it's making a big mistake. Cogs? Well, the Cog used it as a field hospital. Actual fort is from way before the Cog. Seriously, like kings and wizards days. Kings and wizards? Hey, listen, I'm trying to give you some enriching historical context here.
Let's see what this does. just happened? Take it upgraded! Can we downgrade it? Fire in the hole! These guys are smarter. They're not smarter than us. Not than us, than before. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's all of them. I do not like those guys. Did they just crawl out of an emergence hole? I'd say it's about time we got the hell out of here. Hey! Are we not going to talk about what happened back there? With the nest? I mean, what the hell was that? It looked like they were transforming. Wait, you mean like evolving? But shouldn't that take a lot of time? Well, some insect juveniles can become drones in days. Hours, even. So, juvies and drones. Juvies and drones of what, though? I have a feeling we're going to find out. Uh, graveyard. That's a... It's a good omen. Ah, shit! Another nest! We gotta get a frag in there! Definition. Come on, let's get to the tram station. There it is again. Marcus's radio. So it's close. Come on. Big fella. Easy now. Oh, that's not good. Get in the cover! Watch out for the quill! As if snatchers weren't bad enough. Now we have these pouncer things to worry about? Yeah. The way this night's going? <laughs> it's only gonna get worse. Hey, the longer we wait, the harder that thing's gonna be to track. All right then. Let's see where this leads. Ah, I'm never gonna get used to that. Okay, here we go. Oh, shit! Uh, tram's here. Yeah, well, as long as it still runs, we should be okay. Oh, come on. Seriously? Counterweight's dragging. Go. I got this. Hey, you all right? 
Yeah. No. I'm sorry I got your dad mixed up in this. If I had any idea... It, no, Kate. Any idea that saving my mom and you may be losing... Hey! We haven't lost anyone yet. Can't this thing go any faster? Not with that counterweight dragon. <laughs> counterweight, huh? Wait, wait! No! No, no, no! That was my first and last time on a funicular. Uh, funicu... huh? Funicular. What? It's a word. Let's just find the statue. Marcus said the Locust burial site was inside a mine, right? But we're following the Snatchers up to a museum of all places. Hey, I'm open to suggestions if anyone has a better plan. Nope. Not really, no. All right, then we can... <laughs> Oh, oh, this is stu I hate this. Oh. Snatcher! Over there, by the old barracks! It's probably headed for the high ground, at the fort's key! Okay, so that's where we're going. Again! I thought we were looking for a mine! Ah. How much further to that keep? Not sure, but we'll hit that museum first. Okay. Let's hope it has a strict no pouncers policy. Well, if not, there's always the suggestion box. Oh no, I'm going right to management with a sternly worded letter. JD, up there! Silver drill, after it! <laughs> ah shit! More swarm! We got a turret! <laughs> Museum's clear. Look around. There's got to be a way out. Well, that snatcher climbed up here. Got to be around somewhere. It's like, you know what I keep thinking? Tourists used to come here. Families. That was way before any of us were born. Yeah, but... How just let all these places rot? Stuck everyone behind walls. Well, not everyone. Look, you gotta remember, my dad, Reyna, Oscar, uh, even Jin, they all went through hell together. Places like this just remind them of that. Yeah, and now we get to go through hell too. Okay, Snatcher, where'd you go? Oh shit, it found us! Yeah, you're lucky this gate's between us! Right? It's, uh, it's lucky, right? Definitely found where they're coming from. And where those snatchers are going. So, who's going in first? Hey, JD. I've rock, paper, scissors you for it. Seriously? You're terrible at rock, paper, scissors. Uh, how can someone be terrible at rock, paper, scissors? Easily, because you always pick paper. Do I? Let's do it.
Glad you didn't go best of three. So the plan is still officially follow the Snatcher, right? Yeah. Is there a problem? Other than the fact we don't know where it is or where we're going. Nah, great plan. Hey, there's a Snatcher! Is that the same one? I didn't hear Marcus's radio. Huh? One way to find out. Let's get down there. You know what? In a weird way, pods are a good sign. Means we're on the right track. Even better if this catacomb. Yeah. Hey, where the hell's he going? Probably to get his friends. Yeah, let's just get that gate open. If we're looking for an Osmian mine, why the hell are we down here? We go where the Snatchers go. Maybe these catacombs link up to the mine somehow. <laughs> Maybe. These catacombs have to be hundreds of years old. Yeah, seven, eight hundred years, maybe. So, all the people they buried down here, who were they? Warriors, kings, wizards. I'm not living that one down, am I? Nope. Great right not. Come on, we got another floor to search. Huh, big door. I'm learning to hate big doors. Time to get out of here. We haven't seen a snatcher for a while. Sadell, <laughs> he said kings are buried down here. Well, that guy was definitely king of something. I gotta get through there and follow that snatcher. Yeah, sure. But, uh, how? Hey, there's a hole under this thing! I'll be pushing out of the way! <laughs> hey. Can we not do rock, paper, scissors this time? Or as Dell likes to call it, paper, paper, paper. <laughs> Now where the hell are we? Well, that's an easy one. Lost. Well, we're out of the catacombs at least. Gotta find that snatcher. Ah, oh, good. Camo. Yay! Of course not. In fairy 
tails, you get breadcrumb trails. We get snobbers. Looks like we finally found the mine. And more snatchers. Heading right down into it. So how do we follow them now? Follow. Down there. Yeah, sure, why not? Maybe we use that uh, old ore transport. Looks like an elevator to hell. Well, good. Because that's where we're going. Is that ore transporter safe? When's the last time anyone used it? 25 years ago? They brought all the bodies down? So why bury Locust in an old mine anyway? I heard they couldn't burn the bodies because of the crystallization. Burying them was the only option. Yeah, but the Locust came from underground. Yeah, well, no one said it was a good option. Back in your hole! All right, now time to see if that ore transporter still runs. Let's get up those ladders. Come on, before we lose any more time. Okay, what is it? JD, we have no idea what's down there. We don't even know what these things are. When I run into a burning house, I want to know how bad the fire is. Look, Del, if you're scared... Man, don't talk to me about being scared. Right now, I don't even know what kind of house it is. When you wanted to leave the cog, did I argue? Did I argue? You did not. Because I trusted you. Well, now I need you to trust me. My dad's alive, and he's down there. Okay. How about you? Hey, we've come this far. We're not stopping now. So, Del, you think it'll work? Maybe. I mean, old cocktech was built to last, so it should start? All right, then. So, let's find the control station and fire it up. <laughs> Got it. There we go. We're in business. Yeah, great. We turned on the lights. So why didn't the engine start? Uh, <laughs> good question. Probably out of fuel. Could try switching to the reserve tank. Okay. Where do we do that? Well, it's just across the way on the lower bridge. All right, on it. I'll stay back and fire it up when you're done. Okay, we're good. Start it up. Here goes nothing. And that's it. Now we go. You do remember we're going straight down into a giant hive of monsters, right? I admit, my excitement, and I kind of forgot about it. Monsters? We got a fabricator, right? I said we fortify the control deck. It's defensible, we can cover the breach points. Yeah, whatever. You had me at defensible. Man, no matter what, we're gonna be on a short string on this platform. A short what now? String. My bad. More military talk. Okay, so what's it mean? Oh, it's a suboptimal situation with limited tools at our disposal. Ah, so pretty much the usual. Hey, I need some help! Can't take much more of this. We gotta get this rig moving. So let's restart it! Wait, wait, that's not gonna work. Grinding those tendrils cook the engine. Without cooling it, we're not going anywhere. Great. So now what? We need to find the engine room. Okay, now we're gonna have to activate the cooling system. 
So, guessing the big wheels on the walls, how we do that? I see all those mechanical engineering classes paid off. Hey, get on the other valve! Yeah, here we go. Let's hope this works. Now, we let the coolant do its job. Good, we're moving again. Uh-oh. Hear that? Looks like we're not out of this yet. Come on! Oh, oh shit! We got panthers! This ride sucks. Surprisingly, we're good. Good enough. Then let's find my dad. Okay, this is where those snatchers were going. Let's find out why. So the cog mined Osmium down here. Seems like a big operation. Yeah, Lancer Bayonets used to be coated with Osmium. Well, until they tapped out the mine, that is. Guys, let's head through here. How is there still power down here? These old mines run off geothermal. So as long as there's a planet, there's power. Uh, that's a lot of guns. Huh, shit. They didn't just dump locust bodies. They dumped their weapons down here, too. That's creepy. Let's... let's keep moving. Why would Snatchers carry their prey all the way down here? My guess, they're returning home to their hive. Which means there's a whole lot of ugly down there waiting for us. See that? Over there. Must be the hive. There's more Snatchers, too. Marcus is anywhere. He's in there. Yeah, agreed. Let's get across. Guys, look at this. A locust shell. Still intact, too. Which means we know one thing. Swarm our locust. So I heard locust shells are indestructible? Put it this way. You smash a diamond against those things, the diamond shatters. I know, I know, but remember the crystals I dug out of that monster's hand? They look the same. Something's going on down here. Holy 
shit! Tell me that's not what I think it is! Suppression! Watch it! Another big guy! What the hell's it doing to those drones? Not making it friendly, that's for sure! Head down that tunnel. All this time, the locusts weren't dead. They were cocooned. Transforming. Like what? Evil butterflies? Oh, well, let me know when you come up with a better explanation. How the hell did he get down here? Looks like an outer wild scavenger, maybe. Well, at least he took a few of them with him. Shit, more than a few. Always wanted to try one. is they're dead. The bad news, I kind of wrecked the loader. Let's just move on, shall we? Just had a thought. How the hell is that ore transporter going to get us back up? Why? Because it's currently on fire? Let's destroy that bridge when we come to it, okay? Let's go. Uh, under here. Dad's radio. We must be heading right toward him. Hey, guys, see it. <clears throat> All right, check the pods for my dad. He's going to be in one of the newer ones. Hurry. Snatcher! All right. So which of the pods do we search for Marcus? I don't know. Just start looking. None of these look recent enough. We need a newer one. Okay, Dad. We got you. 
never died, James. Yeah, we figured that out. Kate. Your mother. What about my mother? Yeah. She's alive. And she's not being treated like the others. Not potted. Where is she? Another grub burial site. It's not far. Take me there. Wait. Your people from the village. I felt them, too. For a while. They didn't make it. <sighs> oh, damn it. Oscar. Kate. I'm really... Warning our friends isn't gonna help my mom. All right. What's the plan to get topside? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Marcus, when you were, uh, potted, did you learn anything else? The original Locust? The big ones? They're called Scions. They're in charge. And they're using us to grow an army. So what the hell are we gonna do about it? We'll figure that out later. Right now, finding Kate's mom is our priority. Thank you, Marcus. Okay, back up. I'll clear him out. There! Okay! Incoming Juvie! That's it! We're clear! The loader's hit! No oh, shit! Take out that snatcher! That what? Snatch! It's what we- Ah, oh, forget it! Just shoot the goddamn thing! And, uh, so is the loader. All right, now let's just, uh, find an exit tunnel and work our way back to the ore transporter. You have any problems getting down here? From what I remember, it's a long ride. No, no real problems. We do have a way back up, right? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Hey, Marcus, we passed this guy on the way down. We're almost there. Our ore transporter's up these stairs. This is our way back up? You're coming. Kate, with me. James, we need a plan. Okay, um, fuel tank. Exploded. Control room? Destroyed. Hurry! We fly? Huh? Uh, interesting. Also impossible. Maybe not. Hey! I got a plan! And for the record, I had no input on this plan. Everyone, grab a cable! Shoot! Oh, shit! Ah, see? I told you this would work! This is not a good idea! Clear it out! This might! 
mine shaft's falling apart! No, 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 no! Oh! Oh! Holy shit, that was close! Jumi's incoming! And Jumi's outgoing! Oh, shit! Mommy, whose idea was this again? Hey, it's the one you got. Just shoot the webbing. Got one. We couldn't fly. <coughs> hey, Dad. You okay? Yeah. But listen, before we hit the other hive, we should think about backup. What? You mean Jin? No, a friend. Come on, anyone but him. Calling him in means a slight detour. A detour? What if we detoured on our way to you? Kate, I told you, your mother's- That's right, you'd probably be a puddle of goo right now. Or worse. Oh, come on. <laughs> There's not much worse than a puddle of goo. We're going to get her. Now. Dad, it's her mother. That burial site is twice the size of this one. You've been in her position. Did you wait for backup? be able to see the burial site from here. It's on the other side of the dam. Come on. So, who are the four guys on top of that thing? Uh, no one. They represent the four sources of energy. Water, air, solar, and gas. No emulsion? The dam was built pre-emulsion. Oh, wow, it's that old. There's hardly anything left that's that old. There are still a few things. Look at this. Still got his cog tag. Wonder if his family ever found out what happened to him. You know we can't exactly drop that off in New Ophira. I know, but it's better than leaving it out here. You know, a while back, I looked up how many locust burial sites there actually were, and I got a big old classified. There were dozens of them. Maybe even hundreds. They can't all be infested, right? Well, we're gonna find out, one way or another. All right, that service tower will get us to the dam. Shit, wind flare, coming in fast. Then we gotta move. How much time do we have before that thing hits? Not much. The swarm! Take it out before the wind flare hits. We don't have time for this. Move it! Down to the riverbed! 
mine. I think so. Stormwall passed, but we just lost our way up. There's another service tower up ahead. Follow me. So, is it just me, or does it feel like this entire plan is trying to kill us? Definitely not just you. Last I heard, the cog was blaming the bad weather on holes in the planetary crust. Before that, it was sunspots, then atmospheric distortion. Who the hell knows? Well, look at that. One of Jin's birds went down. Maybe they're salvage. Wow. I bet no one's even been in here since the war. Not even to recover the bodies? After the war, we weren't thinking about the dead. We were dealing with the living. Come on, this way. Here with the cog. What happened? This dam powered the last of the cog's factories. We got here right before it fell. Exfiltration mission. A few dozen gears were trapped inside. So, how'd you get them out? I didn't. Damn, taking a beating from all these wind flares. All right, let's find the maintenance elevator. Should be the quickest way to the top. Sounds like you know your way around. Outsiders live off old batteries. I've raided my share of cog power plants. There's the elevator. Surprise, surprise. No power. Well, if we can charge the main circuit, the auxiliary power should kick in. All we need is a working turbine and a, and a way to spin it. Hmm. Maybe the last one still works? No. Well, the dam's dry, but maybe the wind could spin it. Then let's go. There's our turbine. But it's locked in place. 
Yes, probably what saved it. Why the hell is this turbine stuck? You might want to look at this. The swarm's gunked up the works. We're gonna have to cut through. Ah, Wind's got it. Now we're in business. Let's head back to that elevator. Oh, you're killing me. The elevator still doesn't have power. The old circuits probably couldn't handle the power surge. They need to be reset. And that means splitting up. Generators or operations deck? Which one do you want? Well, your call, James. How about Dad and I take the operations deck? You guys get the generators. So, Kate, what do you need us to do up here? Right now, just cover us while we fire up the first batch of generators. What do the generators look like? Like... giant generators. Oh. One down! Oh, shit. JD, Marcus! Cover us! Closing the breaker. All right, get to those generators. Thanks, just keep us covered. Oh, and you totally got the easy way. Now we head back to the maintenance elevator. By the way, you did well back there. All of you. The cog did at least one thing right, training you two. <clears throat> I was getting to you. Your dad teach you to fight like that? My mom. And my uncle, Oscar. He was an old gear like you. Did the swarm take him? Yeah. Yeah, they did. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, finally! The elevator's powered up. Come on! Alright, next stop, top of the dam. Let's go see what we're up against here. Oh, God. Come on, man. Just come on. Uh, that's not good. Come on. We walk from here. Uh, okay. Looks like we're about halfway up. Let's, uh, let's try not to disturb anything. Shit, now what? Come in! Why would you say that? Carrier! means we have to head outside. Oh yeah, I'm sure the weather will cooperate. Uh, that was sarcasm, by the way. We're going outside. This looks like the place to do it. Doors double locked. Two switches. They're down. There has to be an easier way to get to the top of this dam. Uh, there was. 
It's called the elevator. Oh. Right. Let's get through that door. Come on, it's another double lock. few dozen. At least that's what I was told. Yeah, it seems like there might have been more than that. Mm, wouldn't surprise me. Anything that made the cog look bad, they lied about. Huh. That sounds familiar. Oh, okay. Looks fine. Heads up! We've got swarm behind those chains! <clears throat> Take cover! is trying to kill Get to the top of this dam if it kills us. Hey! You know what I meant. This should do the trick. Well, shit. Hey, what about the turbine? What about the turbine? We take it up. You know, like riding a windmill when you're a kid. Uh, no. I don't know. Watch. meet you. Oh, look at that. No swarm. You think we cleared them out? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, no, probably not. One thing I learned fighting the locust, just because you can't see them doesn't mean they're not around. Let's just get to the top of this thing. <sighs> oh, finally. All right, looks like this one will get us to the top. Come on. What is it? Don't look down. I won't. Seriously, don't look down. OK, do you actually secretly want me to look down? Come on, we're almost there. Let's just get down there. There's another way to do this. You mean get help? She can't wait. Hey, if we don't stop these things, everyone within a thousand miles dies. Not just your mother. Almost everyone I care about is already dead, remember? Yeah, I do. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but... Dad, do you have a way to call him? Not here. You think you can call him from there? Hmm. That could work. Then let's move before this wind flare gets any worse. If your friend can't help, I'm coming back. Alone if I have to. If he can't help, we'll be right beside you. Now we got 
now run a wind flare? If we cross the dam fast enough, we'll beat the storm wall. If there's still a dam left to cross... <laughs> Come on, we gotta keep moving! This way! Ah! This is bad! This is really, really bad! Just keep moving! Come on! We can move from head to head! We got drones! More of them up ahead! And that wind flare is getting worse. I say we wait it out. We can't. We don't know how long the storm will last. Take cover! Watch it! Juvie! Boats, we stay inside for a while. Me. Right here. A power plant with no power. Is that ironic? It sucks, but technically, still no. Could be the power's not being routed here. Then we gotta fix that. If this substation's dark, so is the radio tower we'll need to call back up. Where are we going anyway? Spire. Is that some cog base? No. Town. It's been deserted for decades. Hey, Dad, check this out. Well, that switch should reroute the main feed. Nice. We've got power and so does Spire. Now let's go make that call. Hey, those Transformers give me an idea. Check the control panel, see if you can vent the cores. Uh, okay, Dad. Venting the cores. See that? A few shots on that exposed core should be enough to overload the system. Causing a massive electrical discharge. And clearing the way. Huh. Good idea. Shit! 
Okay, Dad. You've obviously done this before. No, but close enough. Come on. Marcus, this backup of yours, how do you know he'll help? Back at the house, I sent word I might need him. Pretty sure he's been waiting by the phone ever since. Yeah? I guess we'll see about that, won't we? Took my mom. <laughs> she is where she belongs. Kate, don't listen to it. Tell me where my mother is! The path to your mother lies to me. my mother back. Then we're burning your goddamn hide to the fucking ground! Uh, now what? No, Jin, as much as I enjoy our chats, we're a little busy. You said before I didn't know what was going on, so why don't you educate me? <laughs> Look who finally figured out that four people aren't taking on the entire COG army just for the hell of it. Took her long enough. Here's what I propose. We all go back to New Ifira and you tell me exactly what's out here. You've seen them, haven't you? This isn't an intelligence summit, Lieutenant. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. What's obvious is that my efforts to keep our society united is the only chance we have against whatever's out here. You actually believe the bullshit that comes out of your mouth, don't you? Must be comforting, since no one else does. Lieutenant! I'm not your fucking lieutenant! JD, what's happening? <laughs> The 
What the hell happened to Jen? Just... I, I don't know. We'll, we'll sort it out later. We need to get to that radio tower. Wait. You hear that? Yeah. Sounds like Jen didn't come alone. What is this? Jen's bucket heads are taking on the swarm. Moving. Jeez. I never thought I'd be rooting for a bunch of TVs. That's all of them, for now. Then let's head to the radio tower. Hey, come on, let's get this open. <laughs> there it is, radio tower, dead ahead. Okay, so what did happen to Jen's body? I think that Pouncer's quills hacked into it somehow. How would that work? A bioelectric field, maybe? Mm, or some kind of voltage-gated ion channel. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. It does. The radio tower should be just ahead, up this hill. Yeah, and I'm sure we'll get there without a hitch. gonna need more than a couple of extra lancers here and seriously bots might do more harm than good don't worry he'll pull something out of his ass he always does they're surrounding us the crap out of me. Uh, sorry. Backup's on its way. How long before he gets here? <clears throat> long enough that we'll need this. Dad, what's the deal? Where's he meeting us? Close, but we got time and swarm to kill before he gets here. From the sound of things, they're gonna attack any minute. That's why we dig in here. Shit! Looks like they're bringing out the big gun! We've got carriers! What do you know? Looks like it's all clear. No, no, no. You have got to stop saying that. Seriously. Saying what? All clear. Come on. It's a perfect way to jinx us. Come on, you're kidding. No, I'm not. Since this all began, when has it ever been all clear? Normally I'd say jinxing has nothing to do with actual probabilities, but in this case, I agree. Don't say it. All right, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Look around. <laughs> It is all clear. Marcus, come on, man. Yeah, Dad, I don't know. They've kind of convinced me. Tell you what. If I really did just jinx us, I'll deal with it myself. 
Now let's get to the damn rendezvous point. He said he'd meet us at the intersection just ahead. Uh, something big's heading this way. Hey, Marcus! You jinxed us! Great job! When Marcus Phoenix calls him help, he does not mess around. What? You don't call, you don't write? Hey! Who loves you, Marcus? Woo! Been too long, Cole. Yeah, about ten years too long. You remember James? Yeah, I remember him being a lot smaller. <laughs> Everyone's small next to you, Uncle Cole. Uncle Cole? Excuse me, what? Didn't I give you enough toys when you were a kid? Oh, I've seen enough of your toys to last a lifetime, thanks. His toys? Kate, Dell, meet Damon Baird, CEO of DB Industries, whose bots have been trying to kill us for the last 20 hours. Hey, whoa, whoa, the whole killer DB thing? Jin did that, not me. Well, they've still got your initials on them. Let me know if any of this sounds familiar. You go AWOL from the COG, oh, about six months ago, and somehow no one arrests you. Or, or even more recently, there you are, stuck in Settlement 5, and just magically, a bot transport cart pulls up and tells you to get in. Oh, seriously, Dad? You, you had this asshole watching out for me? I think the word you might be looking for is thank you. You sure you can handle this thing? You know the kind of day we've had? You wouldn't ask. JD's and Jack Jr., so one of you take second betting. So they're back. Hmm. Really back. Uh, I kind of missed them in a weird, messed up sort of way. I know what you mean. And there's our ride. I'm here, sweet cheeks. Ready to go? Tell me your wife wanted to do this. Um, Sam and I aren't married. Special lady friend, please. And she insisted on coming. Hey, kids. Can you hear me up there? Yeah, I hear you. Minis at the dam. Oh, and Uncle Beard. Try to keep up.
out of here. Yeah, sir. But how? Hey, kids, target the wall. We'll make you an exit. I like the sound of that. Hey, you guys all right down there? Well, so far, so good. Hey, any idea what's up ahead? Seen a lot of bad guys. Big ones, too. Big, huh? You know, I think we can handle big. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the story of my life! All right, we're moving up. And notice, I did not say we're all clear. I'm sure Dell appreciates that. Ah, right, we're blocked. We're gonna need an airstrike. We can't get past. We should right. blow it up. I'm on target. Damn it! That wheel's gonna be a problem. Yeah, we're just a bit taller than the last time we were here. Oh, 
got Swarm down here to deal with. Just finish that damn thing off. Hey, Baird. What's the Raven's condition? Main rotor's okay. Tail's gone. Why? I just got an idea. Let's go get her.
take it. This isn't over, so get her somewhere safe. I don't need protection. I know. You need time. Trust me, I've been there. She wanted you to have that. It was... It was my grandmother's. I never knew her. It's beautiful. ready for this. She can barely keep her eyes open. Don't worry about her. She'll be ready. Eight or nine minutes in. Nightmares. 
Does it get better? It gets tolerable. Baird even figured out they had a hammer My father, before he died, he let Baird in on a few cog secrets. In this island, uh, it has plenty of them. Stay back! We're coming down! Guess who? Dave, send a pulse and let's see what we're dealing with. Ah, there they are. How do you want to do this? I'll take care of this one. Everywhere we go, another burial site's hatched. 
All the more reason to get the hammer going to lie. Let's hope Jin sees it. one of the silos, but it's wrecked. Well, there's two more. One of them's still operational. Hope you're right. We ended the war once on this island. When we get this hammer satellite up, we can do it again. That's the idea, old pal. Control out. <laughs> You guys go right, Marcus and I will go left. We'll find those silos. Sounds good. Stay in contact. You sure about this? Two silos, two paths. You got a better idea? Yo, hatch! Jump down. This looks like some kind of an exhaust tunnel. But is it from a silo? Only one way to find out. Sluice gate's our way out. Dave, can you get this open? Man, you know what? If they want to turn this place into a hive, let them. It's an isolated island hundreds of miles from shore. Uh-huh. Let's just make sure that happens after we leave.
this matter. Hey, Control, that carrier's down. Thanks for the help. Phoebe's, one of you secure the area. The other's with us. Let's go. Acknowledged. Whoa, Delta. What the hell did Dave do? Got a lot of strange data here. Top secret stuff. Uh, as far as I know, he's opening a door. He's doing a lot more than that. Well, either way, the door's open. Thanks, Dave. So, that data Dave just downloaded? There's a big hole at the highest security clearance. How does this relate to our mission? It doesn't, but now I need to know. I'm guessing whatever's missing was pulled from the network. Well, who'd have the authority to do that? Back then, uh, only the facility commander. Find his office and poke around. Okay. We'll go. Safe. Good place for secret data. Okay, get this open. Gotcha. Hey, Control. Good news. We found the data drive. Appreciate it, Delta. Hey, know what we'd appreciate? Some backup. What? Where are you? The silo. We found it. And they're all over us. Oh, shit. We're on our way. Show up. Oh, no problem. Is that rocket attack? It is, believe it or not. Good. Then find a port for Dave to plug into. If it checks out, he'll initiate the launch. Marcus, you know Jin pretty well. Just how angry is she gonna be with us launching this thing? Uh, I'd say somewhere between an ulcer and an aneurysm. Hmm. I'm okay with that. It's all yours. Control, you're in. Start the launch sequence. Pressurized, first stage. Opening silo doors. Error. Error. Uh, Error. Delta, we have an issue. The silo hatch. It's not opening. Oh, of course. I knew that seemed too easy. Baird, options. Bug out. Blast doors aren't going to protect you from an exploding rocket. All right, then we call it. Let's go! Hydraulic external power to on. No! We get that hatch open. What? Kid, listen to your old man. You gotta get out of there. Damn it, we came here to do this, so let's get it done. Ignition test commence. Good luck with that. Let's get that hatch open. So what's our plan? I don't know. There's gotta be a manual override near the top. We'll find our way up. Take that! Bring it down, Dave! Uh, Del, how many engines does a rocket have? Usually, four! Okay! Ignition, engine four.
Sam, we're ready for extraction. How about I see Jin first? I'll calm the storm before you brief her. I'm sorry, is this Sergeant Phoenix being diplomatic? You can call her what you want, but we're at war, even if it doesn't feel like it yet. We all have to be on the same page. Yeah, well, I mean, if you think it'll help, then sure. Wish you'd have been this willing to listen back at that silo. Hey, it worked out, didn't it? Listen, James, word of advice. Stop trying to prove yourself. Just do the job. Dad, I took a necessary risk. Necessary means you have no other option. That wasn't necessary. And you know it. What was that about? What do you think? Same thing it's always about. Hey. You know it's just because he cares, right? Yeah, well, you know a hell of a lot more about him caring than I would. Okay, um, yeah, um, we're just gonna go inside. Come on, Dave. That was a shitty thing to say. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. The thing is, you two are more alike than either of you want to admit. The data is in front of you, Damon. What? what? That's it? I thought the new satellite would automatically link to the old ones. It cannot find them. Without regular scheduling from telecommand, tracking accuracy degrades. Thanks a lot, Iris. Your vocal sentiment does not match your words' literal meaning. Thus, you are not actually thanking Please stop me. talking. So, I still can't find the other Hammer of Dawn satellites. On the plus side, I accidentally invented an AI that understands sarcasm. Here, that data drive you wanted. Maybe it'll help. Find lost satellites? I doubt it. But I'll take a look. Wait, hang on. Did we do all that for nothing? Oh, it'll fire. But with only one working satellite up, it'll be tough to control the beam. Ah! Uh, What's wrong with Dave? They've had a few problems. What kind of problems? Hmm. Uh, that kind. Oh, I know I'm gonna regret this. Ah. 
Everyone, meet the new Jack. When the hell did you have time to build this? When did I have time to build this? This is what I do. I sit here making stuff you guys don't appreciate and inevitably break. Okay, so what's different about him? All new range of behaviors. Improved scanning, augmented combat and support modules. He's literally one of a kind. Uh-huh. And... And he's... all yours. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a bazillion 40-year-old satellites to find. Damon, there are only 15 missing satellites. Thank you, Iris. More sarcasm to add to your growing library. Before we begin, Damon, the combat module you brilliantly designed is now ready. My use of brilliantly was intended to be sarcastic. Did I succeed? <sighs> Follow me. You'll want to equip this new module ASAP. It'll make Jack combat ready. Oh, I'm gonna take this. Iris, activate Alpha 331. Certainly, David. So, say you've got a target that seems awfully comfortable behind cover. Jack's flash ability fixes that. Aim at the DB and activate it. See what happens. Test sequence complete. Huh, that could be useful. No offense, JD, but, uh, Jack's my new best friend. I'm very happy for you, for both of you. But now I need you to return your weapons to the weapons locker and get out of here. Are you trying to get rid of us? Oh, you noticed. Anyway, you can boost Jack's abilities if you find the right components. Before you go see Jin, stop by the armory. They might have one you can borrow. Oh, we will definitely be doing that. Good. Now I can get back to work. What Damon means to say is that he has more important things to do. Thank you, Iris. Bluntness is one of Iris's more commendable traits. I wonder where she gets that from. Oh, that smells... So, Baird, less I know you were kind of mad when Jen shoved you in here. How do you like it? Oh, I, I'm enjoying it. The workshop's quiet, peaceful. Damon is not being truthful. Shortly before you arrived, he was highly critical of the First Minister, referring to her several times as... Let's a... not get into specifics, Iris. Also, why did you tell him that? I detected genuine personal concern for you in Corporal Diaz's intonation. I thus judged it appropriate to inform her how you truly feel. Who? Inappropriate sarcasm. Incompetent nurturing instincts. Iris, are you sure you're not secret with my mother? So close to getting the hammer fully operational again. Damon, you'll be pleased to learn I've located one of the missing satellites. Iris, great news. Where? At the bottom of the Garosnian Sea, approximately 15 miles from shore. Oh. Apparently, it fell from orbit. <laughs> Your deductive powers are truly impressive, Iris. And you, Damon, are quite handsome. I intended that remark to be sarcastic. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Good to have them on our side again. Does Sam get down here much? You know, uh... When she can. Damon and Miss Byrne are currently experiencing relationship difficulties. My god, I've created a monster. Oh well. Iris, go ahead. Explain. Miss Byrne would like to commemorate their long-running but non-marital relationship with a tattoo. Damon, however, is frightened of needles. Thus the impasse. I am not frightened of needles. Damon is exceedingly frightened of needles. In fact, I would categorize his fear as classically phobic. Baird, get a tattoo for your special lady friend already. Oh, Anything man, else man. you'd like to share, oh, Iris? Really Our love-making like frequency, perhaps. I fail to see why that would be of any interest to your guests. Decorum. Amazing. Later, Baird. Come on, guys. No worries. Do your... thing. Come on! Oh, my God. 
Hey, Foz. How's life in Jin's rear echelon treating you? Brilliant. But then we can't all be off on some secret mission. Oh, yeah? How'd you hear about that? This is an army, not a monastery. Yeah, okay. Well, look, we'll just leave you to the very important work, punching machines. And sparring. Hang on a second, shit stick. Shit stick? Del, theories? I don't know. Maybe a stick made out of shit? Or, or a stick used to stir up shit. All right, fuck off. How about we make this interesting? You and me, spar right now. And how exactly is beating you interesting? Yes or no? <laughs> you want in on this? Pretty sure what's actually being measured here is gonna leave me at a distinct disadvantage. Then again, maybe not. Hilarious. Are you in or not? Oh, I'm in. Come on, man. Let's just grab the jack component and get out of here. No, this will be fun. Oh, son of a... How's that fun working out for you? Try it again, Foss. Come on. Hey, here's the thing, Foss. The bottle spar with you, but not beat you. It's against their programming, but explain. Shit, false confidence. Quite a bit, actually. Want some advice, Phoenix? No, I'm good. Jin does love her golden boys. But never for very long. See, that was fun. Fuck off. All right, man. Now that Fa's fun time's over, can we go find that component? <sighs> okay. Come on, enough's enough. You gotta see someone about these headaches. I will. I promise. After we talk to Jen. Let me be perfectly clear. When it comes to this weapon, I don't share your optimism. It's the first time anyone's accused me of optimism. Yes, well, I'll remind you your wife refused the idea of bringing the hammer back online. I would have thought you'd respect Anya's wishes. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that, for both our sakes. Anya would have wanted you, you to- You don't get to talk about her. If that's what you think, I won't argue. You and that goddamn fertility program. A program that gave you your son and mine. I honor Anya. I loved Anya. Oh. I don't care if you believe me. When my program was in its infancy, she came to me. She volunteered. Both times she volunteered. Seeing First Minister Stroud undergo treatment. Do you know how many children are alive today thanks to her? She should be buried here, you know, with the All Fathers. The people need her inspiration. Your inspiration was my wife. First Minister, Lieutenant Phoenix and his squad. Send them in. Ah, Lieutenant. I'm told you had a successful mission. First Minister, I can explain. By all means, explain when Damon Baird superseded me. Explain how launching a Hammer of Dawn satellite doesn't require my explicit approval. Same page, huh? Mm. Lieutenant, the Hammer of Dawn has taken more COG lives than most of the armies we've opposed. Your father knows this as well as anyone. It's not the weapons I don't trust, First Minister. It's the people who use them. The Hammer of Dawn will not be brought back online. Ah. That'll be a report on the evacuation of Settlement 2. Settlement 2 is being evacuated? Why? There's been activity in the nearby burial site. Chief Carmine, report. Oh, we're under attack. We need immediate help. Please, slow down. Now. Mobilize the 4th Division. We'll take command of the reinforcement effort. Do it. Go. Me 
a cake. Main gate. Keep anything else from getting inside. You realize I'm the ranking officer here, right? And we'll reinforce Carmine at the town hub. I can't believe we're back here. We did our duty. You need to get over it. Get over it? Guys, not the time. Cole, let's see what we're dealing with. Keep your convoy away from it. Ah, oh, Delta, I thought it was gonna do donuts around it. Be advised, Corporal. They're faster than they look. Delta out. <laughs> Evac convoy. Yeah. Lizzie's from the speed of it. They're the best driver we got. Rob Moves. Yeah, she knows it. Come on, let's cut through this building. Everybody, stay back! They're coming in! Hey! Stand down, Private! We're geared! Oh, shit, sorry, Lieutenant. No harm, no foul. What are you doing here? I lost our DBs and we got civilians holed up in here. Lizzie, Delta requesting civilian pickup. Sector 8, apartment complex. Copy that, Delta. I'll circle back. Thanks for that, Lieutenant. No problem, Private. Come on, Delta. Control. I took care of it. DBs, we gotta secure this street. Lizzie! Oh, man, sister! You are crazy! What can we do to help? Just clear this street, Delta. Otherwise, we're stuck here. Baird, we're assisting a stalled convoy. We might need reinforcements here. Roger that, Delta. Diverting a condor your way now. Phoenix, for the last goddamn time, I'm the ranking officer, which means I call in the reinforcements. 
Yes, sir. I, I will fix it. <laughs> I might not have a problem with shooting innocent people, but I do. Innocent, huh? Innocent! So people throwing firebombs are innocent? Hm. Good to know. Both of you, knock it off. Wade, I heard about this. That was you three? Not three. One of us managed to keep his DBs under control. What the hell happened? We identified an insurgent element and eliminated it. No, you opened fire on a protest. Every herd needs a good culling. I know who I'll call from this herd. Happen, happen. Right now, we focus on completing this evacuation. Goddamn right. There's the hub. Dead ahead. Shit, Carmine is definitely in trouble. Shit, snatch it. That thing makes its way to the hub. Carmine's problem's gonna get a lot worse. Come on. Hey, Julie! Take him out! lot of people alive today, Sarge. Ha <laughs> ha! The grub killer returns, baby! Grub killer, swarm killer, whatever. Yeah, rescued by my old trainees. Uncle Clay! Yeah, and now I gotta get up again. 
was getting worried. He didn't report back. Radio died. And these guys pulled me out of a jam. Guess I owe you twice, Phoenix. Now what? Stim time. Foss and Carmine. Then we gotta regroup. Meet us at the theater. Welcome. See you there. JD, come on. Let's cut through the hotel. Yo, Jack. Give us some light. Oh, shit. We're losing a lot of gears. Phoenix. I made it back to my convoy. Gonna try to get these people out of here. Copy that, Lizzie. doesn't just shut DBs down, it turns them. What the hell, man? We're going in there, Del. Get ready. Man, I can't believe this turned shit so fast. Hey, Cole, Faz, Carmine. You think they're okay? I hope so. Let's get to Kate and Dad. Then we can worry about the others. Oh, shit. I'm going that way. Come on, this way. Shit, shit, shit! It's too fast! What the fuck is that? Who gave this shit? Who's going? They're leeches, man!
All copy, Dad. Loud and clear. Heads up. That flock thing's made up of leeches. Yeah, we know. They're messing with our comms somehow, but Baird's got a squad cleaning them off the radio towers. We're at the theater. Are you close? Down the street. We're on our way to you. Duh. We're leaving. Now, Control, drop them now! I don't think they got the memo about the plot. Thanks, Control. Shit! Well, let's just help them clear the street! Sergeant, we'll have you pushing back. Appreciate it, sir. DB, come on! Clear the street! I'm ready, Lieutenant. Oh, you're a boy. That's it. Let's just regroup with Marcus and Kate. Okay. Let's try this one. Uh, guys, we got a problem. A corrupted DR1? That can't be good. Look behind it. The evacuees. They're all dead. Let's just stay quiet and try to get out of here. Oh, God damn it! Kill that thing! Let's just, let's just get out of here. Find the others. Hey, I think we can exit stage right. Baird, theater evacuees didn't make it. Cole, pause the carbines. What's their status? Lizzie made it back to her convoy, but she keeps getting rerouted. Clay found a raven out, but I can't reach Cole or Foz. You heard from him? No, not yet, but we'll keep looking. Control, it's Delta. You're breaking up. We're at the theater. Say again? You gotta get out of there, kid. They're letting the sediment go. Wait, can't we use the Hammer of Dawn? Not when I can't target the damn thing. Just fall back to the main gate. Baird, we're stuck on the other side of town. Phoenix, Lizzie here. You're at the theater? Lizzie, thank God. Affirmative. I've been diverted like six times. I can pick you up. Coming your way now. We'll be here. Delta out. In here, come on. Whoa, 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 it's us! We, uh... brought company.
Lasso Dell. See any friendly faces you recognize? Maybe that's the uh, peaceful protester who broke my nose. You deserve worse than a broken nose. Why don't you show me what I deserve? Stop! Yeah, enough of this shit! You're a goddamn coward! A coward? Wow. Well, have I got news for Mars? No. Guess who ordered the first shot, Del? Directly into those peaceful protesters of yours. Yeah, that's right. Lieutenant Pedigree there. Guys, come on, guys. I, I mean, they were throwing incendiary... The whole thing was confusing, all right? I, I didn't mean to have it happen. Never mind. Gallery's here! Look, we can discuss this later. Come on.
We're on a short string here. Kate! Should we bring him along? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right, come on. So what's your issue with Jack anyway? Besides spending half my life hiding from Cogbots? No issue. See, I told you it's not you. <laughs> That's lovely. It's your headache again, isn't it? No. I'm fine. He's not gonna listen to you. How about you let him decide that? Hey, it's her. Her funeral. Huh. Can't come here with cog weapons. Hand them over. You know who my father was, right? Who my mother was? And yet, you're the one in cog armor. Go figure. Man, we're not giving you shit. Just... Do what they say. Fine. You can pick these up on the way out. I'm through! He's out back by the steam farm. Try not to cause any trouble. That's up to him. You know, we've convinced a lot of outsiders to come over to the cock and fight, but I got a feeling this nut's gonna be a little tougher to crack. Yeah, I have the same feeling. I still can't believe that Marcus, Baird, and Cole were the ones who killed this riftworm. From the inside, with their chainsaws. Actually, I can't believe it. Stop carrying his water! Why do you think Norsko and Lena went north? Because they're cowards. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Oh, shit. Let's just get to the steam farm. Okay. Hey, we're looking for the chief. Old guy, smells like beer. You seen him? Kate. Uncle. A lot of cogs been out here to make their pitch. Never imagined they'd send you. Guess they thought you'd hear me out. And what do you think? I think you need a new decorator. Yeah, you're supposed to keep them away. How's that working out for you? Nah, not too well. It's good to see you again, Kate. You too, Uncle. Now go pack up. You're leaving. Am I? Look, man, we've convinced every other village to enlist. You're the last holdouts. Cog, outsider, look, it doesn't matter. It's time to fight these things together. No. It's time we end this conversation. I'm sorry, young ones. You can find your way out. Uncle! My mother's dead because she thought we could make it alone. So go ahead, send us away. But if you do, I'll be back to bury whatever's left of you and the people behind these walls. 
And I think you know it. <sighs> Shit. How often do they attack? Lately, every day. They do that every day? No, they don't. Come on. Uncle, we're gonna need more ammo than this. Where will you be fine? Until then, use knives, fish, anything Hunters. you got. They breached the lower wall. Help me clear them out. Hunting. Okay, down. More of them coming in. Before we lose any more. Oscar, you gotta come with us, man. You people don't deserve this. Uh. Jack, do it. Let's go! Look out, young ones! More swarm ahead! One more time! Let's clear them out!
Kate. No, 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 Kate, Kate, you can't see this. You don't want to see this. Thanks, J.D., for coming here. Of course. Can I recommend we maybe get these people out of here? Hey, just slow down. No, Foz is right. We need to move. What are you talking? Oscar's dead, man. Give her a minute. She'll get her a minute in the Raven. What the hell is wrong with you? Del, we need to leave. I'm not going. Excuse me? For months now, I've been having these dreams. Nightmares. But I think they were messages. What? Something's, something's happening to me. Is your grandmother's? Enough. We'll, we'll deal with this later. Foz, round these people up. I need help. There's a place up north. I think we can find you answers there. No, no. <clears throat> Absolutely not. We have orders. You'll go with me. God damn it, both of you, listen. I'll go with her. Look, if you're missing, Jen will notice. Okay. I'll push Jack the coordinates. No, Corporal, you are coming back to Noafira. That is a direct order. Well, Captain, screw your order. This isn't about you, it's about me. I need to fix this. Watch her. Her necklace? That's a locust symbol. Yes, yeah, so? She would never be our enemy by choice. I know yeah, that. Because she would die for us. I know that. But what if it's not her choice? us now. So what's in here anyway? The fast way out of this fucking place. Hey, if you want some time, you know, we don't have to leave right away. Yeah, we do. Okay, then we need some light. So you can drive? More or less. Here we go. Mark has just pushed Jack the coordinates for some facility up north. New Hope. New Hope? Sounds pleasant. All right. We should head out. It's a long ride from here. Thanks for asking about how I'm doing, by the way. 
Thanks for driving. Exhausting as it looks? Very much so. Hey, I'm sorry for the way JD treated you back at the village. He's just... <sighs> no, you're the last person who needs to apologize for him. Yo, stop, stop! We got a gate ahead! And, from the look of it, this wall's pretty recent too. Definitely new car. All right, let's um get around and find a way to open this thing. Look, JD kept a big secret from you. But how am I any different? You told us your secret. He didn't. Yeah. Right. Hey, out there. Is that New Hope? Nope. Marcus's coordinates are to the northeast. It doesn't look far. Just gotta unblock the skiff. You know what pisses me off most of all? Seeing JD pal around with Foz. Like, when did that happen? Jin's had him running missions together for months. What do you expect? Looks like a simple maglock. Jack can get this open. Jack? Do the honors. Wow. That was surprisingly easy. All right, we're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. Hey, let's make sure we store a couple of weapons on the skiff. You know, for emergencies. There's no facility here. It's all old growth forest. Trust me, it's there. So does Jen know about this place? Every first minister's known. And they all did the same thing. Posted guards and tried to keep it a secret. Secrets, huh? There's a lot of that going around these days. Let me know when you're getting close. Control out. Storm's getting closer. Oh. Great. Here we go. Another cog seal. We're in the right place. Through here. With all the way off on your head. Who could trust you now? Del. Pots. Outsiders, cogs, swarm. We're the only ones who haven't been here. Got something up ahead! Let's check it out!
inside now. Main building, I think. Roger that. We'll let you know when we find it. Del, we got a way through here. Here then. We're not alone in here. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Ish. Probably. Marcus, found your hallway. And your circular door. Looks like somebody blew it up. Oh, right. That was me, actually. I forgot about that. So what now? Okay, look for another way in. The lab's filled with stasis tanks. That's how you'll know you found it. Stasis tanks. Got wait. What is that? We uh we might have a problem. Yeah, we definitely have a problem. Warden! Jack, shock track! <laughs> it's down! What's the goddamn warden doing here? The warden means the swarm's looking to turn this place into a hive. Oh shit. Let's just find what we're looking for and get out of here. Del, help me push this open. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! That didn't feel great. Jack, give us light. Hey, kids, how's it going? Perfect timing, Marcus. Well, no lab or stasis tanks, but we're in some kind of prison cell. Prison? You're seeing stuff I never did. From what I heard, Niall Samson, Niall Samson, using the children of emulsion poisoned miners for experiments. We imprisoned and experimented on children? I warned you about what you learned there. You can ask him yourself. Wait, what? How is he still alive? He reserved himself as an AI construct. Find the lab. Find Niles. Hey, Marcus. Did the cog know what this Niles guy was doing? They shut him down. Eventually. Stuff like this is why I never trusted the cog. Not even when my wife was running it. Looks like Niles had a favorite test subject. Observation room. They were watching this kid. <laughs> this is disgusting. All of it. Yeah. Those poor kids. Marcus, who was this Niles? What exactly was he doing? Over my pay grade. But it had something to do with the locust. Which means it has something to do with you. Stasis tanks. Marcus, we found the lab. Good. But you're gonna want to avoid those tanks. Why? What's in them? The early and angry fruits of Niles' labor. They're called sires. Last time I saw them, they were a little... Moody. Moody. Great. Just find Niles. He should be close. So, you got any idea what you're gonna ask this guy? You know, about your, uh, connection thing? I think I might ask about the whole imprisoned children thing first. Okay, fair enough. And then? And then... What does all this have to do with me? All right, Marcus. We made it. Look for a switch to activate his AI construct. Then, put on your tinfoil hats. Marcus, that didn't work. What? <laughs> Will we listen? Did you listen? 
some weird virus plugged into the sink? I don't know. Just hose them down when you're done. Ah, oh, shit. Most of the files are corrupt, but several of them mention something called Kadar. That mean anything to you? No. It does to me. I'll have Bear take a look. What was that? what I said earlier. New hope? <laughs> Not pleasant. Agreed. I think I've seen enough of this place for today. Or tomorrow. Or ever. Let's get back to the skiff and see if we have a solid lead. Hey kids, you out of there? Yeah. Did Bear get anything out of that data? Plenty. Right before the last of the scientists left New Hope. Someone sent them a message from a lab in Mount Kadar, formerly known as Locust Central. Okay. I've done plenty of fighting in that place. This is the first I've heard of any lab. Well, that's good, right? For us? If you say so. Problem is, the message's origin point was scrambled. Okay, then. We track the message back to the source. To whatever comm towers have passed through. <laughs> Head out and see if you can find any towers to start the trail back. Okay, we'll do. Jack, see if this opens the gate. There we go. It's open. gates open. So back to the skiff? Unless you feel like walking to those comm towers. I'm gonna say no. Hard pass. 
And look at that. We got a comm tower up ahead. Fingers crossed one of those New Hope messages passed through it. Hey, look, even if they did, we'll need transmission data from two towers. One won't be enough to figure out where those messages came from. Then let's get started. There's one thing I keep asking myself. Why did JD change so much? Was it the coma? The guilt? Jim got to him. Made us seem like the bad guys. And promoted him to captain, which... What happened? I just never imagined JD was so... cock. Well, he is Ida Stroud's son, remember? And Marcus Phoenix's son. Yeah, can't imagine why that would give any other issues. Come on, in we go. Think we got a clear path to that tower? Let's find out. And that wind flare? If we have to, we go through it, just like the last one. Marcus, we spotted a comm tower on a mountainside. We're on our way to it now. Roger that. How's the weather? What do you think? That bad, huh? Be careful. Control out. Get back! I'm beginning to see why no one lives up here anymore! Yeah, and if we don't keep moving, we're gonna die up here! Access data from the command console. You ready? Figures. The console's not working. Huh. There is power in here. Could be a blown fuse or something. We just need to access a circuit. some kind of junction box up at the vents. Jack, get in there and restore the power. Good job, Jack. Let's get Jack connected to the console. Get in there, Jack. Mm -hmm. Transmission data before it locks us out. So, do we scan for a transmission that matches the one we found at New Hope? Yep, that's it. Got a signal match. Northwest. It's another tower. So, can we use that data to find the lab? Mm, not yet. We're gonna need that other tower to complete the trace. So what do you think? Should we update Marcus? I'll hail him from the skiff. Let's just get out of here. Turrets. 
Weird amount of security for a comm tower, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> you asking me like I work here. That's one tower down. Yep. So time to find the other one. Sure you don't regret coming along? What? Are you kidding? I'm doing everything I love. Skipping. Freezing my ass off. I keep thinking about Niles. Those experiments. And do you know what the average person would do if they found out the little we already know? Probably why every first minister has covered it up. Even I know. She was literally the most honest person I've ever known. So what do we do? What do we tell? Maybe no one. What would be the point? The people behind all this are dead. So do what Anya did. Nothing. Marcus, we got part of the transmission data, but we need to find another tower. Good work. But remember, if there is a lab in Mount Qatar, it managed to stay hidden a long time. There's probably a good reason for that. Understood. We'll be in touch. So, what if what we find... What if it's really bad? You do know it's probably not gonna be good. Yeah, but what if it's like, worst case scenario stuff? Okay. And what does that look like? Honestly? That Niall Samson is my grandfather. Well, I had a worst case scenario. You just topped it. All right, let's get to the tower and grab that data. I wonder how far that lab's gonna be once we isolate its location. With our luck, it'll be on the very top of Mount Kadar. Ah, uh, that's an unfortunate and almost certainly accurate prediction. <laughs> Every time I think it can't get any colder. No. After all this, a vacation would be nice. I would not get your hopes up. There's our other tower. Looks like it's in relatively good shape, too. Then let's head to it. Okay. Question before we dig any deeper into this. Did Raina ever do anything suspicious? I mean... Why does she even have that amulet? I'm thinking about that. There was a lot she didn't tell me. How she met my dad, why she never knew her own mother. All she'd say about her father was that he was bad. I know she grew up rough, but where she came from, it's a mystery. Obviously, she was hiding something. What? Why? Well, I hope we can find you some answers. Yeah, me too. Get behind something. Swarm ahead. Okay. We got a bunch of swarm on that ice. You think it went up there? Time to go loud! Shut up! <laughs> these things up here than I was expecting. At this point, I expect them to be everywhere. You're probably right. Let's just get to the tower. Come on. I'll give you a boost. You killed me! You killed me! You killed me! Kill me. Who could trust you now? Trust you now. <laughs> Got distracted. Look what I found. Marcus, you know anything about a condor crash out here? Matter of fact, wind flares took out a few of them recently. Probably some useful shit on those things. Okay, got it. We'll take a look. Huh. I was expecting more DBs and Maybe it wasn't a full fight. That or they wandered off. 
down. You good? Well, I'm cold. Don't really know where we are. I'm generally kind of confused about what we're doing, but, uh, yeah. I'm good. What the hell was a warden doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Nothing good. All right. Time to find out if we can go two for two on these towers. Man, I really hope we didn't come up here. Don't. Rejects. Help me get this open. A similar layout to the other tower, at least. This should be it. Yeah. Use the console. Same as last time. leaving after we get the data we need. There, got another signal match. That's gotta be the lab. So we've got enough to find it. Gotta run a formal trace, but yeah. You wanna tell Marcus or should I? Let's just get back to the skiff. We can tell him on the move. When we get to the skiff, let's tell Marcus what we're doing. Okay. But I got another question. If you did leave, where would you go? Mm, pre or post swarm outbreak? Hmm. Pre. Someplace with a beach. And post? A bunker, five miles underground. Okay. You got room for two? Aren't you forgetting Jack? Yeah, but he doesn't take up much space. What about you? Where would you go? You know what? I have no idea. But I tell you, we know snow. We got a location. If there was a lab in Mount Kadar, we'll know soon enough. Okay. But I'll say it again. That mountain was Grub Central. We don't know what's there. Just promise that if you run into something you can't handle, you'll let me know. Appreciate that. But we're doing all right so far. Delta out. Hey! Our coordinates are coming up. There's nothing here. Yeah, I don't get it. Look, the data checks out. We're in the right place. Maybe Jack can... Worth a try. Jack, pulse! Whoa! There's something under the ice. Nice work, buddy. That's gotta be what we're looking for. But how do we get down there? Not easily. Ice this thick, it's like concrete. I'm not sure if this helps, but Baird says there was an old mine in that area. Old mine? Blasting caps. Explosives. I'll push the coordinates to Jack. Thanks, Marcus. All right. I guess we got a potential solution. Old mine it is. Back here somewhere, right? Let's hope it's got something we can use. Oh, sure. But that really depends on the type of mining that I gauge. 
If they were doing hydraulic mining, we might find some high-pressure water cutters. But, given the environment, I bet it was some kind of subsurface extractor mining operation. Okay, all right, I got it. We're going down. There's the mine. Marcus, we're here. What do you know about this place? Let's see. Yeah, it's an old nethercut mine. Industrial, rare metals. The company got nationalized by the COG right before E-Day. So no activity since the war? No COG activity. Can't speak beyond that. Okay, thanks. We'll be in touch. <clears throat> Let's try down here. Okay, looks promising. I take it back. We got swarmed! Just stay slow! Careful on that ice! Alright, they're done. Well, it's pretty clear they don't want us in that mine. Yeah, but we gotta get up there. Let's try that lift. Wait a sec. This was an outsider camp. Lena, Norsko, I bet they were from here. You could be right. But that means... That means we're about to have a fight on our hands. <laughs> What's up here? If what Lena Norsko said is true, this place got wiped out. Keep your guard up. There's nothing human left. Just keep looking around. Take what's left. Jack, do the honors. Oh, let's go melt some ice, shall we? We're not out of this yet! Jack, protect that fuel! Nico, we all go with it! Uh, excuse me? Move it! 
All right, let's get this shit to the skiff and call Marcus. I'm telling you, this shit is going to melt that ice. If you say so. Well, coming to this place was certainly a life experience. Feels like we're racking those up out here. I keep thinking about those poor people back in that mine. What you said in the tunnel. You're right. We should have found them. Yeah, but you were right, too. You can't help people who don't want to be helped. Like JD, for instance. Oof. Yeah. Like JD. You think he'll ever be himself again? I don't know. I hope so, but... I don't know. Jack, you good hauling that phosphorus? Glad to hear it. See? It's growing on you, isn't it? Jack's good people. You just filled his small mechanical heart with joy. Thanks for being here, by the way. If you weren't with me, this would be... It would be hard. Wait, are you thanking me or, or Jack? Jack? I'm sorry, wasn't that clear? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. Marcus, we found phosphorus fuel. Dell thinks it'll get us through the ice. No, Dell knows it'll get us through the ice. Phosphorus. Be careful. It's nasty stuff. Yeah, that's the rumor. Delta out. You know, that ice isn't going anywhere. We could scout around some more. I'll take that under advisement. Oh, man. Now you sound like Marcus. No, this sounds like Marcus. I'll take that under advisement. <laughs> See? Subtle difference. Yeah. Very subtle. Okay, one small detail. Once we get through that ice, getting back up might be tricky. Then I guess we'll have to deal with that. Solid observation. All right. Let's get this phosphorus cooking. Wait, oh, hold on. What? You said this stuff... It's called phosphorus. Fine, whatever. You said it feeds off oxygen and water. Yeah? Yeah, we're about to expose it to a ton of ice, which is... Oxygen and water. Yeah. Huh. It'll be fine. What are you basing that on? Thermodynamics. Reaction kinetics. Somebody want to let me know when this chemistry class is over? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Come on. Safety first. The lab's not far. Come on. Jack, you good? It's 
nothing. Well, good, because we found them. Come on, we just need to figure out how to get inside. <laughs> All right, that did it. Are you ready to get some answers? More than ready. Well, one big difference between this place and New Hope. They weren't worried about getting found. No fake shipping depot in the front. upset about a pinprick i have sensitive hands proper identification is required for entry your entry has been denied good day oh uh, what niles is that you proper identification is required for entry proper identification hey you can give it a shot but it's gonna hurt more than you think that welcome home? Do you really require an explanation? I think I like the gibberish spouting novels more than this cryptic garbage can. Ah, I see you've met my vastly inferior construct at New Hope. What the hell? It's freezing in here. Goodness. Apparently, some of our cryojets are malfunctioning. There must be a fault in our system. You don't say. Of course, we cannot proceed until those cryojets are disabled. Would you mind terribly? Miserable little garbage can, mother- Cryojets are probably powered like the turrets. Let's find a generator. Well done. Yeah, Jack's good. I've been meaning to reset those cryojets for quite some time. to you explaining this. Oh, nothing but the remains of an old industrial accident. No, these tanks. Same as the ones at New Hope. Yeah, I noticed. Ah, yes. My work there began as an effort to cure children ill with rust lung, but it grew into something far more significant. The cog wanted medicine. I gave them gods. Oh well, water under the bridge. This way. So after the cog shut you down, why come all the way out here? Our family needed a place to continue our work in solitude. <laughs> no way your family built this alone. I am quite certain you lack the necessary clearances for that information. This next area is quite fascinating. The path to every breakthrough is paved with failure. Here are some of our more unstable specimens. This breakthrough of yours, how did you manage it? One of the miner's children, as it happens. She was resistant to aging, disease. We raised her as our own. You may find this especially interesting. What is it? That is...
is one of our first successful hybrids. Hybrid? You mean a locust? One and the same. In our previous facility, we had problems with genetic stability. The sires were distempered and sterile. A problem for obvious reasons. But the locusts were different. Highly controllable, the perfect soldiers, and blessedly able to reproduce. What made them different? Their cells. You see, the emulsion miners' children provided a marvelous genetic repository, as did the indigenous creatures of the Hollow. In all of your genetic research, it's in here? Of course. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, Jack, Jack, come here! I need you to download everything off this terminal. Oh, man. I don't think I want to know what any of these file names mean. But when the extent of one very special child's genetic immunity to emotion became clear, our work began to soar. Please, go ahead. That, of course, is Mira, or as you know her, Queen Mira. You bred her with the sires? Nothing so monstrous. Her stem cells, however, were delightfully complementary to sire DNA. But we underestimated so much. Young Mary's strong maternal feelings, for instance. Let me guess. She led her children to slaughter you all. No, no, no. Well, yes. But I meant her more traditional maternal feelings. For her daughter. Little Raina. Your mother. What? You're lying. I am not. Your mother was born here, and taken from us by her spineless father, thus causing young Mira's unfortunate rebellion. Why are you telling me this? You have so many gifts, you do not yet understand. Hey, what's going on? He will kill you if he knows. They all will. What did you just say? Hey, hey, what are you... Why did you come here with me? What did J.D. tell you? Kate, I am not gonna hurt you. No? Maybe you should. Maybe I should. Hey. That would indeed sever the link between you and the Locust. Now, shut up! I won't let them do to me what they did to my mother. Your mother? And what did they do to your mother? In the hive. They changed her. It killed her. I killed him. But that is the process that allows them to learn, to grow. Without a queen, they remain unguided. See? See? I'm a weapon. No. You're not. Back in the village, when I was inside that snatcher, I was controlling them. I think I killed Oscar. Wait a minute. You think? Or you did? I don't know. I don't know. I just... I want it out of my head. I want it to stop. Okay. And you're gonna stop it. And if I do not? Then we delete you, and destroy every bit of your precious research. Then please, allow me to assist you. And we're supposed to just trust your good word here? You are free to trust or not trust whomever you like. But tell me something. Your mother and the Hive, did she resist? Of course she did. So I feared. Young Mira needed no such crude incorporation. Niles, tell me something. My grandfather, who was he? 
one of my best geneticists. He fled with little Reyna because he no longer believed in our work. Did Mira know where he took her? I told Mira Reyna had perished in the escape attempt. I assumed that would end the matter. I greatly miscalculated. But it appears we have another malfunction. Perhaps you could address it? Right. Ah, he's done it. Your little friend is quite handy. Hey, watch the Sex book. Well, you do make a lovely couple. Would you please follow me? Almost there now. I'm curious. How does it feel to have your life's work turn on you? I choose to view it differently. The Locust longed for independence. Mira showed them the way. I have always been proud of your grandmother. I still am. What the hell is that thing? The Matriarch was generated from your grandmother's stem cells and sire DNA. She amplified Mira's ability to communicate with the Locust. This device is where Mira first learned to control her power, but we can also use it to sever your link, if you choose. So how does it work? By mildly damaging your brain. What? By mildly damaging her brain? Her connection to the Locust is based on a genetic algorithm inside her temporal lobe. Altering that requires anesthesia, you could say. Sounds like a lobotomy. A lobotomy is highly invasive. This is directed. While I work, the matriarch will guide your mind, undetected, to where it must go. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. You are not doing this. I do not trust this can. Then watch him. But I have to do this. I'm losing control. I won't hurt anyone else, understood? Understood. You better.
down. Life. What? It wasn't really her, except except it was. Where is he? Emergency shutdown in effect. Come on, he went this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. After him! Get back here, Niles! God damn it! Surely you see I've done you a kindness. You are no longer vulnerable to the high mind and your mother has been awakened. Well, so to speak. Ugh, I'm gonna fucking kill you! I don't think he can hear us! I don't give a shit! Shit! We gotta stop it. Look for a way through! But freeze if we don't lift this lock down. Uh, Del? The matriarch is gone. Oh, I'm sure that's not gonna be a problem. Let's just find Niles. Come on. Freeing the matriarch was unwise. You will die. Which means you will never look upon the grandeur of your mother. Transfigured. I'm gonna kill you, Niles! Hey, you wanna tell me what the hell Niles is talking about? Later, after we deal with Niles. Every child needs a playmate. Hey, check out the door open. Good, but we can't leave yet. I'm not letting these things live. All right, then let's finish them all. Let's get after Niles. Time to go.
My sire's interest in self-preservation was always lacking. But I assure you, there will be no escaping a matriarch. Del, Niles is leaking something. Looks like he went this way. Right behind you, Niles. What has been done cannot be undone. This planet is now theirs. I told you I'd get you. Look out! real. Okay, then maybe she'll, I don't know, I mean, help us out. She would, if she could. But she's not my mother anymore. Then who is she? Their queen. Come on, time to get out of here. got their queen. And Nas is right about what happens next. We need a new plan. No, we need the old plan. We need the Hammer of Dawn. Oh, thank God. Looks like you need a ride. How'd you find us? You think I'm gonna give you a one-of-a-kind piece of tech without the ability to track it to the center of the planet? Yeah, yeah, fine. And speaking of one-of-a-kinds, help me hook up this skiff. You find what you're looking for? Yeah. And now we need to kill it. Is she, you know, all right? Not really. But let me ask you something. How long would it take to get the Hammer of Dawn up and running? Funny you should ask. The data drive you found months ago about the UIR. Yeah? Interesting stuff. Interesting how? You'll see. And lucky for us, I have an old UIR contact. Take us home, Sam. Got it, sweet cheeks.
Welcome to Vasgar, home to the Union of Independent Republic's secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still haven't. Vasgar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying... No, excuse me. Liberating this glorious land. Okay, remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. Ha! <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. So, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the COG publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, some in our military tried to launch. It kind of triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functioning? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly, or stupid, or weak. <laughs> Who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and uh, come and see me before you go. where no one sure doesn't work. I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw on that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on. Let's just go see Baird. Follow me. So a couple days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it Hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. Show him what you got, Jack. Whoa, you figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So which swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Baird. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie in the convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of, uh, all that, ever seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. Hey, Baird. What's this Guardian doing here? Oh, just sputzing around with its shield generators. Go 
Come have a look, children. Or two a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly they were wearing armor. And they started making deals. Take one, if you want. So you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Baird come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply has been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing, could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question. Are you children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. So, I suppose you're curious about how fair than I met. Yeah, sure. General Carr, Alvo Bay, the light mass missile. I doubt these words mean much to you. Don't be so sure. Well, it might amuse you to know. I fought for the call once, alongside your friend Bear. He showed me that not all Kong are bad. They're just mostly bad. Okay. Good talk. I did some training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert maps. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. I think I can handle it. Okay. Never seen weird formations like this before. It's sand. Zapped and superheated by a lightning flurry. Oh, yeah? How does that work? High shock pressure. It changes the sand's atomic structure. Him? Stop us. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe we should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I, I don't blame you. So what does Jen think about you being here? Jen doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Bear. Come on, then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man, if you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? Okay, man, before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like, like we didn't even know you. I haven't exactly been myself, though. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to convince him to embrace Dark JD. 
but something about you two brings out the best of All right, I know why we're here, but where are we going? An old rocket hangar, to the east. And just a heads up, the Nomads could use some help, too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say, let's do it, and make the last few months disappear. No, come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being all reasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. Not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency is rubbing off on me. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something that's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machine. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. Shot track! <laughs> the welcoming party. Come on, let's get inside. Oh shit! Boy, we're coming from the main building! Robbers, keep him back! Lamb of it! They're done. Good night. Haddock, the swarm tried to stop us, but we're heading into the hangar now. Good. Your rocket should be inside. Let me know when you need translations, because you will. I speak five languages. Okay, got it. Let's get inside. Help me. So, where do we go? The place looked huge from the outside. It's gotta have a mission control. Or command center. Or whatever the UIR called it. Hey, mission control is accurate enough. And keep going. It's close. I reckon there's even more bodies beneath all this sand. <laughs> Way to keep it light, Files. Another door. Help me. This must be the place. Let's get some light in here. Well, the lights work at least. And I'd say we found the rocket hangar. Maybe I need new glasses, but I'm not seeing any rocket. Paddock, Baird. The hangar's empty. Well, shit. If the rocket was moved, there's gotta be a record of it. You know what? Hack into an access port. Let's see if Jack can bypass that virus. Okay, Jack. Let's pull some records. Okay, Jack's giving me a window into the mainframe. Ooh, that's some nasty malware. Adaptive. Semi-sentient. The work. Jack's got this. Right, buddy? Huh. No virus can stop, Jack. Huh, data's coming in. Pat it. I assume you can read this? Yes, but much of it is encrypted. Okay, the rocket's nose cone is close. Check the assembly chamber on the other side of the hangar. Nose cone? What about the rocket? 
The hammer satellites are part of the nose cone. Go deal with that, and we'll keep digging on the rocket's location. Wilco, Delta out. All right, let's go find those satellites. Boss, you're best, Gary. Did you read those files? No. Nah. I was born in New Ophira. My parents wouldn't even speak as far as I'm being right now. They want to see me different. We could have hidden half a city in here. Massive. Yeah. Don't envy whoever had to build it. Okay. What now? Well, let's bring that, uh, platformy thing this way. It's called a gantry. Is it? <laughs> Okay, Foz, take us across. With pleasure. One thing, Joe. I mentioned how the UIR attacked that facility and tried to launch our Hammer of Dawn satellites. Yeah? I led that attack. You did? Why? To destroy the cog. Yeah, well, makes sense. Uh, these days, I'm somewhat less interested in destroying the cog. Good to know, Paddock. Way to the satellites. Give me a hand. Well, no satellites here. Let's keep looking. Patty, I'm curious. How long did your siege against this place last? Three days. We attacked the moment Premier Deshinko sat down with your chairman to discuss the armistice. You hit us with the hammer first. We thought it was only fair to hit back. Okay. Man, look at this. Must have been quite a fight. It was. Paddock, you fought to launch the hammer yourself. But now you're saying it's a mistake. What gives? You launch, you buy us some time. But eventually they'll win. You must know this. No, I don't. <sighs> Doors welded shut. Then that's the door you want. Mm -hmm. Here we go. All right, let's get set up. They're coming. Oh, shit, we got poppers. Don't let them get too close. That was certainly a handful. And another news. Jack got the door open. Good job. <laughs> Just realized if my parents hadn't have left Vascar, my dad might have been here fighting off Paddock's men. Mm. You, Vascari, what did your father do? He was a surgeon. <laughs> then he was lucky. We shot every doctor we captured. Uh, can we turn him off? Okay, okay. Maybe it needs more of a shot.
Elsa number two has left the platform. Uh, and our satellite's sitting pretty on the nose cone. One down. Then let's get the gantry over to the other side. Right. On it. Okay. Let's go. Brace yourselves. This might be a little rough. Hey, what if Paddock's right about launching the satellites? Oh shit! Warm on the other platform! Sitting ducks down here! Boss, get us higher! On it! Swimmingly? Uh, no comment. Look for another switch. Just like the other one. Done. That's it. All satellites secured. Back onto the gantry. Let's get him to the hangar. Uh, not to burst any bubbles, but we're not getting anywhere till we open that big round door. Uh, well, there's a platform up there. Head over to it. You read my mind. All aboard! Okay, let's get up there. Okay, so what a pedic Launch these satellites is a man. He's right that the hammer's dangerous. Believe me, get that now. Not launching these satellites is dangerous. Believe me. A world on fire is better than the world they want. We get this thing back to the hangar. We worry about the rest later. Let's try this. Guys, our ride's leaving. Oh, damn it. Opening that door must have triggered some automated sequence. So we babysit it on foot then. And I was just getting the hang of driving it. Need a hand here. Come on, up these stairs. We can't lose that nose cone. Come on, once we're back in the hangar, we can work our way outside. Okay, satellites are safe and sound. If we want to get out of here, we should cross to the other side. Okay, just so you know, whether we get the hammer working or not, I'm glad we can. Yeah, but if we don't get the hammer working, whether you came or not, won't matter. Let's just find a way back. Over there! Incoming! <laughs> It's a carrier! And it's not alone! Back up, back up! Run out! Bloody hell. Does every carrier burst apart like that? Yeah, pretty much. Our way out's above us. Let's get up there. Who knew putting a rocket together would be so difficult? Hmm. Let's see. Scientists. Rocket scientists. And anyone who's used the expression, it's not rocket science. What do you think? We just push a button mark to launch? Oh, I see. Yeah. Pick on the handsome one. Cut him down to size. So, we're back across. And for the record, <laughs> I'm the handsome one, okay? Paddock, we're almost out of here. Any leads on that rocket? Yes, it's at a turntable in the east, beyond the Dune Sea. 
There's a rail bridge blocking the way. But don't worry. My people will raise it for you. So, out in the desert, find train tracks. Then you'll know you're on the right path. Copy that. All right, let's head for the skiff. You know, all this time I thought I was the handsome. Oh, dear God. Hey, Paddock. Still there? I got a question for you. No, I'm on lunch break. Of course I'm still here. Okay, what exactly stops you from launching the hammer? The usual problems faced by 200 dedicated patriots trying to defeat 3,000 cowards. You know, you could just have agreed to the armistice. And spared a lot of lives. A Groznian proverb for you. A just war is better than an unjust peace. So, just exactly how many Garavian proverbs justify war? Eh, most of them. All right, let's head out. Children, one more thing. The bridge controls weren't networked, so the base commander's virus didn't affect them. But the bridge itself hasn't been lifted in decades. What do you say? You worried about your people not being able to raise it? No, they'll handle it. But that bridge, it's old and rusty and... Uh, just, when you're beneath it, don't linger. Copy that. All right, you heard him. Let's head for the bridge. So, this paddock. How does Baird even know him? Apparently, paddock served in the COG for a while. That guy was COG. When? Unclear. They didn't seem that eager to talk about it either. Cover navigation. Come on, let's get past the bridge and over to that turntable. Facing the wrong direction, which is why it's called a turntable. Grab the other side and let's get in there. Okay, now, how do we turn this thing? Start it by finding a control. Hey, it's warm. Perfect. <laughs> Like a control room to me. Now to access the controls. Jack, get that train right. pointed toward the hangar. Oh, reckon that train's a 
step ahead of us. Oh, shit. Come on, we can catch up to it in the skiff. our space program stuff and I get out. I mean, how did the COG keep it secret? Simple. And the COG also runs the newspapers. And historians have to apply for a permit to write books. Secrets? Secrets are easy to keep. Yeah. We can all agree on that one. Well, 
Guys, check out this crater. What the heck happened here? The cog happened. They fired a light mass missile on us when we were moments from seizing control of that entire facility. Wait, I'm confused. The cog? I thought this was a UIR civil war. The losers don't write the history books, Mascari. You, of all people, should know that. Glad you could write my missing here to the discussion again. Yeah, thanks for that. All right, let's see what we got in here. Help me. Okay, Paddock, we're here. Listen, during our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. And until your bot deals with that, you won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? It's in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby security office. Jack, see if that vent will get you to the security office. Paddock, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The centrifuge building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Facilities activating, Delta. See? I knew Jack could do it. No sweat. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. That's gotta be the same. And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. That's not a good sign. Red condor out there. Yo, Bear, you lose a condor by any chance? Several, in fact, while running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Uh, okay. Solid copy. I can't believe Baird's simply a gun runner. You're having trouble believing Baird did something covert? Really? Yeah, well, we put it that way. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. I haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. We can panic civil war in the weather. We could crawl in anywhere. <laughs> Well, you fooled it! Look who's here! You got a Scion! And it's got a Bastion! Run! Put these assholes down! Stay down! Swarm assholes have been wiped clean. I'm aware of how that sounded. Yeah, let's just move on. Okay, I'd appreciate that. Come on, this way. Look out! Almost there! Centrifuge building's dead ahead! Look, beacons are tucked away in the castle. Yeah, but how do we get them out? We could bring the arm around. There's a platform over there. Where's the shot? Jack, see what you can do? But it's not slowing down. Oi, fuck! What did you do? This thing's older than you are, man! Jack's not a miracle worker! What about an emergency break? Well, there's some controls in space.
not. Well, that worked out, didn't it? Maybe. We need Jack to verify the beacons are okay. Come on. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Paddock, Baird, beacons are secure. They're also a hell of a lot bigger than I was expecting. I don't think we have room for them all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Fira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll carry it to the skiff. <sighs> well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, let's get back to the skiff. You know, if Paddock's sending folks out here, we should probably clear out the rest of the school. He's lost some enough people today. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm not gonna be much use in a firefight at the moment. Stay close to me, mate. You tell us. Get the other side. Well, Storm's no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Okay, Delta. Our way out's on the other side. We got fools, people! Get behind those sand glass things! They're called poker right! Yeah, tomato, tomato! <laughs> Not damaged. That's the important part. Kind of relying on you to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Fate of the world, no pressure. Hear that? Storm died there. Yeah, now that we're through it. Come on, let's check on the skiff. You know something, Kate? I'm pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, that's probably why you're good at it. When we're done sharing the corporate compliments, we should decide whether we're heading straight back to the airfield or not. Faz is right. Oh, man. I'm saying the engine was so Fortunately, it doesn't happen, though. Well, there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So, why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the Cod border? Vascari technology, my friends. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities, and said, oh, hello, we'll take that. Piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. OK, big fella. Let's get you aboard. I'll take the navigation. So our paddock's no man's up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I mean, they seem pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone. Bear trusts paddock, we trust bear. It's all about the transitive property, we trust paddock's nomads. The tr transitive, transitive what? Book spas. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. Now, honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Works for me. Hey, I've noticed something, but the swarms seem different. Smarter, more cunning. Yeah, rocking spiffy new weapons and armor, too. Paddock warned us about that. Said it started happening like a few days ago. When we were at Mount Kadar. Wait, you don't think it's connected to? To when they got their queen back? Yeah, I know it is. And it's only gonna get worse if we don't get the hammer back online. That feels just ahead. 
Mark the skip as close as you can. I think it's kind of heavy. And so we meet again. Get that thing to Baird. Lead the way. Paddock, where's Baird? In back. He was explaining to me the new modification he made for your little bot friend. It was boring, so I came out here. We should probably unload this targeting beacon ASAP. <laughs> and you think that's going to save the world? Baird, we're here with the beacon. Excellent. I'll meet you around back. Wait. If Bear's going back to New Affair with the Beacon, how are we getting back? Well, if there's a Raven about, I can fly us home. Oh, no. Did you crash a basic training? Oh, I had a slight miss. Yeah. Other one. Set that targeting Beacon down. I'll deal with it in a bit. Gladly. <laughs> hey, Bear. Can we talk? Yeah, uh, listen, kid. You still got a rocket to launch, and I need to get back to New Afira. Yeah, right. Of course. JD, we're fine. I'm just working through it. We can talk later. I... appreciate that. Thanks. Paddock said you were working on something? Yeah, uh, a new and improved shield prototype for Jack. Go ahead. Installed. Tell us about it. It's actually very interesting. First, it creates an ionized vector. Baird! Cancel class and get out here! Swarm coming in! Short version, it stops bullets. Now get up there and use it! Delta, come on! Shield! Ah, success! On the very first test, too! Wait, you never tested it? Come on, we still have shit to do in this bloody desert. All right, Delta, back on the skip. Children, more bad news, I'm afraid. What is it now? My people, transporting the other beacons. I need you to get to them immediately. Their convoy was attacked. Where? Close. Their last message was sent from the old city. All right, we're on it. Man, the nomads cannot catch a break. See that? Smoke up ahead! Shit! That's yeah, a convoy, all right. All right, let's get in there and see what we can do. Look! They're still fighting! We gotta help them! on the beacons. Oh, well, they don't look damaged. It's it's in the dark. The borofal, it can do it, it can. It can do it, it can. Paddock, mate, you're hearing this. He says the beacons are safe. I'll send someone to pick them up now. And don't worry, they'll be well armed. So go, deal with your rocket. All right, Delta out. All right, we're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. Delta!
Delta, I'm heading out. I'll be in touch. All right, Baird. Safe travels. You too, and good luck. So, what's the plan now? The hangar. It's time to put that rocket together. Sounds good to me. What about Paddock's Nomads? They have stuck their necks out for us. Maybe we we'll own something for that. Sure. But if we don't get our rocket launched soon, it's not just Paddock's Nomads we'll be worrying about. I'll steer. Get the other side. Let's finish this. Paddock, we're back at the hangar. Everything should be ready. Good. Baird left instructions he asked me to read you. And I quote, Get inside. Initiate the rocket assembly procedure. Launch aforementioned rocket and hope these satellites talk to ours. End quote. Wait. Hope the satellites talk to ours? What do you want from me? I can barely turn on a computer. Go press the button and see what happens. Stay away, never lost this rocket. And there we are. Everyone's favorite rocket. Let's get down to the platform and throw a switch. Yeah, see what happens. This better work. Paddock, rockets assembling. Look out! <laughs> There's a bloody snatcher in here! Son of a bitch! You know, I, I think it did that on purpose. Who gives a shit? We need to get that nose cone back into place! Oh shit! Snatcher's back! <laughs>
All right, rocket delivered. What now? Now we raise it into position. Manually, from the looks of it. Which means we need to find the control room. Yeah. Initiate launch. Oh. And then head back to base. Oh, bloody hell. No one told me hanging with you lot would be so much work. Okay, well, the UIR definitely didn't design this with a jack interface in mind. All right, Jack, go ahead. Don't be shy. Okay, this is what's supposed to happen, right? Doesn't make it any less weird. Thank you. There you go. One rocket successfully raised. Had it. Need some spot translation. Wait a minute. You initiated launch? Uh, maybe? Then get the hell out of there now! Go, go, go! Guys, down here! Go, go! Okay, we got this. We're good.
right! And let's keep pissing it off! So this is no affair. Home to industrialists, techno-fascists, reactionaries, and cowards. Yeah, also decent food, clean water, and showers. Eh, overrated. Delta, welcome home. Get cleaned up, then come to my workshop. I'll send someone for the beacons. Copy that, Baird. After you. Hey. Thank you, by the way. Oh, there's no need to thank me. Aww. Is the band back together, then? Should I take a picture for your scrapbooks? God, you're an asshole. Oh, stop falling in love with me. Honestly, it's embarrassing. So what's the deal? Are those satellites hooking up yet? Well, they're definitely buying each other drinks. All right, kids, gather around. And now, observe. Sure, a nice demo, Baird, but uh, is it gonna work? Well, for that, we're gonna need a test fire. Forget test fires. We need an actual target. Uh, if we're selecting targets, shouldn't someone with real military authority be here? It's Foz, right? <clears throat> yeah, yes, sir. Shut the fuck up, Foz. Yeah, sir. The Swarm have their queen. That means they've got a special hive somewhere. A nexus. Some place where they're vulnerable. Okay, so how do we find them? We don't. Because you might already know. How would I know? Look, I'm gonna level with you. While you were gone, Jin was raising holy hell about getting you hooked back up to the hive mind. I'm sorry, what? Don't worry, I talked her out of it. But I need you to think about what you saw in that vision. Every detail. Is there anything that helps us? No. I mean... 
I mean, I don't think so. We'll take it from here, Sergeant. Uh, excuse me, do you not knock? First Ministers don't need to knock. Really disagree. Jin, I told you, it's not gonna happen. And what about you? Well, considering the thing that linked me to the hive mind is dead, we killed it, by the way, you're welcome. And considering that I don't trust you at all, I'll have to decline. Arrest her. What? Jin, are you nuts? Ma'am? Iris, what's happening? Multiple security breaches. Old Afira ruins. External camera 16. External camera 15. Camera 10! Oh, damn it! They're here. Then we're going out there. Yeah, okay, I get it. You can help us end this. <laughs> Lady, what the fuck do you think I've been doing? Delta, gather around. Tell me we got a plan. We do. This is a targeting beacon. Yeah, no shit. We're the ones who brought him back from Vassar. Give me a break, Lieutenant. I just work here. The point is, we gotta plant these things all over the old city. Just handed Cole and Foz theirs. So, where do we plant our beacon? East Barricade Academy. Once it's in place, they'll have a live hammer radius. And you can start hitting back. We clear? Clear. I'm not gonna lie, it's real ugly out there. Then we watch each other's backs, like always. We should help me plant this beacon down the street. Bed, Sarah's got rolling out with our beacon. See you on the other side, Delta. Where am I going? Patty, get your beacon to the Tomb of the Unknown. Violet, take us to him, whatever that is. That's up, we got carriers! Delta, help my squad clear the area. You got it, Carmine. God damn it, they're right on us! Keep them off, Carmine! Beacon deployed! Bear, how long till I can find it? Delta, we'll guard this one. Shit. Dead end here. It's just through that building. Don't worry, Delta. I got time for an assist before I run my play. Get up on that car, Delta. Cole, when you're done, get your beacon to its designated position. Thanks for the lift, Cole. Marcus got a bad bet. Least I can do. Baird, Echo Squad can't land. Our Raven's taking fire. Just set down as soon as you can and get your beacon in place. By the way, that goes for all squads. We got a lot of heat signatures incoming. Gah! All this responsibility is why I the army. Get out there! Come on! Just in time, Delta! God damn it! 
We got a swarm at! Yeah, plant the beacon! Let's use the hammer! Negative, negative! Delay that order! You gotta place it in the building across the yard! Are you shitting me? Why? We gotta maximize our coverage! That's why! Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Alright, Barry, we'll get it done! Hey, Leva! Keep that thing busy while we get behind it! We'll go, Delta! I'll distract you! There's the tomb of... Holy shit. Delta, I can't take over the hammer network until all five beacons are planted. Panic is the last one. We're on our way to him now. It's the beacon you gotta focus on. Everything else is secondary, and Panic would agree. Understood. Come on, let's get in there. Someone 
Look at the other side. Ah! Get it off! Oh, shit! Kill it! Kill it! What? Follow that bouncer! Clear the tomb! Save oh, whoever you can! Oh, I can do this all day, Ushasku Anutki! So, tell me, which of you wants to die next? Paddock! Delta's here! About time! Now help me clear out these Garayaski! I've had worse days. Our beacon's caught in the Raven wreckage. Maybe your toaster can get it down. I got it! Mm hmm I mean, it looks, right? Our plan was to place the beacon behind the tomb. So go do that, and I'll guard the front. Oh, and if I die, it wasn't terrible working with you. Likewise, Patty. Let's go, Delta. Delta, could really use an update here. How close are you to planning that thing? We're almost there, Baird. Okay. We gotta put this thing exactly where Baird needs it. We 
are a complete being connected, immortal. You had a choice, and you squandered it. Alive or dead, you belong to us. I'm so sorry, man.
That's it. We're clear. <sighs> Thanks for the save. Hey, where's James? Someone call for a ride. Gears, I need everyone back at the wall. Our beacons are down and the swarm's pushing through. Baird, Delta's on the way.
that goddamn thing! Marcus! It's cold! I don't know! Ah, oh, shit! We got more of them! between shots. So get on a turret and hold these bastards up! You heard him, Delta! Take out those blocks!
She'll be back. I know. But not if we find her first. me this shiny wee box. It's going on and on. Open it, boy. Open it. You'll love the surprise. Thing is, I already know that it's a major howl action figure. I was a nosy bastard. So, I open it up. I look right at my uncle and act surprised. He sees right through me. <laughs> right? Out of nowhere. Uncle Donnie grabs Major Howell and he kicks him out the goddamn door! Oh, shit! Room goes dead quiet. Uncle Donnie just trucks. He's got to surprise the boy on his birthday. <laughs> Was there a point to your story? Surprises. They fill me with dread and anxiety. Promising start, eh? signal though. Could be the others. Where the hell am I? Huh. The hell is that stench? <laughs> Bad memories. Need to get out of here. Anybody there? Lieutenant Kalisa reporting for duty, sir. Glad you made it, soldier. You good? <laughs> Bit banged up, but I'll survive. Any sign of the outsider? Negative. Kid! 
You out there? Reunited at last. You made it. Well, thanks to you, Cog. Goddamn maniac kicking me out of a burning plane. Well, outsider, seems like I should get a thank you, see as you are alive. You're assuming I want to be alive. <laughs> <clears throat> Teams back together. Now what? You all follow the beacon, right? Let's find a way up to it. This looks like a good way out. Come on. Charge know we survive. Only way to do that is locate the crash site. Hope that radio is intact. I saw the condor go down. That quite a trail of smoke. Follow the smoke then. Resupply on me. <laughs> Great. Now what? Uh, bath ends at this pit here. Oh, real observant there, aren't you? Let's find a way across. Hey, that tree looks unstable. Okay, but how do we knock it down? Could try crawling through there. Looks pretty narrow. Uh, this looks like a way through, but, uh, hmm. Problem, sir? The back isn't what it used to be. Especially after that crash. Leave it to me, sir. Just need a moment. That dead tree's caught on some vines. Let's go. Bit of a ways down, huh? You got a problem with heights? <laughs> After what we've been through, can you blame me? This looks like the way through here. So, either of you know our destination before we left? They didn't tell me shit. All I know is there was ocean beneath us a long time. That. Another reason to find that radio ASAP. Well, that is one fucked up plan. There's no way that radio's operational. We need to eliminate it as an option before we move on to another plan. Come on. Look down there. These ruins. I've seen something like them before. My grandmother left the Galante Islands when she was young. But, photos from this place. Hell of a way to reconnect with your roots. <laughs> Must have flown off the plane. <laughs> Thank goodness. Now we're talking. My dad always told me I was lucky. Lucky as a locust in long pants, he'd say. So that's why you were picked for the mission. Back up. You can never be too prepared for what's coming. Hey, little help! I hate this place more by the minute. You were saying something about luck, boy? Hey, we're safe, right? Look, some more supplies! I told ya, lucky! What the fuck? A block! Huh, 
I stand corrected. How the hell did the swarm get to an island? Sign of the times, old man. The entire world is infected with them. Keep pushing through. Gotta get out of this swamp. It's dropping leeches! Leeches in the water! We must be the first wave of troops to send it in. So your soldiers and a driver isn't exactly what I call a wave. You're a driver. Delivery driver. Award winning. It's done! Get out of the way! <laughs> We're clear! The swarm is even tougher than the locusts. Well, old man, I for one like our odds. Won't be long before the flock's back. Let's go. Look at all this. Now we stand up fighting shots. Do you even know how to use half this ordinance? Sure do, Grandpa. My dad taught me to shoot. Ah, you don't like that thing. You're quite similar. Soldier? Asshole. We're clear. What's next, sir? Stick to the plan. Find the wreckage. Find the radio. Gotta be a way through here somewhere. Aye. Big swarm. Great. They're blocked. We need to look around. There'll be another way to get to that condor. There's a way through here. Someone give me a hand. Looks like the tail end. With any luck, cockpit and radio is up ahead. Hey, lucky. You remember? <laughs> Cockpit's on the other side of the door. Let's go. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Guess the radio's not here. The entire cockpit ain't here, Grabs. So what's the plan if we find that precious radio smashed to pieces? a good chance that whoever organized this operation is well aware of what's happened. Might take a while, but they'll send someone. They died in the crash as well. How are your survival skills? Terrible. Delivery driver, remember? Whatever it is they're up to, we need to clear the beach before we find that radio. Good work. Now let's find that radio. This thing is absolutely destroyed. Nice. The radio. It survived. Sounds like the transponder straight. I'll take a look. I think I've got it. Ow. Hey, you still there? Why, well, you made it. This is Zach. I'm here to get you. Got a location? On it. Why do we get the feeling that Tack isn't the only one we signal? Hey, you and every swarm on the island, brother! Ready to get up close! Easier said than done! Bouncer! We're in way over our heads here!
this island could get fucked. Glad to be getting far away from this nightmare. results. Right. Sorry to be late and all. We survived a horrific condor crash, fought an endless horde of monsters from hell, and barely escaped with our lives. But uh, how's your day been? Well, it's about goddamn time. Holy shit. What? Show some respect. It's Colonel Victor Hoffman. It's an honor, sir. A real hell of an honor. Shared sentiment, soldier. That's why you're here. Best of the best. This here's Hannah Cole. She's my number one on this covert operation. She knows a lot about science things and uh, is, uh, well, in, in general, quite pleasant to be around. Advanced degrees in biochemistry, toxicology, chemistry, and science things. Thanks, Hoff. Anyway, good to finally meet you. What kind of operation is this? Hannah? Now, what we're looking at is a schematic of the Pahanu Cog Bunker, designation Sanctum. It never served its true purpose, instead becoming a burial site at the end of the Locust War. And now, well, it's a full-blown swarm hive. I need you to infiltrate and plant a chemical bomb at its heart so we can kill them from the inside out. It's a high-risk mission. But if we get this right, we can wipe out those bastards and use what we've learned to save the entire goddamn planet. Now, I've made promises to the COG. And through my people on the mainland, I've made promises to you. Complete the objective, and I will deliver. Questions? Whatever the mission, sir, we're in. What? Beats the hell out of retirement. <laughs> well then, what are we waiting for? All right, team. You'll be infiltrating the base from its main entrance. All of our recon efforts indicate it remains fully powered by the thermal reactors. Once inside, you'll need to access the bottom floor. It's 20 levels down, but the elevator system will ease the burden. What kind of recon operation did you run? We sent a few teams of DVs, but lost contact. Truth is, we needed somebody with access. Keegan, you're up. I'm on. Commissioning sequence initiated by Special Operations Officer Corporal Jeremiah Keegan. Welcome to Sanctum. Wait, Corporal? I outrank you? Yeah, monster. All right, guys, now that we have access to Sanctum, I'm officially initiating our operation. Control has assigned your team designation as Scorpio. Copy that, Hannah. Scorpio moving in. All arrivals must report in with our Sanctum security officers. Please proceed to the waiting area in an orderly fashion. Security officers. Gotta make sure the right people get in. What exactly is the right to be? Sanctum was meant to protect the most important COG citizens. Scholars, politicians, celebrities. And which category did you fit in, Gramps? None of the above. Just a goon working for important people. This is decontamination. There should be a final security checkpoint on the other side. All citizens of Sanctum are required to undergo decontamination protocol before entering the facility. Please step into a chamber to begin. Initiating decontamination. You'd think with how bad the COG was losing the war, they'd be willing to take in any poor soul that survived. 
Still need to follow protocol. Protocol, my ass. <laughs> Decontamination complete. Proceed to the briefing room for further instruction. This is my kind of sanctuary. It's engineered as a system. There's an order to it. The real confidence. This is where new arrivals would have been processed. After proper clearance, of course. I should be able to get the system online. Just need a second here. That should do it. Activating So, what happened to you? The volcano powering the thermal generators <clears throat> ended up being too unstable. The whole place was deemed uninhabitable. All systems so, after online. the war, they Internal turned it into a locust burial site. Warning. Biological threat detected. The hell? Something's trying to get through. Defensive positions! Reject! Looks like we found your robots, Hannah. Hannah covered that swarm shit! Damn it! We said TV is down to the isolation system, man. Never heard that. No. It's dead. Swarm infected DBs. No end of the cops trying to clean up. Welcome to my life, kid. You gotta stop over here! Oh, right. Uh, that would be the DR water we sent to protect the rest of the DBs. Let's keep moving. Come get your app. Warning. Further access to authorized personnel only. There should be another terminal around the corner. You're up again, Keegan. On it. Authorization granted. Proceed. <laughs> Who'd have thought my clearance would come in handy all these years later? More rejects ahead! Welcome. Here we go! Though we live in uncertain times, thank you for providing safety and security to you and your family. Without her, while the technicians make ready sanctum for long-term residency, you will find your provision I think we got them all. How many DBs did you send on recon duty? A few? A lot, actually. Sorry. I know the DBs are making your job difficult, but it proves that we need experienced human soldiers to deal with the swarm. It's what Hoffman's been saying. Damn. Door stuck. Leave it to the superior officer, Corporal. Ah, <laughs> 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 Imagine living very down here for the rest of my life. I'd rather die in the sunshine than live underground. Give me vast open spaces. Good. What the hell was that? Just seismic activity from the volcano. Oh, is it, is it just the volcano? That's another brilliant cog idea, isn't it? Throw the last of humanity into a fucking volcano. Anyway, the elevators are on the far side of the main hub. Hannah, we've got an infestation coming up into the hub from below. Damn. The hive is growing faster than we predicted. <laughs> Looks like the infestation has affected the elevators. Oh, is this weak gas bomb going to do the job? Yes. Yes, of course. As long as you deliver the bomb to the center of the hive, it should work. It should work? Enough. Let's get down there. Of range. Wonderful. We need to keep moving. Come on. We've got drones. Looks like a small patrol.
Lazlo looks offline. I'll give it a try. No good. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Can we please take this seriously? I'll take a look. So I was thinking, why don't we just drop the bomb down the shaft? Looks like it goes all the way to the bottom. Absolutely not. You heard, Hannah. We deploy the payload to the center of the hive. That's the mission. Access granted. Opening maintenance wing. Didn't we want thermal control? Huh. Here they come. the truth, eh? Warning. Ventilation station temperature exceeds safe operating protocols. Cooling area. Ventilation station now within safe operating temperature. Proceed. Shit! That's done! It's protecting the Zion! Ammo deployed! I'm wounded! Getting out of hand! Fast! For you, maybe. Don't know what they were thinking sending an outsider down here. You two are the opposite we get out of this fucking place. Flock!
Heads up! We don't stand a chance! We see the job through! We barely made it out of that one, and it's only going to get worse. We all know it. We are going to die down here. For what? You're afraid of dying? You should have thought of that before you took this on. Oh, believe me, I'm ready to die. But I want it to count. Supplies you got some sort of death wish. Not a death wish, Lonnie. But when the dust settles, I want to have made a goddamn difference. We're in! Let's go! We will fight our way inch by fucking inch if that's what it takes! We all took this mission to make a difference. And we have our orders, outsider. Now, let's make it count. Look, old man, all I know is I want our sacrifice to matter. Take a look around. We have to face the facts. The way things are going, this will all be for nothing. So, Lonnie, we almost there. Not even close. Uh, we made it this far. We'll find another way down. <laughs> Goddamn cog. Just can't admit defeat, can you? I'm done taking shit from you, boy. <laughs> to hell with the objective. The hell you doing? Making it count, brother. Move! Deadly toxin detected. All personnel must vacate safety. Don't stop. It'll kill us too. Keep moving.
A grenade. was a failure. Not if we uncover new data. Anything? The drones, Juvies, roasted them. Heavier swarm. We didn't have the punch we needed. You got anything stronger? Mm. Something that can sink the entire island, maybe. Or how about a few canisters of that nightmare acid that killed all them bastards on the beach, eh? Damn. You might be onto something. I was joking. Even if that could work, there's a problem. We don't know what's responsible for the attack or where to find it. Why, Leahy? My grand used to tell me stories about her people. How the young men and women would travel the ocean to face a god. It was their rite of passage. If anyone knows something about what we saw on the beach, it's my grandmother's people. Well, go then. Make contact. See what you can learn. Hannah. You prep for field work. I want you there to ask the right questions. I'm on it. Let's go, Scorpio. Welcome to Wileyhi, Scorpio. Once you propel in, I'm gonna find a spot nearby. Don't need any more of these last-second rescues. You and me both, Tag. No lava on this island. I like it better already. All right. Let's see what we can learn from the locals. What's the plan with the toxin, Hannah? If we obtain some of that nightmare acid from whatever attacked the swarm on Pahani, we can combine it with the toxin I was sent from New Hope. Hopefully someone here can fill us in on what exactly that acid is and how to get it. We still have to find a better way to the heart of the hive. Yep. I'm working on a solution to that too. This door, Scorpio. Give me a hand. Huh. 
peaceful. Never thought I'd see where my family came from. Even with all the stories and memories she shared. Brad never told me why she left. Any of your family still live here? Distant relatives, I'm sure. Guess I should introduce myself. Feels like an odd way to reconnect, you know? Marching in, middle of the night. Oh, I'm sure we'll be given a warm welcome. Not every day a band of armed soldiers wanders into town. Well, hopefully they'll be understanding given our rather dire circumstances. Is that... music? Sounds like quite a party. Everyone must be gathered in that hole over there. Couldn't think of a better way to make our entrance. Come on, then. I wonder what they use this space for. Hmm. A workshop? These islands are known for their carvings. Hey! You can't just walk in! Just trying to find the quickest way to the hall. So, Hannah, been meaning to ask. You any relation to the coal trade? Right. Because every coal is related to Augustus. Sorry. Was just curious is all. <laughs> Getting the sense you hear that question more than you'd like to. No, it's okay. I like my dad. I mean... Yes. He's my dad. Just... Please, please don't ask me about Thrashball. I find it tedious. I guess this code. You know I saw him play. But that ain't what I remember him for. Man to legend. A true definition of the Cog frontline hero. Yeah, you aren't wrong, Keegan. That's what everyone sees in my father. I wanted to be just like him. A lot of people find it hard to believe, but at home, the coal train was a quiet man. His introspection about the war kept me far from the military. He wanted more for me. That's what I fought for, baby. Dad said, one serum in education could do more to turn the tide of war than a single grunt with a gun ever could. You mentioned your degrees back when we first met. That's, uh, that's a lot to know for a kid. <laughs> yeah. Mom was always buying me books. Books for my birthday, books for special holidays. I had books out my ass. Interesting. No, I loved it. I think it was a distraction to keep me away from what my dad was interested in. War? Sports. And I still don't want to talk about thrash ball. How'd you meet Hoffman? All right. Let's hope there's someone in here willing to help. Well, that all depends on how long their party's been going on. Well, I hate parties. Little help here? Oh no! Everyone's... God damn it. Looks like this ain't a diplomatic mission anymore. Can someone turn off that damn radio? Hey, Ronnie. Take a look at this. All this imagery around a creature of some kind. Can you read the language? It's been a long time since Grand told me why Lehan. But I can try. This scroll references the Awakening. It's the rite of passage she talked about. Listen. The mantle. A terror stalks and desires to consume. Let it be your burden, but let it not feed. The journey. Our ancestors carry you across the world. Their spirits guide and watch over you. Spirit walk. Enter the Fade and journey amongst the ancestors. The path of our people will reveal your burden. The fear. 
Awaken, reborn. Renewed, not consumed. Your heavy burden, transformed. Light as the feather. Face the creature. Huh? Looks like a big fucking bird. A bird? The feathers. Huh? Gran would tell me stories about the Wakatu. A flying demon that all children must face as a rite of passage. Are you suggesting that thing at the beach? Yes. The Wakatu isn't mythology. It's real. That's it. We track this Wakatu down and get a sample of its poison. Hey, after we figure out what's going on here. We'll find the villagers. Come on, Scorpio. Let's head into the village. This way. Damn, snipers. Shit. How the hell did those bastards get here? How are we gonna handle this? We kill the swarm. Every last one of them. Pods here, though. They take them somewhere. A defensible structure. The temple up on the ridge. We can still save. Let's go. You doing okay, Hannah? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm good. We've got your back. That's right. Thanks, guys. Who needs that? Just hope we're not too late. Let's go. There are stories of people who survived being snatched and potted. But we need to be prepared for the reality that those chances are often slim. I'm not giving up on them. Let's get to the temple. This just doesn't make sense. Even the locusts couldn't throw between the islands. That's why Sanctum was built on Bohana. How did they get to Alehi? I want to believe they're okay, that we can still help. Come on. Look, in the tree. We collected feathers from the Wakatu and brought them here. No pods, though. No bodies. <laughs> Another day of action in your life. Right in the 
toxin coming from the feathers. It seems to have some kind of psychological effect. Makes you hear stuff, right? Stuff you'd rather not think about. Yeah. Yeah. But this incense, it's negating the toxic effects. We saw the same incense in the ritual room, back on Pahanu when we first landed. This proves that we can find the Wakatu. But right now, we need to find the villagers. Let's secure the village. Then, we can go hunting for that Wakatu of yours. One day too late. One day makes all the difference. They're gone. We couldn't save them. So... What the hell are we going to do about it? Make the fuckers pay! Now we're on the same page, sister. Who needs ammo? We ain't about to let any of you fuckers walk away! Here I come! Gotta reach out! No place to hide from what's coming. Rolling over Hoffman at full speed if he hears about this little outing. We're not done with our hunt yet. Get the door. God damn. Look what we've got here. A silver bag. I think we can put that wee death machine to good use, eh, Scorpio? We can't move it without power. Mac, this is all you. On it, Keegan. Scorpio. like we found an answer, Hannah. The lava tubes. This is how they got here. Lava tubes? 
Then maybe they're connecting the islands. Hannah, above you! Nothing I can't handle. them, changed them. They wanted to change me too, Keegan. It's okay. We're safe now. We've got to signal tech. Let them know where we are. survive being snatched. Huh. Yeah. The stories are true, huh? Still there, Scorpio? Stretcher incoming. <sighs> Sorry I got caught. Mess us all up. <sighs> She's on, Tag. Take her up. Hey, you made it out. That's all that matters. It'll take me a bit to secure the stretcher. You guys good for a few? We'll manage. Thank goodness. Honestly, I can't believe she survived. But she did survive. 
What's on your mind? The Snatcher was taking Hana to the heart of the Hive. And we need a more efficient way to get there. <laughs> oh, no. You're not suggesting we let them capture us. Hold that thought! Swarm's here! Clear! So, what do you think of my plan, eh? Operation Raid the Snatcher? You're serious. We get snatched up. Snatched up and smuggled right into the hive. Then what? There's no guarantee we can survive that. Fair point. But I feel like Hannah and her action science might have an answer for that. Hell. It might work. Get smuggled into the heart of the hive. But we still gotta get out of here first! More swarm on the ridge! And all of their fucking friends! Shit! <laughs> Block at him! Tuck, really use a lift. Security half, hold on. Oh. About time. Good to go, Tuck. Quick work of the swarm. I feel good about Hannah's toxin plan. If we can manage to catch that thing. I'm not sure we can do it alone. Agreed. Now's the time to ask Hoffman to bring in some reinforcements. Keegan, this is not the point. What? What the hell are you talking about? Hoffman's gone rogue. It's just us. Colonel Hoffman is a decorated cog veteran. I would just think for a second. The access codes to Sanctum. If Hoffman's working with the cog, why couldn't he just get those codes himself? Doesn't make sense. Why would he lie to us? You think I join an actual cog mission? That man is used to doing whatever it takes to get the job done. Oh shit! This way! <laughs> Legit operation? Why would everything be so goddamn secret? When we got here, we had no clue where we were going. Next, not the time. Damn it! Knew we couldn't shake it for long. Minister rejected my plan to deal with the swarm. She said her damn robots could handle them. So I used my forced retirement to uh, launch a mission of my own. All this time, 
We were on a goddamn rogue operation? That's right. Look, I know your past. That you've all suffered and struggled. But you've still got that fight in you. Purpose. That's why we're here. It was our lives on the line. The fate of the entire planet is on the line, soldier. I'm not here to save the world. The swarm took my son. Dragged him, screaming into the dark. I failed to protect him. To fight for him. I joined up to make these fuckers pay. And I planned to die doing it. But here we are. So, to hell with it. I'll live. And I'll fight for what family I have left. I won't stand by and watch more people suffer. Not when I can do something about it. We know how to get to the heart of the hive. All I need is one sample. And you'll get it. But I won't let my brother face this one alone. Wish I could have been there for you, Mac. And your son. But I'm here now. Well, that's it then. Once more into the screaming dark. All right, Scorpio. This is it. Find the Wakatia. Extract its venom. Get out. Remember, all we need is a sample. Good luck out there, Scorpio. Picked up for a reason, sir. We'll get the job done. You guys ready to walk amongst the ancestors? Hey, spirit walk, right? So, you were listening. Of course I was. Right back to where it all began. Like my ancestors have done for generations. Enter the fate and walk amongst the ancestors. The path of our people will reveal your burden. There's our path. I'll be damned. The awakening. The Wakatu. I'm leaving out what my parents and grand used to believe was mythology. Just stories. I was imprisoned when grand passed. I wish you could see me now. It's none of my business, but... It's okay. We're squad now. You both should know. I fucked up. Deliberately ignored an order. Thought I knew better than everyone else, and someone got killed. I see you. A good man. The truth is, as much as I want to go back, I don't know if there's a spot waiting for me. I know that feeling. Sometimes there ain't no going back. And I'm learning that might be okay. Lonnie, what's this? Some kind of effigy. My father used to call pieces like it from wood. Said they would protect us from dark spirits. Being back in the action. Having a team at my side. I've missed this feeling of being part of something bigger. I know that feeling, too. This way. Give me a hand. Your old job. Still, uh, classified? No. I can spill. I was part of the Brash Brigade. 
Locust cleanup crew. Cleanup crew? Some of the Locusts survived the war. We made them disappear. Quietly. So, the emulsion countermeasure at Azura. As far as the public knows, the war ended there. But there was still more work to be done. <laughs> We're clear. And those juvies have worn out their welcome. So, Corporal. Uh, Lieutenant. Never got the long story about your rank. Onyx God fought like hell in the war. What would hold up a promotion? That all of us were fighting. I was stationed on Azura, doing basically guard duty. Onyx exiles, they call us. No glory, no rank, and no purpose for all those years. I'm sorry. I don't know about all this rank stuff, but what you're doing here, this matters, brother. Thanks. I, uh... Appreciate that. That's all of them. The way out is ahead. Through those doors. <clears throat> Ammo deployed. You say children used to walk this path. Well, they wouldn't. <clears throat> that tree there. It was on the car in the village hall. It must be the Wakatu's nest. Then we're still on the right path. You know, before all this. I really thought my life was over. That I'd live out the rest of my days in prison. So you joined up when half Crony found you, hmm? Exactly. Same here. What else can you do when you've lost everything? Oh, see. That's a whole damn vulture. A vulture went down on Pahani? You found 144B. It went down shortly before I arrived on Galangi. It was loaded with the initial DB force to lead our charge into the bunker. Think we could recruit them to our cause? Were the shot? gonna run into more DBs from that vulture. Stupid boss. Tell me about it. 
But, but I wouldn't have given for their help when the swarm attacked my village. What happened? A slaughter. Then the terrifying quiet. Even if I wasn't miles from home, I couldn't have stopped it. I wasn't a fighter. You did what you could, Mac, and you lived. If I wasn't such a coward, I would have died with him. Coward? Show me a man sacrificing more than one who's lost their child. I'd follow you into any fight. Uh, thank you. Both of you. Ready to block up! Let's keep moving. Through here! Blade, good to go! This river goes right to the Wakatu's nest. And look at that. There is a board waiting for us. Hey, lucky, right? <laughs> you know it. Ammo deployed. It's been one hell of a journey, that's for sure. I only got this far thanks to your support. Uh, gotta admit, I was wrong about you, Mac. We both were. Well, I had my assumptions about you two as well. Look at us now! Team Scorpio, saving the planet! <laughs> <laughs> you know, my grand's final words to me were about struggle. How my suffering defined the true life. The weak, the strong. I wanted to know which I'd be. She said, live and discover for yourself. That's the journey. I think I would have liked it. It doesn't matter how hard we tried to run from our past. Everything we did led us here. Led us to this island. A thousand miles from the war. This time I'm gonna make a goddamn difference. <laughs> I thought this was my chance to prove myself. To the Brash Brigade. To the memory of my CO. My grand was right. The path of my life to determine who I become. He brought me home. Here. And gave me a new family. We survived a hell of a lot to find home, Scorpio. I say we fight like hell to save it. Looks like this is it. Fear. The Makatu wants to swarm off this island as much as we do. We should try to get the sample without killing it. Agreed. Be good to see the natural order restored. But he might have other plans.
heavy burden. Transform. Light. As the feather. Put up one hell of a fight. You, uh, think it'll live? Yeah, I do. It's a good day. Everyone survives. I want you to know, it's your fault, and I'm gonna fucking haunt you. How's your nerves, Major How? Oh, to hell with my anxiety. This time, I'm the surprise. See you on the other side. <laughs> 